Yeah, if you sub, you will you'll 100% get the Black Lion contract banking thing. Definitely a good call. Very high value. Very, very high value indeed. All right, welcome gamers. I'm here. I'm back. By Guild Wars 1 on Steam. I mean, yeah, Guild Wars 1 definitely worth a purchase, to be honest. Pretty good. Pretty good video game experience, if you ask me. Very different to the uh, modern offerings these days. Very different. And yes, I am here. Tindril is easier than public cheer beat bus. That's actually true. It is far easier, in fact. Much, much, much easier. this bonus new player event thing, guys? I just logged in. Man, I haven't logged into Guild Wars 2 for like five days. We're back. We are back in business. Free 20 slot bag. I mean, that is pretty good, actually. I do like a free 20 slot bag. Well, I mean, I don't. It's useless for me, but I like that. Bonus events. New hero jump starter. Complete five heroes origin achievements in the new hero jump starter category. And you get the hero's trusty satchel. Complete events in Metrica Province. Complete events in Plains of Ashford. Complete events in Queensdale, uh, Wafer of Foothills, and Caldon Forest. Sure. Let's go. Local hero. The Mist Stranger. 
and receive a Dreambound weapon. Meeting the Mist Stranger. Speak with the Mist Stranger in your homeland and hear their request. You know what? Sure, let's go do it. Yeah. Uh, grief new players and get posted about on Reddit. Yeah, I mean, I guess the, the issue... Uh, the issue is, is that everyone just one-shots everything in the starter zone. I, I can imagine that being a, you know, a slight issue. Also, let in the chat. Um, what about World vs. World Bootcamp teaching a 10-man team to obliterate, um, Poblobs? Um, there, there's one thing that I have learned. Um, it's that... You're just not going to find people who have the drive to do that in this game. Like, ultimately, the, um, the the thing that happened with the boot camp was that, you know, people were not were not able. I won't say were not willing, but just it wasn't a priority to them, right? Like, we were having a really hard time, like, blocking out two hours a week to play. Even two hours a week was tough, right? Uh, you're just not going to find people in Guild Wars 2 who, who have that level of commitment. Is doing Convergence good uh, gold per hour? Yeah, definitely, actually. Uh, I think Convergences are absolutely worth doing. Like, the the way you... If you just do one daily, you'll get the weekly done, and it's like a Dragon Storm. Uh, you get the two gold um, on there as well. Yeah. Yes. Hey, I'm glad you're enjoying uh, the YouTube videos. Hydrodynamics. It's a good name right there. Is a good name. But yeah. The thing about like all of the boot camp style stuff is that you need people who actually really want to, you know, like put effort in. 20 plus minute convergences. Well, I mean, I think that's probably about, I want to say that's about normal-ish. If you get like a good group, it should be under 15 minutes. Uh, I think under 10 minutes is also, uh, to be honest, very easy. Uh, you need to have, you need to have, like, actual good players to do that, um, you know, to get some good blasts going on, but that's more than doable, actually. Might buy the first three expansions or just go for the, uh, the current one? I mean, everything's on sale right now, so, honestly, I just get all of it. Just get in there. Just get in there and do it. It's time. But yeah, convergences, I, th I think the public ones end up being pretty slow. Um, because, you know, like... What ends up happening is everyone kind of noodles around in the middle, and being in the middle doesn't really progress the convergence. You just kind of, uh, you know, defeat an endless wave of enemies. You want to spread out a lot more. Yeah. That's where you got problems. Ah, Vivi in the chat. Yeah. I am not a convergence. And who is these days, to be honest? What class do you recommend for endgame open world fractal content if you were going to choose one? Uh, probably Herald. But the thing is, this is, uh, allow me, this is the wrong question. This is a bad question to ask. Um, like, y you know, you should play the class that you like. Um, I, I don't think it's ever a good idea to kind of start with like, oh, what's a good recommendation? Um, no. Uh, you should pick the class that you enjoy and that you think is cool and fun to play, uh, because that is the most important thing by far. Uh, you don't want to end up playing something that you don't like. Indeed. Uh, did you ever exper uh, experiment MDI pulls in a plus 20 just to see what happens? Surely that would be a very unwise and non-responsible. Bro, are you trolling pugs, Vivi? Is that what you're doing right now? Are you just actually just mercilessly trolling pugs? I can't believe you would do this. Ah, the veteran wasp queen. You got it. Let's go. You got to kill the guards to make a respawn, haven't you? Wait, wait. I phased her in one hit. What? Okay. Huh. Fair enough. We did it. I have completed the event. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I can see what the... If people were complaining about this on Reddit, I mean, I kind of get it. Look, that guy was having an epic 1v1 against the Wasp Queen, and I just ran up and one-shot it instantly. Which is a bit weird. 
but I guess that's how it goes. Ah, I got Coalescence. Very good. That's a good one. Yeah, I have uh, destroyed the Wasp Queen. A single Everbloom Stinger and plus two is 100 times the HP of this Wasp. I mean, that is true, yeah. Scaling should be updated to be uh, gear score based. Well, I think they just need there's they just need to account for the power creep. The problem is they probably won't, um, because that would actually be really difficult to do. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's not even like oh yeah, you know, Anet just want the game to be easy. I think they probably do view this as a problem. Um, they probably look at this and go like, aha, uh -huh, yeah, this is probably not good. But the issue is is that imagine having to fix all of this, right? You might think, well, okay, just like triple the health of every single enemy. That might have some really weird consequences. If, if you're ever modifying your database and you're saying, oh yeah, just modify every single record in this database and triple the number. Like, you are going to have some interesting side effects when you do that. Uh, so there's a reason why they won't do that. If they adjusted, people would cry. Um, I am actually not sure if they would. I think people would be broadly in favor of buffing stuff in open world. I think there's a fairly large consensus that actually open world has become far too easy. Um, especially early on in the game. Uh, because of power creep, essentially just destroying the integrity of the content. Do you think Shortbow um, can push Ham towards S tier again? Um... Maybe. I mean, we'll have to see how good the boon axe is. I actually think unlikely, because the weapon set is already very good uh, for Healalak mech. It's just that everything else is kind of like more overpowered than Healalak mech, to be honest. And also, mechanically, mech is at a disadvantage. The thing about mech is that it's a short-range healer. It doesn't really have a lot of range to it, which puts it at, at an inherent disadvantage compared to, say, a druid or a scourge. Both of which have very strong ranged support options. So it's a little bit tricky. But it should be good. I mean, I imagine they'll, again, I'm expecting the, the new weapons, I'm expecting every single one of them to be meta. Okay? Because I feel like they wouldn't want uh, to add a new weapon to the game that sucks. HRT is almost the same joke tier as core. I mean, the thing is, we've got to be careful when we say joke tier. Um, because, so, so here's the thing. Y you, you look at this as a problem, Lin. But I think the majority of the Guild Wars 2 community views this as a feature of the game. Right? Um, and this is a really, this is a fantastic point of nuance, I think, in gaming. Why does gaming have to be difficult? And the answer is it doesn't. In fact, most people don't really want it to be difficult. Most people don't really want the game to kind of like fight back, right? This is very obviously the case. I think a lot of people enjoy Guild Wars 2 because it's easy. Because the game is extremely easy. That's a good thing uh, in most people's eyes. Now... For some players, that may leave the game to be less interesting, but broadly speaking, Guild Wars 2 being easy um, is what people like. Look, it's why people like um, the Wizard's Vault, right? Like, I think Sneb's been having some discussions about this. He, he's like, Sneb is, he's concerned that the Wizard's Vault is devaluing other reward structures in the game because of how overpowered the rewards are. And this statement is actually true. The Wizard's Vault is pretty much the best gold per hour in the entire game. Like, if you're, especially when you're doing, like, the weekly objectives and the special objectives, it's easily the best gold per hour in the game, like, bar none. It's incredibly efficient. Um, much better than, you know, even if, even if you do the speedruns, right? Like, even if you do our raid speedruns, I think the Wizard's Vault Weekly is actually higher gold per hour than doing a world record raid speed clear. It's that good. Uh, in terms of gold per hour. Um, and the thing is... That, you could argue that's a bit weird, or there's a bit of a problem there. But again, you know, it, it's very much a matter of perspective. Like, for the majority of the Guild Wars 2 player base, it's a good thing. People don't want a game where skill is really important, right? Um, people want a game where skill essentially is irrelevant, uh, and, you, you know, everyone just gets passive rewards. People are looking for a very passive experience here, I think. Like for a very passive gaming experience in Guild Wars.
Yeah. Boom. But that's how it is. My hardcore WoW character died again last night at the tender level of only level 15. Uh, that was my third attempt. Should I give up and join the uh, Symbledons on retail or toughen up and go again? I mean, you, the, the question you've got to ask yourself is like, do you understand what you did wrong? Um, like, what was your mistake? Like, most characters die at that point. Like, if you can actually make it to like level 30 or 40, you'll almost certainly make it to 60 unless you do something really stupid. Uh, I mean, you can definitely do it, but... And I think you should go again, obviously, but you need to identify what you did wrong. Uh, so if I don't think the game is easy, I mean, I'm a, I'm a trash player. Um, I mean, it probably means that your skill is in its early development, yes. Yeah. Boom. Uh, Guild Wars 2 is not that easy. When you run it, I mean, it, it, it really is. Guild Wars 2 is extremely easy. Um, I mean, most MMOs are, but Guild Wars 2 is definitely... It, Guild Wars 2 is very, very easy, yeah. Nothing wrong with that, though. That's just the way it is. Because, um, like, it, Guild Wars 2 is also a game that you don't have to play that much, right? Like, you can progress by not really playing very much. Yeah, it's easy because it's supposed to be. Yeah, it's not, it's not like a mistake that is easy. It's very intentional. It's supposed to be easy. Did you see the 10 man convergence um, Reddit thread? Um, I mean, I did, but I'm not gonna lie, it's just depressing. Like, I, I don't wanna talk about it. They basically said, ah, oh, yeah, 10 man, it's the 10 man content you didn't know you need. It's like, hang on. And the, the thread even says the bosses are trivial, right? And there's, there's no actual challenge, but at least you need to be a little bit coordinated. And that's not even really true, by the way. Like, I went in there with, what, like, uh, Luron and a bunch of other randoms. We want out the 10-man convergence, and it was insanely easy. Um, that's cope. I'm sorry, guys. That's insane copium. It, it, it's, it, yeah, I don't know. It's a bit sad. Yeah. Yes. It's not convoluted like other games. I actually think Guild Wars 2 is more convoluted than other games, funnily enough. Although I actually kind of view that as a strength of the game. The game is um, very complicated, which is good. I think it makes it interesting um, to learn and, you know, like, understand more about the game. But, yeah, I'd say it's more convoluted. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Um, so... It is really confusing. Basically, Sneb is con um, okay. So I, I, I think I can do this because this is an interesting one. Like, um, I, I view this as a lot of games doing this. It's kind of like a side effect of the seasonal system. Like, Sneb is looking for a game, and and I share this interest with him. Like, I like games that kind of want you to log in every day and blast. Right? Like, I don't want to do the seasonal thing where you like log in play and then log out like to me that's not good and i i don't like existing in environments like that like i want something that is like um you know an actual hobby right like i want something that is you know important right like it, it's, a, it's a, a core part of my life is gaming okay uh and i'd like one game to do that thing more convoluted than wow oh it's definitely more convoluted than wow but again i want to be really clear when i say this i kind of view this as Kind of a strength of Guild Wars 2, like how much uh, depth it has. Um, but yeah, it's more complex. It's definitely like got a lot more going on in terms of like all the weird shit that you can do. Um, but there's no Holy Trinity for a start, right? Like the, the one of the the strengths of WoW, I think, kind of the the opposite strength of Guild Wars 2, because th this is both of these things are a strength, but in different ways. Like WoW is very easy to understand, um, and, and that is very good. It's World of Warcraft is very easy to learn, very easy to learn, but it's also extremely difficult to master. Most of the difficulty of Guild Wars 2 is like very front-loaded. Guild Wars 2 is hard to learn, but pretty easy to get really, you know, once you've got the basics, you can absolutely destroy this game um, in, in terms of, you know, like your skill level and so on. Uh, but yeah, like you, you kind of want your game to be easy to learn, hard to master, whereas Guild Wars 2 is like very hard to learn in my opinion. Uh, compared to other games like a lot of the again a lot of the learning is massively front-loaded yeah. 
But that's how it is. Blasting is still there. They only had one extension to blast at the start of the season while taking away nothing. Um, yeah, but the thing is, um, if you, if you basically say you, if, if, if the game is incentivizing you with this, like, epic reward structure, it's kind of saying, like, log in and do this, then log out. That's basically what Sneb's getting at here, um, essentially. Like, if you want to, like, optimize your time spent in the game, it's going to be do this, then log out. Right, uh, pretty much. Like that's that's the concern. Like it, it's it massively incentivizes you to just basically log in, blast, and then log out. Yeah, that's how it is. Going to make engineer belts from BFA to knockback ads in P3 Frack right now, dude. That's incredibly zaced, actually. That's very wacky. Yeah, is that what's done to me? Yeah, yeah. The, the system massively incentivizes like daily logging, right? So you just do the weeklies, the dailies, and the specials, then log out and wait until there's new ones. Like, that's very much what it incentivizes you to do. Yeah. You a developer? Yeah. Mm. Man, dude, everyone's getting all the events, man. This is terrible. I can't get any of my goddamn events, dude. This sucks. Yeah. Uh, I was talking about the limited ones. Fractals um, is all uh, better gain. Um, this is true, but I, I, but I don't, I don't. You're not disagreeing with me. You're agreeing with me. You stop fighting. You agree. Yeah. yeah. You were not disagreeing here, but th this is this is where people really get very lost. Uh, with what Sneb says. Like, Sneb is not saying that it's a good or a bad thing. He's describing it. He's analyzing um, with this. Yo, Emmy in the chat. Do you watch the Race to Worlds first? Who do you think will win? I think it's very close right now. Like, Echo and Liquid are right on each other's heels, I think, in this regard. Yeah. Very close indeed. Yeah. Boom. Inky potion as well. Ah, yes. What's never saying? I don't disagree. He's describing it. He's saying that the game is moving more and more to a point where um, the way that you're kind of supposed to play the game is log in, log out. Yeah. Uh, and he doesn't like that. He's saying that he personally doesn't like that. I actually agree with him. I don't really, I don't really like um, log in, log out games. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I like games that are, you know, not like this, like not centered around reward structures and um, not centered around basically like daily logging or like weekly logging or anything like that. I don't like raid logging. Um, like, it, I, I, when, when the way that you play a game is you log in, raid, and then log out, that to me is really unfun. Um, I don't like it. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like games being like that. I don't like, you know, I, I don't, I don't like the game essentially saying that you're not supposed to play the game every day, right? Or you're not supposed to, to play the game all the time. That's, it's just weird to me. I like it when the game says you should play as much as you want. Right? Uh, and you should blast as hard as possible. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. Log in, log out sounds better. Well, I mean, it, that's it, that might be the way... I think it's where a lot of MMOs are going, actually. I think pretty much every MMO is going seasonal. But, th you know, that sucks for me, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But unfortunate. Only PvP games and uh, speedrunning can sustain that. Well, I mean, honestly, I think uh, retail does it pretty well um, with M+, which I guess is kind of speedrunning, right? But you know, like, even retail is like very seasonal, the way it is. Here we go. Well, look at these Nessies, guys. Let them go. It's crazy. 
Log and log out is what girls says the dungeon of Vanity Fair, unless you play um, PvP or World vs. World. Um, yeah, it's just more so than it used to be. Infinitely grind? No, he just doesn't, he doesn't like, um, he doesn't like raid logging culture. He doesn't like log in, log out culture. Um, or n not even culture. He doesn't, he doesn't like games that are log in, log out. And it's been going, and, and what he's noticing is that it's more like that. A lot of systems in the game are becoming more log in, log out than they already were. Like, he'd agree with you. He'd, you know, you're saying it's always been like that. He would say yes, and now it's more that way. It's increasing. Like, it's more log in, log out than it's ever been. Yes. That's how it is. I was doing an HRT um, event the other day for a daily and being reminded how much Guild Wars 2 has changed. Ah, yeah. It's a different time. A different time. The excitement to play with the boys. Indeed. That's the thing about MMOs, right? It's very much a moment in time. Where are all the events, man? Holy shit. What's going on? There's no events. It's over, guys. I I'll never get my my new player jumpstart achievement. Yeah. This is crazy. Yeah. It's over. Dude, the problem is like everyone's in these zones soaking up all the events. This is terrible. I'm getting left out. I've, I'm left behind, guys. It's over. Yeah. Very big. Do your friends play Guild Wars 2 or WoW the most? Uh, WoW by far, yeah. yeah. Do hearts count as events? I don't think so. What is going on? Dude, where are all the events at? Maybe I should wait for the meta event or something. Not a good assessment of Guild Wars 2 natural configuration. No, it's a perfectly good natural um, assessment of Guild Wars 2's configuration. But the thing is, is that people really conf get confused here. Like, when you say, this is how something is, you're, you're, you're not saying that it's necessarily good or bad. You can then give your opinion on it, but you're not making an objective statement. I, I, this is, it's very weird that people get confused on this. For example, me saying I find Guild Wars 2 too easy does not mean that the game is objectively too easy. It doesn't mean there's something like inherent about the game that means it's too easy. Uh, just that for me, the game is too easy, which is true. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's too easy for you or too easy to, for everyone. It just means it's too easy for me. Yeah. That's how it is. Yeah. Boom. Very nice. This happens to um, every game? Yeah, maybe it does. But the thing... The, honestly, I'm actually not sure if that's true. It definitely doesn't happen to retail World of Warcraft. Um, no, it doesn't. Uh, because um, they have the race to worlds first every like six to eight months or so. And they're still being challenged by it. And they're still being pushed to play even better and try even harder. So it's, it's, not, it's not true, no. Um, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, some map meta events bundle of ten man content, more harsher mechanics. I mean, they would never do that. Um, but it would be nice if they did, I guess. Uh, made a giga convergence that's ultra challenging. Only rewards you once per day. Would you still call it drop in, um, drop out content? Um. Probably less so, um, because, you know, it's something that you've, you've got to, like, work towards and, like, organize every day. And that's, that's all right. I mean, again, it's not like, you know, you don't build a game off one event, right? Like, you don't build a game off one event, right? So it would, it would have to be, like, a series of things that you can do. Like, it would have to be, like, a large repertoire of stuff um, that gets consistently added to the game. So it's, it's more like, it's not like... One thing can't change that, but it will be a start, yeah. But they would, again, that's never going to happen. I must be nearly done, right? How many more events do I need? I need one more. Ah, here we go. Boom. Nice.
Well, that's how it is. And, you know, and th this is kind of like um, one of the problems here as well. Because um, I definitely feel this as well. Um, uh, I, I think Sneb feels extremely alienated from the Guild Wars 2 community. Uh, and I do as well. The fact that people are like, what on earth are you talking about? What do you mean? Right, when, when I say this, um, means that, yeah, we have nothing in common. Uh, essentially. Uh, which is fine, uh, but it's really weird. It's really weird. It, it's, you know... It, it's why I feel it, it's very difficult for me to give my opinion. Because my opinion is meaningless. Um, it, you know, it, it's like I'm speaking a different language to most of the Guild Wars 2 community because we're so divergent, right? Like, um, in our interests and the, the way that we approach the game. I have nothing in common with the Guild Wars 2 community. Race Wars was only hard because of gear restraints. Uh, you are incorrect. You are extremely incorrect. Yeah, that's not true. Um, the guilds actually have insanely good gear right now they're nearly maxed out they have 480 item level the maximum is 489 even with 489 item level which most guilds will have when they're approaching this or close to like 486 probably is where you're going to be at uh, when most guilds are fighting a nerfed version of these mythic bosses it will still be extremely difficult um regardless of that Your opponent makes a race hard. Well, no, it's also the boss. Uh, it's also the boss, guys. The boss is hard. Uh, but yeah, that's that's how it is. I got two level eighty boost tickets. Where's the best to keep them until I find a class I want to play? Uh, I mean, they just they just they're in your shared inventory slot. Like they'll just stay there forever. Boom. You don't have to move them. You can just keep them there. Easy. A game won't interest you anymore? Do you think it's purely the content focus that makes you feel the way? It's purely the content focus, yeah. Uh, and, and the community as well. Um, it, it's it's content focus which led to community shifts, um, which is like the, the big factor for sure. Like, the game stopped releasing like competitive stuff, and because of that, the community shifted and started to become extremely casual and less competitive. And that lack of competitive energy um, makes me very disengaged with the game, very alienated from the game. Yeah. That is the deal. That is the situation. Dag does seem needing to be buffed after release. I mean, it, it needed to be entirely remade, right? Like, I mean, the boss is extremely easy. Like, even after the, uh, the buff, it's a trivial boss. Um, do, is why you do your raid tournaments. I mean, I like uh, running events because I like making things. Um, but, I mean, I guess that's kind of the goal uh, that I have is to, to make it competitive. But, I mean, honestly, I'll, I will admit this. Not really. Um, if I'm being honest, I have zero hope for there ever being an interesting competitive scene in Guild Wars 2 ever again. Uh, I just do the tournaments because I like them, uh, pretty much. I like, um, you know, designing the overlays and, and, you know, making stuff, right? I like making things. But, yeah. That's the... Wait, do I not get... Did I get credit? I bet I didn't get credit, man. Go do something. Somewhere else. I actually didn't get credit. Oh, what the fuck? Sure. You hear that? It's over. It is over. Now I have to go go find another event. It's time. It is time. Finish that ultimate dominator. I mean, I'm not really, I don't really care that much about achievements and stuff. We'll get there when we get there. Ah, the champ train. Yes. Queensdale champ train. I actually think Suffer that was actually kind of good content. To be honest, I, I kind of, I viewed like champ train stuff as a bit like rifts, except almost a bit better. 
because it was, you know, it was a bit more like player created, like player driven, rather than rifts. And rifts also involve a lot of like uh, trash mobs and stuff. Do they not exist anymore? Ah, uh, they nerfed the hell out of it. Yeah, the, a lot of the um, champions got downgraded to veterans and stuff. To, they, they deliberately killed it. Feels pretty bad. WoW's key strength, they have enough money to make mistakes until they accidentally um, make good content. I mean, you know, th th this is like the most salty, um, WoW fucked my wife way of saying that WoW releases good content. I, I fucking love it. I love when people talk about World of Warcraft. Holy shit. Like, people literally talk about WoW like it murdered their entire family, right? Uh, and then cucked them as well. Uh, it's, it's actually very funny to watch. I still have nothing, guys. I have... Uh, th there's no events. Where's the Wasp Queen? There's no Wasp Queen, guys. Um, doesn't require you to do more than five in total. Yeah, but I, I need another one, though. Like, it's over, guys. Look at this. Need one more event. Yeah. I didn't realize there were this few events in Queensdale, although I guess everyone's kind of uh, devouring the events as soon as they spawn, so that's why it's quite difficult to find them. No. Yes. Very nice. Yeah. Is the B, the B event? I know there's a B event here. With no no B event? What the fuck? This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible stuff. Yes. Wow community is a piece of poo poo. You know, the wow community, I actually really like it. Um you know, just the <laughs> look, just the other day, guys, I was doing some keys. And I, I was genuinely taken aback by this, because this is just such a non-thing in Guild Wars 2. Like, people were like, oh, do you guys want to hop on voice and, like, blast some keys? I was like, holy shit. I actually can't believe this is happening. Wait, someone's telling me to get on voice, and it's not me telling other people to get on voice? I can't believe it. Yeah, I hopped on Discord with these guys. We just, like, did, like, five hours of gameplay. It's actually sick. Fucking love to see it. I love how social it is compared to Guild Wars 2. It's just much more social. Guild Wars 2 used to be this way. You know, one of, um, do you know one thing I used to do, guys? I used to, like, triple trouble worm. And, like, every day, uh, I would get on TeamSpeak and do triple trouble worm with the worm community. And they'd give, like, the same talk and make the same, like, meme in jokes about the triple trouble worm. That's the good shit, man. Like, that's what we need. That's what we need in Guild Wars 2. We once had it. But now it's long gone. M plus is a toxic community. Is that true? Or coming from jaded veterans? I actually think, um, did I, I think people are hilariously wrong about M plus. To be honest, like it, it's the the problem with M plus is that you can lose, right? Um, there's always going to be friction when you can lose, um, and you can lose. Oh, Method Kill Tindril? Yeah, dude, they're kind of popping off, actually. That's pretty big. They're going to be on Farak as well. Fucking respect to Method. Yeah. So, this, this kind of depends. Uh, a guy like leaves after a single wipe. I mean, in general, I have, I have depleted a whole bunch of keys in Pugs. And... Honestly, I have very rarely seen toxicity, like extremely rare. I want to say like one in 10 depletes or like one in, no, one in like 25 depletes. Someone gets really mad or like rage quits or something. Um, it's pretty uncommon though. But the thing is, is that if you want to have, um, if you want to have any sense of competitiveness that means sometimes you have to lose and when you lose people are going to get mad that's just kind of the trade-off you make it's it's and and 
I want to be really clear here. It's a trade-off that you don't have to be okay with. If, if you have an opinion, you say, I really don't like the timer on Mythic Plus, I think that's a perfectly valid opinion. And you know what? I would... Um, uh, that's why I really like what they're doing um, with the single-player dungeons. They're adding single-player dungeons to WoW, where you can play through them at your own pace entirely as you wish. And they're adding um, good gearing options for actual complete solo play. I think that's good. Um, so that players don't have to engage in the Mythic Plus system if they don't want to. I'm in favor of stuff like that uh, in general. So that you don't have to have that kind of more competitive experience with your when you're when you're trying to gear up your character. Uh, but as long as you fail, there will always be toxicity. As long as there is a fail state um, and you can lose, people are going to get mad. That's just the way it is. Ah, oh, there we go, Queensdale. All right, here we go. Any other MMOs that I'm looking forward to? Not really, no. There's nothing that is particularly interesting to me. Failing a boss even one time. Yeah, and honestly, it, it's actually really weird to me that people say this. Guys, have you ever pugged in this game? You guys know that people leave after one wipe in pugs in this game, right? Like, we are aware of that, yeah? It's so weird that people, like, throw this at WoW. And honestly, even I fucked up there. Chat, you're completely correct. Dude, people rage quit so fucking hard in Guild Wars 2. It is unreal. Like, people will literally wipe once on a boss that is challenging and will rage quit. This is very common. Like, come on, let, let's not let's not pretend that um, this doesn't happen in Guild Wars, yeah? 100% does. Yeah. Already complaining? Uh, listen, we, I'm from England. It's all we do. Yeah. 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 Ah. It's the timer for me. I like hard, easy, medium. Not not timers. That's fair enough, yeah. Uh, personally, I do like the timer because it kind of forces you to play under constraints. But I actually 100% respect people not wanting that. I think it would be very interesting if there was a way um, to kind of facilitate both players' desires. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, this is a meme, and I, I, I really fucking wish that... I know this would never happen, guys, but I really do, I guess, pride myself on I will at least uh, entertain the other side. But I feel like in the Guild Wars 2 community, um, whenever I say, oh boy, you know, I really like playing competitively... People tell me, why do you want that? Go play WoW. Go play that toxic game instead. You're not welcome here. Fuck off. Right? Whereas, um, if someone comes to me in WoW and says, oh man, I don't like the timer in Mythic Plus, I'll say, yeah, that's why I'm really happy that they're adding delves so that c players can gear their characters without having to engage in a competitive environment. Like, that's the difference. Um, yeah, like, fuck off. Leave. Leave. Go away. Right? Um, and I don't know. I think that's really lame, and that's that's one thing about the Guild Seeing me I don't I don't like at all. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when World Bus would in PvP exist, I mean, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yes. That's how it is. No sense to leave in a trading group. Dude, trading groups are actually notoriously difficult to keep together, actually, for this exact reason. Like, people don't like wiping and failure, and trading groups, especially pug trading groups, crumble um, pretty quickly. Like, more experienced groups are usually okay, unless it's on something like Doom CM or a challenge mode, where it's going to be pretty obvious if your group's going to beat it or not. Um, but, yeah. It, uh, it's ironic how WoW is called the toxic raiding game when Guild Wars is a much more toxic exclusionary design originally with the one difficulty mode. Either get in there or no raids for you. Um, y yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't really say it's, I wouldn't really say Guild Wars 2 raid design is toxic. It's just fundamentally flawed. Um, making one difficulty mode, it doesn't make any sense. And making, um, making a difficulty ramp doesn't work if you only release two bosses a year. It, that's not good enough. Um, you can do a ramp if you release a lot of content, but if you don't release a lot of content, it's no good. 
Hunter Pug, one or two missing people. Yeah, it, it's it's never going to be ideal. I love the LFR as well. Yeah, I'm a big fan of LFR as well for this exact reason. Um, yeah, this is the this is the thing that kind of makes me. Um, do you know one thing that makes me a little bit, I'm not not exactly uneasy, but very conflicted. It's that I feel like I make allowances for more casual players. But then those same casual players want me gone. Like This is like something that I, I always struggle with in gaming. Like, I'm always in favor of making the game more accessible um, and so that everyone can enjoy the content. But I feel like the same players that I want to enjoy the game also want me purged out of the game's community. Uh, and by the way, I actually, that's in, in every game, not just, um, not just Guild Wars 2. I, I think that's the, the same in World of Warcraft as well. Like... Um, th there's, it's, it's really weird. It's really unusual, um, to feel this way. Another event. Here we go. It's time. Um, Commander Ghost does not show in terms of its, um, content updates. Uh, what exactly do you mean? I, I, I'm, I don't understand. How does LFR work? You queue up in a P Yeah, you just queue up, yeah, and you get into the raid. Dude, I'm one-shotting everything. What the hell? Dungeons had a difficulty ramp, just saying. Honestly, did they? I actually think the difficulty was surprisingly even. Like, Iran was notably harder, but all the other ones, I feel like, were surprisingly kind of similar. Like, um, in terms of the difficulty. Like, for example, Citadel of Flame is very easy, right? Like, that's like a relatively late dungeon, but it's one of the easier ones. Whereas I would say something like Ascalonian Catacombs, that can really trip you up uh, on some of the bosses. Yeah. That's how it goes. Level 30 on the release of the game. Yeah, if you have green gear, it's going to be rough. Sometimes green gear wins. Stand the brazier for more than three seconds. That is true, dude. I remember doing a lot of uh, COFP3, and yeah, that was that, people got very confused by that sometimes. Yeah. Yes, uh, Mr. I want to do all the quests. I want to do all the little, guys. You understand? I'm here to game, right? Look, do I look like I need a twenty-slot bag? No. I don't need that. It's Atari, surplus to requirement. Let's go. Do we get like a veteran ghost or something? Rely on iron, not false gods. Ooh. Let's go. Wait, what happened? Are you? What are they doing? Oh shit! Protect the demolition team. You got it. Okay, this is like a mega ghost. This is a bit scuffed, isn't it? What's going on? Why are they being so weird? Why are they all stacked over there? Is it bugged? Hmm. I think we broke. Oh, wait, hang on. Ah! Warmeister Titus. You guys remember this guy from Guild Wars 1? Boom, we got him. Who was that guy? I don't know. Some long dead human. He seemed pretty ticked off about the whole Yeah, he was dead. Of course. We broke his precious statue. Ha ha ha. Yeah, yeah. We did it. Let's get out of here. Very nice. Very, very nice. Boom. Ah, yes. Hobo run? I mean, no gear, no weapons. I mean, I, I mean, stuff like that is pretty good, to be honest. But um, after a while, you run out. And to be honest, I will admit this, guys. And, and this is like the most depressing one uh, for me anyway. It's like, why put in so much effort to like, to, to like, scrabble together something in this game when you have infinite content in other games. 
And you have people who actually want to try hard and, and play competitively. Yeah. There's like no real point, right? It's just, it, it's, it makes no sense. Feels like you're only complaining uh, nowadays. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I am complaining. If you don't like it, you should leave instead of complaining about my stream. Yeah. Is infinite content in Guild Wars 2? There's zero content for someone like me, unfortunately. Uh, SE2 teapot. What's your SE2 birth stream? It's never like four times. You're in the Yeah, I mean, I love the game. SE2 is brilliant. It's very good. Yeah. Yes. Not the content uh, you're looking for. Well, it's not even about difficult content. Look, if, if I actually had people who wanted to try hard meta events, I'd actually be down with that. But nobody wants to do that. Look, you know, if, if, I, if I actually had teams of people who wanted to, like, speed run meta events all day, hell yeah, I'm about that. But nobody wants to do that. Wow and New World are popping off lately, and that's a lot to do with content updates. Guild Wars 2, not so much. Do you think that's to do with the size of the studios behind them? Um, um, it's a really good question. Uh, like, some of it definitely is. Like, uh, you know, the, they're able to, like, release, like, a pretty large volume of content um, with these things. But I also, I actually do think a big part of it is actually the audience. Like... Um, the World of Warcraft audience and the New World audience, they're a lot more hardcore, right? And because they're hardcore, players are very engaged. Um, and if you have a very engaged audience, um, you end up with a lot more chatter around your game. Like, for example, guys, um, let's think about our other games. World of Warcraft is minuscule. That, that it, it, at the end of the day, guys, WoW is like a pipsqueak compared to Candy Crush, right? Um, but why does nobody talk about Candy Crush, right? Even though, uh, mobile gaming dominates, absolutely shits all over PC gaming, console gaming, all this stuff. Why? Well, it's because people who, you know, the audience is nowhere near as engaged. So you don't have nearly as much chatter, right? Um, like around games and so on, right? Yeah. But that's how it is. It gets Z content. It doesn't matter about if it gets content or not. It's about the audience, right? Um, it, it's about the audience that you have. If you have a very engaged audience, then you're going to have a lot more discussion, a lot more buzz around your video game. Uh, whereas Guild Wars 2, Guild Wars 2 is actually reducing. Like, I would say the Guild Wars 2 player base is extremely low engagement. Very low. Um, and that's decreasing as well. Like the, the level of engagement with the player base is going down over time. It's becoming essentially more and more uh, casual, right? Um, and because that's the case, you're going to get less and less buzz. Even though the game is doing really, really well, uh, which it is, by the way, um, you're going to get less and less buzz because there's less and less hardcore players. And people who are like mega, mega invested. That's how it is. Boom. Yes. That's where I think it comes from. And also, I do think that those studios are just very good at marketing. Like, Guild Wars 2 is... Um... Guild Wars 2 is, is a weird... Arena is a weird studio. They're not very good at selling their own game. Like, uh, I actually think Amazon and Blizzard do a very good job of selling their game. So there is that. Yes. An ad for Guild Wars 2, like, once or twice in my whole life? Well, you aren't going to see them, because you already know the game, right? Like, you'll see ads. It's just that you have to actually sell your product well. Um, look. This is the way you gotta think about it, guys. The WoW story sucks, but the cutscenes look pretty good. And that's, that's important, right? Okay? Um, you know, you've, you gotta make your game look exciting. You gotta make your game look hype. 
And Blizzard does a very good job of that. <laughs> That's, uh, is what it is. Yeah. Boom. Very nice. Yes. Trying to do M3 to, like, CM Frax, like, pulling teeth in New World. It takes, like, 30 minutes to get a group for one dungeon. Is it, like, actually hard or what? I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess... It's always going to be difficult with stuff like that, I guess. Yeah. Blizzard baits and it does pretty good. Hell yeah, they're really good at marketing. They're very good at it. Yeah. Yes. Boom. It's easy. Well, I mean, why don't people want to do it? Like, is there better ways to, like, farm loot or something? It's just like, is it not good for farming gear or what? But I guess people just struggle with the game's difficulty on a daily basis. But, I mean, I don't know. Regardless, look, you've got to bear in mind, guys. Like, Guild Wars 2 is like a very low engagement game. Like, I... I a CM Fractal level? I mean, so pretty easy then. Yeah. I mean, I oh, don't know, it is what it is. Like, maybe New World is relatively low engagement, but, I mean, it's still going to be higher engagement than um, Guild Wars, right? Well, that Mortar nearly died. It was 3% health. We almost failed that event, guys. Yeah. Boom. We did it. We have done it. Victory is mine. Ah, event. Let's go. This one's way better than Queensdale. I guess there's less people here, though. I feel like everyone's in Queensdale. Are there changes going to dungeons with Dungeon Rush? Um, probably some bug fixes. Hopefully, anyway. Hopefully. Maybe just unlucky. I mean, it's possible, yeah. But look, I mean, I, I think a big part of it does come down to um, engagement, right? I don't look at this shit. Um, you have... How many people are watching World of Warcraft right now? Um, 207,000! And that will go up a lot when we actually get close to the actual kill. That will probably be upwards of half a million when you're on, like, the final day of progression. Like, when you're getting towards, like, the, the kill and this stuff. The World of Warcraft audience is very engaged. And hell, like, check this out. You're going to have Season of Discovery coming up as well. That's, like, the new WoW Vanilla thing that they're doing. So you're going to have massive engagement there as well. Like, the, the World of Warcraft player base is extremely engaged. The Guild Wars 2 player base is extremely disengaged. Um, and again, these things are not necessarily bad or good. However, there are very... There are consequences, right? Like, if you want your game to have buzz, you need to have an engaged player base. If your player base is not engaged, you're going to have no buzz. Again, it's the same thing... Um, it's the same thing with, uh, like, you know, mobile games, right? Like, mobile games have very low engagement. People just play them very casually. So you're never going to hear about them, like, on Twitch. You're never going to hear about them in, in the media, really. There's no buzz around the game. Are there not enough things to be, um, engaged about? Um, I mean, I guess you could say that. Yeah. Um, uh, about New World? Well, I mean, look, maybe New World is pretty low engagement, but, I mean, the lo Guild Wars 2 has the lowest engagement out of any MMO. Um, g games can be very casual, or friendly, and have, or, or not necessarily even, like, skill-oriented. Like, hardcore is not the same as skill-oriented. For example, there's a lot of engagement in old-school RuneScape. Old-school RuneScape is obviously a pretty chill game, right? It's a cozy game, but people play it hardcore, right? Because it rewards you for playing it hardcore. Like, it rewards you for being very engaged with it, uh, and kind of blasting, right? If that makes any sense. Um, like, Guild Wars 2, not so much. As a result of that, players aren't very engaged, and, you know, you don't get you don't get that kind of energy around it. Uh, who don't like to turn mega? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying this is a bad thing. People are asking, why is there no buzz around the game? I'm explaining why. 
But yeah, this is actually a mar this is a strategy from ArenaNet. ArenaNet is the anti MMO. Like Guild Wars is the anti MMO. It's the MMO if you don't want to play hardcore, if you don't want your skill to matter, if you don't want um like your engagement to matter with the game. Like if you don't want to care about game systems uh, or skill um or like hardcore play, then Guild Wars 2 is the game for you. And it's really hard to say that without kind of like sounding like I'm roasting the game, but I'm really not. It's a smart business strategy. Uh, is what they're doing. It's a very intelligent business strategy. Yeah. Yes. Paid games? Of course, yeah. Um, paid games will, by definition, like, or, as a result of that, have a more engaged player base. If you have a sub fee, you're going to have a more engaged player base. Because if people are spending money, they're going to inherently be more invested um, in whatever they're spending their money on. Boom. Would removing uh, elite specs encourage more engagement? I mean, probably not. Guild Wars 2 does have hardcore content. How is Blizzard able to sell people in playing their hard content versus other games' um, hard content? Um, bec because... Um, it, this is a really interesting, like, chicken and the egg one, in my opinion. Because... The community in Guild Wars 2 has always been, like, giga entitled, right? Like, I can't do it, it's too hard. I think a big part of it is actually because of this marketing that ArenaNet did. So ArenaNet basically said, like, you play this game if you don't want to play the other games. So when you try and basically make this game like the other games, people are going to push back against that really hard. Um, and they aren't going to be happy about it. And that's kind of what happened, right? Is people got... People didn't want the game to be difficult. Like, why does this have to be hard? And also... Arena didn't release that much content eventually. Like, stuff like Raze didn't do very well, um, realistically. They were really hard to make and didn't do very well. Um, so it's kind of like, the community was always a bit like this, very entitled. So people didn't really get to hard content because, you know, it was too difficult and they weren't able to beat it. And they were like, this is stupid. Like, just nerf it, make it easier, add easy mode. Um, which, to be fair, they should have done that. So there was like design flaws in the hard, there was design flaws in the hard content. Uh, very entitled community anti-MMO um, kind of marketing and um, like target demographic and also a volume as well, like volume. Um, you, so the, the latest raid guys for World of Warcraft, you get a raid like every six to nine months depending on like the scheduling. It has nine bosses with four difficulty settings. Um, yeah, that is more content than five years of Guild Wars 2. So, six months of WoW, five years of Guild Wars 2. So, th this is kind of the thing, right? It's it's like very chicken in the egg. So, you know, you kind of, you need the content for the community, but you also need the community for the content as well. It's, you know, it's, it's the, the snake eating its own tail. That's the deal. They aren't competing with WoW or Final Fantasy and M+. You know, uh, I, I actually hate this so much, but um, do, do you know what the the real pain point is, actually, for um, for World vs. World? I hate this. I, I despise this. ArenaNet is a good company, and they are a moral and ethical company. And do you know what the problem with World vs. World is, guys? Yup. It's a core game feature, so they can't monetize it. Um, because they don't have a sub fee, and they don't sell it in expansions, unfortunately. So, it's really hard for ArenaNet to monetize development time on World vs. World, um, to be honest. And they felt that they could do a much better job in the open world, which I think is correct. Because the open world is kind of like the marching forwards content. Like, focusing on open world and story, I think is a very good tactical decision from ArenaNet. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, like, one of the things that got, uh, that has screwed Guild Wars 2 over the most has actually been, um, they are way too generous with what they give you. The game is too fair. It's way too fair uh, in favor of um, the consumer, especially in certain areas. 
Um, when it comes to like PV PVP and world versus world, honestly, guys, we're doomed from the beginning. Like, um, the moment that you had no real way to monetize PVP and world versus world, you're fucked, right? Um, it was it was DOA, unfortunately. Bit rough, but that's how it is. Uh, part of the player base won't care because they already have endgame gear. I actually think that's not true. Um, I actually think skins are good enough if you release a lot of them and um, they're actually exclusive. Uh, for example, one one big mistake I think ArenaNet made, or not really a mistake, again, it was probably like a tactical concession. Um, but one thing that is not good about the rewards um, in... Uh, in Guild Wars 2 raids is that you can sell them. So in other words, you can buy a ghostly infusion without ever having set foot in a raid. That's a mistake. Uh, it means that the in you don't have to engage with the content in order to actually obtain the reward. Essentially making the reward worthless. There's no prestige or story or, or, or you know, like a s skill or anything behind it. You can simply buy it. Uh, same with the Peerless Infusion and I think most egregiously, uh, Doom's Throne. Right? Uh, whatever it's fucking called. What is this shit? I can't remember what it's even called. Is it, is it like seat? I don't even know. But you can buy the Doom Throne, right? Um, this is a huge mistake. Because it essentially makes the rewards worthless. Uh, worse than that. It actually puts a dollar amount on it. Because you can just buy that with real money. And then buy, you know, buy gems, buy gold. Then buy the reward. It puts a dollar value on something that should be like a special exclusive in-game reward. Huge mistake. Um, and, and that kind of like reward structure... Um, also, it, it make it mushes up raid content, right? Like, it makes it less special. And making, co and making, like, difficult content less special is a really good way to kill that content. Like, you, you know, you need players to feel, like, accomplishment, and they need to feel special, um, for beating it, right? Like, you can't just give, and they did this with the Everbloom too, right? They, they, the Everbloom you can also buy. Huge mistake. Uh, massively devalues uh, HTCM. Uh, essentially, again, puts a dollar amount on it, uh, which is never what you want. You never want your in-game rewards to have a dollar amount attached to them. That is one of the worst things that can happen to your MMO. Because it essentially makes it worthless. Because no, nothing in this game can ever ever be as valuable as real life money it's simply impossible because it's real you know real life is real and and you know video games aren't real like a uh, wow mount source yes i don't know why people always use it as a, as a gotcha this is one of the most brain dead non-thinking gotchas ever do you guys really think i'm like oh yeah i think the the store in wow is just a-okay no it's dog shit obviously um yes it's terrible the fact that you can buy gold in WoW is stupid. It's, t it's, I hate it. It's not good even a tiny bit. Like, we meme about it, you're like, oh yeah, swipe for Bobby. But no, it's terrible. It's, it's, it's shit. Obviously, yes. Yeah. You know, it's weird. I, I think people actually expect me to be like them. People expect me to be tribal. And because I'm playing WoW, people think that I would give WoW, like, more leeway on this. Hell no. In fact, I'll give them less. Because right now I'm very invested in, in World of Warcraft. So I'll actually give them hell way more than I give Guild Wars 2 for this. Uh, because I actually care about the games that I play. I care about video games. So yeah, if I'm playing a game and I'm invested, yeah, I'm going to roast the living hell out of anything bad that they do. Obviously, yeah. More so than games that I'm less invested in. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Let's go. It's time. Guild Wars 2 Gold, nothing can make you better, um, skill-wise. I mean, yeah, but I mean, that's, that's the same in any game, right? Like, outside of, like, actual, like, extreme pay-to-win, your skill is always going to be by far the most important factor, like, in video games. Like, you're not paying your, you're not paying to win to Worlds first. Like, if you're, like, some random scrub, you could spend millions on in-game WoW Gold, uh, and there's fucking no shot you're going to get Worlds first. The only way you're going to get Worlds first in WoW is if you get good. Um, extremely good, and then do 20 split runs for every single one of your teammates. Dude, check out this cool jumping puzzle. Let's go. Yes. But yeah, there's probably a pay-to-win games. They're even worse. 
Uh, it's actually really sad. I used to play a game called Dungeon Runners. It was actually an NCSoft game. It got shut down. There's actually a reverse engineering project, which is pretty cool for it, uh, that hopefully they can get up and running again. But yeah, Dungeon Runners, it was actually weird because I played that game and I... There were like, these weapons you could get. They were like uh, rainbow weapons. They, 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 it was like a Diablo. It was like a cross between Diablo and Guild Wars 1. It was weird. Um, and um, there were like these items that had rainbow names. So they, they had their, their you know, the, the name of the item was kind of like a glowing rainbow. Uh, and I was like, man, how do you get these things? And yeah, it turns out that like, you buy them. Uh, or like, you know, you bought the ability to get them at like a massively higher uh, drop rate and all this kind of stuff. Um... But yeah, I, I was actually so young when I was playing the game, I actually didn't even understand the concept of what pay to win was. Because it, it was not really a time where I was like actually paying for stuff online really, because you know, I was like fucking 10 or whatever. Um, so yeah, it was also a free game. No! It was actually a pretty hype game to be honest. But unfortunately it's long dead. So it goes, so it goes my friends. Huh! Huh! I hate video games. Honestly, who doesn't? Who doesn't? But yeah. Let's go back to the main point. It's very difficult for ArenaNet to monetize PvP and World vs. World because they're core game features. They can do it with expansions and stuff like that, but again, that's almost like not enough of a selling point, right? That's why it's much easier to monetize PvE. Like, um, uh, it's much easier to do that. Ah, Necromancer. Very good. Mesmer or Guardian? Can't really uh, sign any advice. I mean, honestly, both those are great choices. I definitely like a little bit of Mesmer, but, you know, Guardian, very versatile. Lots of playstyles on Guardian, but to be fair, Mesmer as well, actually, especially with the next patch. Yeah. Yes. Big. Let's go. Um, story and other easy content do have skins or rewards you can only obtain if you complete the content. Yeah, yeah, because, I mean, oh, do, do you know why that is, by the way, Stormlord? And this is why I, I I'm, I'm, I'm always going to be a little bit gentle on ArenaNet for this. Do you know why they do it that way? Because, um, the ghostly infusion being sellable, this is how you monetize raid content. This is very intentional. Like, what, do, do you guys know why the Everbloom, um, is monetized? This is how you monetize HTCM, because people swipe for this. They are, basically, what's actually going on here, guys? Everbloom's drop from HTCM, well, from EOD challenge modes, right? So, what is it? When you buy an Imperial Everbloom, you are paying someone else gold for doing challenge mode content. So somewhere down the line, someone engaged with this challenge mode content. So buying an Everbloom with money, which people do, in fact, most people will be buying this with real money, this is monetizing um, challenge mode content. This is how you make money out of it. So I think it's it's bad because it essentially um, disincentivizes players to play the game and it essentially devalues the rewards there and makes it not special at all however um it's it's the way they make money out of it can't you buy it with shards you can't uh, sell it with shards if you buy the one with shards it's um account bound yeah boom if Alliance has got turned to modest, a, a map behind the expansion. I don't think you can really do that, though. You can't really um, sell a map behind the expansion. I don't think. It doesn't really make a... I don't think you can do that. It doesn't make sense. Monetizing alliances. I mean, what do you even do? Like, what would that even look like, right? I, it's very difficult to do that. And the, the way that um, they try and monetize stuff is like build templates, right? Like build templates are attempt to monetize, uh, like Warclaw skins and stuff like that uh, is an attempt. But it's, it's very difficult uh, compared to PvE anyway. Like it's easy to monetize PvE because you just sell people content. Uh, you just sell them the expansion, right? It's got all the story in it and stuff. And also in general, this is another thing, it's way easier to kind of maintain like a very casual story-oriented community because they don't really want that much. 
uh, pretty much. Let's log into the store and buy stuff every uh, once in a while. Like, in general, competitive players are way harder to deal with. They're going to be way more demanding. I mean, hell, look at me, right, guys? Like, I'm way more demanding than um, your average Guild Wars 2 player. I'm a massive pain in the ass for someone like, um, for, for ArenaNet, pretty much. Yeah, I destroyed all these frogs. I'm gonna liberate this place from the frogs. Uh, do I have to kill these fire lobbers? I guess so. I guess not. Ah, frogs. Frag. Frag. Boom. Very nice. Boom. Fire lobber is down. Camp tower siege skins. Claims those could be decorated. I mean, that would be a pretty good idea, yeah. Wouldn't be surprised if they did. What's your main class? I don't really have a main. I don't, I'm not really a main style player. I just play whatever's good, pretty much. Wait. Dude, a jellyfish battle. Let's go. It's time. We will battle this jellyfish. I think I have to turn into one though, don't I? Where do you find these blaster orgs? What do we got here? Throw the tides. Yo, augment take. Wait, what the fuck is this? 94k DPS. Hmm. That is, uh, that's not what we like to see. Grey Pars. Keep us at 19. Hmm. Honestly, you hate to see that. Still timed it, though, actually. Holy shit. Still timed it. Oh, wait. Dude, it's dead. It's over. 20 seconds off, plus, plus. Yeah, I mean, that's rough. Yeah, the hunter hard carrying there, actually. Hard carrying. Boom. What's your solution to improve world versus world? It's a good question there from YouTube chat. You know what? I think it's actually really hard to do it. Um... And it, like I said, this is why, the, the reason why I don't like to go too hard on Aina on areas like this is actually because um, I'm, I'm kind of mad that uh, ArenaNet is kind of getting punished for being consumer friendly. Um, feels pretty bad. Although, I guess they're kind of being punished for microtransactions in a way. Like, it, it's not an issue. Um, it's not an issue to monetize gameplay if you have a sub fee, right? And if you have microtransactions, it definitely does get a little bit, um... Wait, what's the... What, the crab's running away. The fuck? Um, if you had as much playtime on WoW as you go, we'll see. Would you think about it differently? Very unlikely. Here we go. Go. The thing is, you've got to, got to see, guys, I'm a very uh, unchanging person. Uh, I think this is maybe a slight disconnect here that is a little bit weird. Um, I am very unchanging. I will play games the same way I'm playing them now in 10 years. Yeah. That is almost certain. Uh, to be the case. Oh shit, the meta event. Easy. Let's go. In ten years time, I will still be here. I will just be fucking yelling at people, telling them to get good. That is a fixture of me. Dude, this... Uh, I don't know what they did with this guy, but they made him, like, the biggest HP sponge ever. Look at this guy. It's crazy. He's got so much health. 
You never know what happens in 10 years. I mean, you don't. But the thing is... I... People who have watched my stream know that I have always been like this. Um, especially people who are actually paying attention. Like, a lot of, like, my behavior and takes... Not only really new. Yeah. Swarm them. That's what the Grawl say. Oh. Champion Svanir Shaman. What a beast. What a machine this guy is. At least I have my perma quickness in Shroud. I got that going for me. Here we go. Dude, I'm only doing 2k DPS, but I have been scaled down, so that's my excuse. We've got that going for us. Look at the little shroud you have. You have 700 shroud. That's crazy. Is it too uh, too late to delete Sally from the game? Uh, the, the Sally one is really interesting. Um... It comes down to if they can actually split it somehow in World vs. World and uh, PvE, because the, the problem is that um, Celestial is really good for PvE, because if you have Celestial gear in PvE, it's almost like impossible to do, to be completely useless, or at least it's very difficult. Uh, but in World vs. World, it, it kind of ruins the game mode. Although, you know, it, it's a bit of a weird one. Like, I would definitely say that Celestial is worse than something like Trailblazer, but the world versus world roaming meta is always going to be extremely unfun. Um, people tend to forget this, but do you guys not remember like Celestial uh, or like rather Trailblazer Scourge, stuff like that, like back in POF? Like, you guys like that? You enjoyed that roaming meta as well, like Trailblazer Mirage? You guys have fun with that? So. It will always be very unfun because 1v1 builds are not balanced, right? Like the way that you balance them is with objectives. That's why PvP has capture nodes. Otherwise, it would just be thieves running around the map, you know, just like uh, constantly kiting you and slowly picking you off. Like, um, that's why you have objectives. That's why you have towers, right? And camps and stuff, essentially. Uh, so, yeah, is what it is. Uh, as soon as Celestial is gone... It will be Trailblazer, which is, you know, I guess slightly better, but it's not exactly going to be great either. Trailblazer and Selly? Yeah, then, then, but the thing is, yeah, this is why you've got to think this through, though. Then you'll go to Dire. Like, in fact, one of the, one of the things in um, Path of Fire was that condition application was kind of fast and quite bursty. So you didn't actually need the duration. Like, in fact, like, um, getting in some Dire gear would actually be just as good almost sometimes. Um, a lot of the time. Yeah. So, it's kind of, you know, a bit of a weird meme. Yeah. Boom. Until Thief gets balanced, Sally should stay in World vs. World. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I feel like Thief is always going to do super well because it's fast. Right? Like, as long as you can just kite people out and slowly chip away at them. Like, Thief is always going to just kind of own people in World vs. World. It's just always going to be great at that 1v1. Um... It's pretty much been best at 1v1ing in World vs. World since more or less forever. Like, just purely on the basis of the fact that it can just outlast. You can just, like, outvalue people. Yes. Yeah. And you just keep going down the list, right? Like, ah, oh, yeah, well, now we've got to nerf the next broken build. Like, now we've got to, we've got to delete the next OP build. Do you still do the accent, uh, even when you're off stream? Uh, no, actually. Like, uh, you've stumbled upon the secret of British people. Yeah. Let's introduce the cane toad into the world versus world ecosystem. You know, cane toad is a very interesting meme. Because, um... When I left, I, I think I've told this story before, I'll tell it again now. It's this exact image. Um, uh, on the day that I left my first school, I sent an email 
to everyone um, in the school that contained a PowerPoint presentation of a bunch of these toads animated using, like, the uh, PowerPoint animation thing. So you could, like, make the toads, like, wiggle around and stuff. And there it is. There was, like, multiple of these that were just kind of, like, going crazy all over the uh, PowerPoint presentation. So I just sent that to everyone. It's like, fuck it. That's how it is. Boom. GG. Thoughts on people saying the WoW Tindril fight was stolen from Guild Wars 2? There is nothing like that fight in Guild Wars 2. Um, honestly, I can understand Guild Wars 2 players being salty that WoW released an actual good mounted combat segment and Guild Wars 2 has still never done that. So I can understand people being a little bit pissed, um, but it's actually a valuable lesson, uh, in my opinion. Okay? It's a valuable lesson that it, you know, that Guild Wars 2 could learn from. It's like, that's how you make um, mounts in combat interesting. Boom. There you go. But yeah, I don't think people are really saying that. I don't think I've seen anyone say that. Who the f who the fuck says that? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. What do they do with mounted combat in WoW? Uh, so this is pretty cool. Um, uh, on Mythic, uh, at periods of the fight, um, you're allowed to mount up and you have to catch orbs in the air that will otherwise blow you up. And then you dive bomb to destroy roots at the same time. It's actually a really good usage of the system. I'm not going to lie, guys. I have to admit that I'm wrong. I said there is no way mounted combat could actually be good. And I will take the L on this one. I was wrong. Blizzard actually fucking did it. They made a non-dog shit mounted um, raid fight. Fair play to them, to be honest. And then you actually have a relevant race. Basically, the boss runs from a platform, runs from platform to platform, and starts charging up a one shot. Basically, it starts charging up like a one shot attack. Um, and uh, it, you have to get there before before the the boss starts charging up and killing you, right? So it's like a race thing. Yeah. So very good, very uh, very cool. Probably mythic. Uh, yeah, that's right. Indeed. Yeah, Tindril is indeed glorious. I, you know, honestly, a huge motivation for me trying to make the guild better. And uh, I, over the next, like, couple of years, I'll be trying to get as good at World of Warcraft as possible and make my guild as good as possible. The biggest reward is actually going to be playing the bosses unnerfed. Um... Because here's the problem. By the time that we actually get to Mythic Tindril, it will have been nuked. Like, that, it, they will absolutely demolish that encounter. And it honestly feels really bad. By the time that, um, by the time that we get there, oh man, it's going to be so fucking sad. It is going to be so sad. Yeah. Yeah. But oh well, that's how it goes. That's the, the true reward. The true reward is playing the actual hardest difficulty, not the nerfed difficulty. Yes. Yeah, and you have to fly and dodge the beams at the same time through the orbs. Actually, very good. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good. I'll give them that. I will, uh, I'll give Blizz that. They did a good job there. And also, um... There, there's actually some things that are similar to this in Guild Wars 2. But you know what the fatal flaw is, guys? It's that, that it's using the sky scale. Um, because the gr basically... Oh, man. Blizzard was smart on this. They realized that the sky scale sucks, but the griffin is sick. Um, so what they did was, is that all of the parts where you do the dragon riding in the tendril fight, it's the griffin part of it, Right? They don't use the sky scale part of dragon riding. They just use the griffin part. Um, and all of the mounted combat in Guild Wars 2, guess which mount it is, guys? Yeah, the sky scale. So um, they actually have 
look, no questions about it, guys. The Roller Beetle uh, and the Griffin are better than Dragon Riding. That's not a controversial take. Nobody's going to argue with that. Uh, well, actually, I guess some people would. But personally, I do think that the Griffin and the Beetle are better than Dragon Riding. But th that's my opinion. Doesn't matter. Um, but, no but notice how you never use the Beetle or the Griffin in any kind of relevant content. It's just like a little side mini game that never really gets utilized appropriately. Um, whereas in WoW, they take the good part. They take the griffin, basically, and they put it into races and they put it into a raid fight. And that's good. Yeah. And uh, they, they also... They also are very smart with the mount in combat thing. Like, um, they basically just give you the ability to mount in combat dynamically. There are some things that do this in Guild Wars 2, like with the mastery on CD. But again, in WoW, it's on command. Like, when a mechanic happens, you mount up and you go, right? It's it's just well done. Like, Guild Wars 2 should do something like that. But they should do it with the Griffin, right? The Sky Sky just sucks. It's not fun to use. The Griffin is high energy, though. Uh, if we don't at least get to try Tinder or the Bull and Nurse, dude, that boss is getting nuked after World's First Guru. Uh, honestly, if you want to actually do uh, end boss on max difficulty, you are, you have to be insanely good at the game. Yes. Uh, are you leveling uh, a new character? No, we're doing like the all the events. Let's go. Turtle as a combo map, not the sky scale. Well, I mean, to be fair, it is both these days, but yeah. Who do you think is going to win the race to worlds first? You know, I, I'm i not sure if I can really call it. I think it's extremely close right now between both of the rosters. I, I want to say Echo really caught up. I feel like they were really far behind um, with Tindril, but they managed to just barely get down um, Tindril yesterday, and they seem to be doing extremely well on Farak. Uh, they've caught up very quickly. Yeah. Man, dude, fucking mi dude, Mythic Farak is so brutal, dude. Holy shit. This fight is insane. It's absolutely ridiculous. Oh my god. Jesus. Yeah. Absolutely wild. What a wild fight. Method at sending out on five pulls. Well, yeah, I, I think the really big thing that Echo and Method are benefiting from is that Liquid um, found, like, the optimal pathing for Phase 1. I would expect all of the very strong guilds to actually very quickly get to the intermission because the pathing has already been mapped out by Liquid. So, yeah. But, yeah, it's, again, it's probably going to be between... Honestly, wouldn't it be kind of epic if Method somehow won? Like the underdog story? I mean, I do like a good underdog story. Probably, it's pretty unlikely, but not impossible. Why are you always shaking? Uh, because unfortunately, I have a terrible genetic condition. That means I tremor constantly. Um, and now, now look what you've done. Now you just sound like an asshole, right? Fuck. Oh, wait, no. I'm just a very mobile guy. But in general... I'll give you some advice. Like, uh, sometimes it's probably best not to ask stuff like that because you never know who you're talking to. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Gotta watch out for that. Uh, that's copium. It would be cool. I mean, it would be copium, right? It would be insane copium. Uh, it, would be, it would be very cool. It is indeed copium, though. Here we go. Did look. Oh, the boss is back. New best? Pog? Kill the ads. Kill. Oh, dude. The, they failed the ad DPS check, I think. The ads exploded. Oh, shit. There's a Giga Tree as well, dude. Oh, shit. Looks like. Oh, I think, yeah. I think there's trees you have to keep alive as well. Big. It is time. Uh, method underdogs? I mean, I definitely would. Uh, because, you know, they, they lost their entire guild to Josh. And now they're back. There are fire and shadow ads in P2. They interact, uh, in some way. That's big, actually. 
Very good. Very, very good. Random null root ad spawn. And wouldn't that be pretty big, right? If like null root just like randomly spawns uh, throughout the fight. Yes. But yeah, this is probably going to be a 300, 400 pull boss. I mean, I, honestly, it might be over 400 because hang on, where where are they at? Let me actually look at Raider IO. Where is the team? Where is the progression? Okay, here we go. So the Farak Showdown. Um, dude, why is Raider IO so scuffed? Why wouldn't it just tell me like the leaderboard? Okay, here we go. Ah, it just loaded in. Okay, so Liquid's Best is 62.4 and Echo's is 62.6. And there are 124 pulls in. And P2 is looking to be absolutely brutal, but Phase 3 is also insanely fucked up. So realistically, I think it's going to be over 300 pulls for this one. Yeah. Very nice. Very, very nice. Exciting. Very exciting. 400. Yeah. 400 on Tindril. Oh, dude, Liquid 4. Three. It's very close. You can see how close the guilds are, right? Dude, Method very efficient, right? 375 pulls. Liquid 426. Echo 399. Uh, method 375. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Honestly, what a raid, guys. What a fucking raid. Uh, Amirdrasil is an extremely good raid. Like, Avarice was good, but this is a lot better, to be honest. It's what is rather impressive about WoW. They not own, you know, people like to me, I mean, it's weird. You know, the, do you know one thing I really wish they could improve in WoW? It's actually, like, how janky the cutscenes feel. Not like the way they look, but it's like, when you're in the story, and you're doing something like a cutscene randomly appears then afterwards like the world like phases afterwards i don't know it just, it just looks like the transitions are really weird between like cutscenes and gameplay you just have like these like random animated cutscenes within the game it's very weird it's very weird stuff yes very very nice indeed Let's go. Dude, what is this morale? This morale is insane. Uh, when we weekly reset happens, do the teams need to redo the fights to get back to the end boss? Uh, they do if they don't extend. You can actually make it so um, you don't have to. You can essentially keep all the bosses dead forever if you want, indefinitely. Uh, but if you want to go back for more loot, then yeah, you do. But you have a choice. I imagine if it does go to another week, they'd want... Actually, fucking hell, would they want to re-clear Tindril? Uh, I'm not sure if they'd want to do that, to be honest, because that boss is a bit of a monster. It's not just going to fall over. But, I mean, getting more mythic loot could potentially be good if they need an extra couple of percent. Have to see what they do if it goes to another week. But it, it probably won't. It'll probably die this week before the next reset, I think. That's cool. It is indeed. Pretty cool. The bags? Yeah, the, dude, why is the event taking forever? Uh, they will be forced to re-clear? Yeah, I mean, they'd want to get the items, wouldn't they? Want to get the loot. I mean, what item level will they be next week? They'll be, what, probably 485 at that point? Uh, it does seem pretty challenging. Yeah, it seems to be an extremely hard boss. Can you tell Fungus to sign up for strikes, please? Well, everyone's playing WoW right now. That's the thing. You know, I don't think anyone really wants to... People are not logging in. Yeah. They are not logging in, unfortunately. It's a bit tragic. Didn't Liquid already re-clear uh, Tindril? No, 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 no. It died this reset. How's your mythic progress? Uh, we got the first boss down. Uh, we didn't really have any time left. 
So we're getting... Because we, we mostly did Heroic uh, this week, right? Um, so tomorrow, we're starting, like, proper Mythic progression. Uh, we're going to start uh, getting to work on the second boss. We're hoping to get um, Igira down this week and Volcaros as well. Uh, we'll have a go at Council as well. So basically, our first goal is going to be getting to four out of nine Mythic, which I think is going to be pretty challenging. Certainly not easy. And then we'll move on to Nimue and Laradar. I'm not sure which one's going to be easier, uh, Laradar or um, Nimue, actually. I don't know which one's easier, to be honest. How's the new WoW raid compared to uh, HTCM? Um, I mean, in what way? In what sense? What would you like to compare it to? In terms of difficulty? In terms of difficulty, the WoW raid is much harder. Like, way harder. Way, 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 way harder. But, you know, it's HCCM pretty good as well. You know, is it easier than the easier difficulty? Bro, <laughs> it's not that easy. Like, uh, I mean, it's, it's, I don't know, where would I put, I, I think Heroic Farak is a fair bit harder than, I don't know where I, I don't know how I'd compare it with HTCM. I, I'd have to really think about it. Um, I, I think Heroic Farak is harder, it is definitely harder than everything in the game except HTCM. I don't know where I'd put it um, in comparison to HTCM, to be honest. It's pretty difficult. Uh, you always played WoW? Uh, on and off, yeah. What about WoW's PvP scene? Mechanics started to come into Guild so I guess it has players. I mean, I'm not really a big fan of um, uh, GCD PvP, to be honest. It, it doesn't sound good. I haven't tried it, though, so I have no idea. Um, I think people complain about it a lot. That's all I know. There's a lot of complaints, but I felt like there's always going to be complaints. Isn't it hard to compare to WoW bosses with Guild Wars 2 bosses? Um, so it's, it's really hard because the... It is quite hard to compare. Because... Um, Guild Wars 2 difficulty is very contingent upon... Um, how good your players are. Like, fights are very mechanically easy in Guild Wars 2. Even something like HTCM is fairly simple compared to a lot of WoW fights. Um, but the thing is with Guild Wars 2 is that if you're good at the game, um, stuff just falls over, right? Like, you know, like bosses are just not going to be able to survive if you're just competent mechanically at the game. Ah. Boom. The real PvP is in 14. Apparently the rework is actually pretty good. Um, I think they like fully rework PvP in that game. I heard really good things about it actually from some of the Final Fantasy gamers. Yes. But it is difficult to compare, yeah. It's still not very fun. Oh, unlucky, I guess. Like the slower combat, is that in 14? Yeah. Queue with uh, literally any friends. Well, I mean, if you want to queue with friends, you need to get friends. And that is a, a challenge. But I believe that you can do it. You can, you can make friends. You can do it. It is time. Yeah, the WoW GCD is pretty fast these days, especially if you play Haste. Do you think a game copying Guild Wars 2 PvP uh, and make it as a separate game would have success? Um, maybe. Are you doing World Comp? I'm doing like the new player rush thing. The combat is so different. Yeah, I mean, you can still talk about difficulty, I think. Um, uh, regardless of that. Yes. This amount of off GCD buttons. Um, Guild Wars is the funnest PvP. Yeah, I like the PvP in Guild Wars 2. Uh, it's, it's pretty dead, which sucks, but yeah, it's good. 
0.8 GCD and it uh, feels nuts. Yeah, like if you're stacking any, if you're playing any haystacking class, uh, WoW is like ridiculously fast. It's actually insane. Um, I, I think it would almost be a criticism. I feel like WoW is actually maybe a little bit too fast. Like, um, like, look, people in Guild Wars 2, like, some of the builds in WoW are unironically, to just to do the rotation is like over 100 actions per minute. That is a lot. That is a lot of fucking APM. Um, pretty insane. And it, the thing is, what's actually quite interesting about WoW is that you just keep getting more and more haste as the season goes on. You get more and more secondaries, so you just get, you get, it, the game gets faster right over time. It's actually insane. And that's without considering, like, movement uh, and stuff like uh, reactives, right? So, like, using utility and interrupts and stuff. I think Scourge Res causes an issue in terms of developing boss fights. Um... Honestly, not so much anymore. It's just that supports of the, the the content is way too easy for the power level of the classes in this game for sure. Huge gaming. I'm in the right. Uh, oh yeah, you're in the right place for the huge gaming. That's right. Can you just macro and wow? Well? Um, I mean, not really. No, like there are a few cases where you can like macro your trinkets, so like your um on use items into your offensive uh, offensive cooldowns, uh, but. In terms of, like, macroing your rotation, that's never going to be a good idea. It's never going to be the way to go. Yeah, if you... We see here, right? Yeah, if you look at the APM, like, uh, you know, a bindo was 110 actions per minute. Like, the the DHs were 100 APM. Like, tanks at, like, 70 APM. And my, my tank's actually quite slow. I don't have a lot of haste on this guy. So, like, my actions per minute are actually quite slow, uh, as you can see here, right? Uh, only 66.9. Prot is actually fast. I think Prot Paladin is actually like one of the fast. Dude, Vivi's slacking, man. I think Prot Paladin is one of the fastest builds in the game, actually. Um, if you like actually mash that fucking rotation. Uh, I guess there's some downtime in the fight, right? There's like a couple of intermissions where you're not really doing that much. But yeah. Dude, look at all these slackers. Dude, look at fucking Devastation Evoker, man. What is that, bro? 33.4 cast per, sec per minute? Actual Frogman class, dude. Okay. Actual frog class. Yo, Guru, what are you doing, bro? Yeah, he's 2 APM. He's like 1 APM right there. Insane. Absolutely insane, guys. Barely pressing anything. Crazy shit. But yeah, you can see that WoW is fucking fast, man. Like, it's very fast. And the, the thing is with um with this one that's really interesting is that it, it's hard to see on this graph, but I, I think this would be a criticism point, I would actually say for WoW. Like, the APM is insanely spiky. Like, it's 110 average, okay? But when you pop uh, Bloodlust, which is basically quickness, like, the APM is ridiculous, Right, um, with how fast the game goes, it is absurd uh, how fast you end up pressing your buttons when you have when you have all of your cooldowns up and you're pressing everything. Um, it is insane how many actions you send, um, especially when you when you have like a, a the the rotations in WoW like have a shit ton of buttons too, right? Like you have you have like five cooldowns that you might be activating at the same time or whatever, right? Like you're, you're pressing a bunch of shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The bloodlust windows are so fast. Yeah. Who use macros for rotations? You could probably macro some trinkets in, like, basically relics. You can, like, macro your relics in, but I'm not even sure if that's optimal, right? Like, you could, but a lot of the time it's not going to be correct um, to do that. For example, I don't macro anything. Um, there's probably a couple things I could macro, maybe, but I don't think so, even. Because, like, at least with the cooldowns on Death Knight, you actually want to stagger them a little bit, almost, because of the way that the rune mechanic works. Um, and, and, yeah, but anyway, it is what it is. Yes. Yes. Yeah, what can I say? Devastation mains, dude. Look at this. And hunter mains, dude. Look at this. Although, Je dude, Jess is fucking pumping 56 APM on his hunter compared to 42 on this other hunter. Yes. Insane. Insane stuff, guys. Lunaria, my queen. Yes. Yeah. 
Be a hunter pet. Yeah. Look at a full up time fight instead. Ah, oh, yeah, that's probably gonna be a bit better. Yeah, like with Volcaros or something. Ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fucking outlaw, bro. 166 APM. A little intense. A little unhinged right there, guys. A little crazy. A little, little goofy, you know? Very fast. See, that actually is very fast. 166 APM? <laughs> unhinged. Actually unhinged. Yeah. You love to see it, guys. You love to see it. There's a lot of uh, a lot of variety here. 36. I guess I guess healers, you're not like mashing as hard when you're playing a healer, right? You've got to be a bit more reactive as opposed oh, to doing your rotation. Yo! Gold plat StarCraft player APM? That is not gold plat StarCraft player APM. Like, um, I play at, uh, when I'm playing StarCraft, I play at around, like, 200 actions per minute, and I play in Masters. Uh, like, honestly, people in, like, uh, plat are, like, 60 to 80 APM. Much slower than, uh, most of this. Yeah. Yeah, this, this, that type of APM is, like, kind of in, you know, Diamond League, I would say. Gold, dude, fucking, uh, uh, well, some people might have 166 APM in gold, but, I mean... They're going to be wasting all of their actions. Their actions are going to be worthless, pretty much. Worthless actions, my friends. Ah. I boosted my ult char NG. However, I'm not sure whether I should start with Mechanist or Scrapper. Can you break down what makes these two specs fun and relevant to you? I think your opinion would align with mine. Well, I mean, Mechanist is a healer. It can heal. Scrapper can't really do that very well. Uh, Scrapper basically like more aggressive, I guess. Mechanist a bit more defensive. 166 APM are good enough um, for GM with Protoss. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. 106 APM is good enough for GM on anyone. Like you don't actually need that much APM, um, to be honest, uh, to actually get like a very high rank. Because the biggest things that will make you win, it's gonna be your macro uh, and your just de your decision making. Like, it, look, if you if you do, like, a one base all-in, and you actually do it well, and you have good control, you can get Grandmaster on every single race. Like, if you just do, like, Proxy Cyclone every game, you will get GM. If you do a Cannon Rush, or, a, like, a three-gate Blink all-in every game, you will get GM with that. Uh, and Zerg, if, oh, dude, the Zerg cheeses are so gnarly, man. Holy shit. Like, if you do, like, the one base Ravager all-in, oh my god. What a disgusting cheese. It's so good. You will get Grandmaster doing that. Absolutely brutal, my friends. Absolutely savage cheese. Ravager always pull you above 200 APM. I mean, yeah, you have to control them pretty well, yeah. I struggled so hard with Quickness DPS Firebrand. It feels so mediocre right now. You need to give Quickness build. It uh, doesn't feel worth it at all. Where do you put Quickness for Scrapper and Firebrand? I mean, I'd say Scrapper is... I'd say pretty even with Firebrand in terms of, like, overall power level, yeah. Is what I would, uh... I think I'd say. That is what I would say. I mean... So... This is the thing you got to think about. If you struggled with it... You know, you know, when you were a baby, you probably struggled to walk, talk, and perform a variety of tasks. Um, but eventually you learned. Eventually, you were capable of walking, talking, and indeed doing many other things as you progress over time. Uh, this is you right now. You are essentially are a baby. Right now, you cannot play the build because you have not practiced playing it, right? You are essentially a toddler uh, in terms of Guild Wars 2. 
Uh, and the way that you fix that is not by going, well, I'm going to play something else. Because if you try and play something else, you'll still essentially be a toddler. You'll be a toddler, but you'll be wearing like a hat or something. Uh, or whatever you're going to be doing. But a toddler nonetheless. The only way that you emerge from that phase is by practicing your walking and talking. Yeah. Boom. The uptime and effort is uh, not good enough now. You have amazing uptime with Firebrand. I cannot achieve that no longer. I don't know why. It's uh, because you're you've you've got worse at the game. You've got out of practice uh, and you become worse. That is the answer. Do not worry. Happens to all of us. Uh, it's very normal. Uh, you know, you get back into it. You know, to get the you know shake off the rust, and you'll be right as rain in no time. My crew is on the verge of a Hell yeah, that's the deal. Boom. Yeah. If you struggle with it, then is it really worth it? Um, that's a really weird thing to say. Because I would say that... I mean... You're going to struggle with everything. Like, everything when you're learning, that especially stuff that's worth doing, is not going to be easy. Right? Um... There, there's always going to be a challenge to overcome. There's all, you're always going to... Whenever you do anything, you're always going to suck at it first time. That's just the reality of it. You, you will be terrible um, at whatever you try and do uh, for the first time. But eventually, you become less terrible. It's not my day. Can someone please kill those things before they... Boom. I think I'll get full credit for that. Welcome to Guild Wars 2. Will I actually get full credit? Dude, I actually got full credit for killing one golem in the last 10 seconds of the event. Man. Feels Guild Wars 2, man, dude. Feels Guild Wars 2. Boom. But yeah, that's the, uh, that's the deal. Gold star for participating. I am a participator. Daily fire elemental participator. Dude, this thing has so much health. Look at this shit. It's taking forever. I remember when the fire elemental died in less than 10 seconds. No longer. I have to do, like, the full rotation here. Whoa. I've been knocked. Whoa, a shockwave. This is so crazy, guys. It's so crazy. It's so goofy. Wife looking for a gift for me. What mouse... Do you prefer to play Guild Wars 2 with? I have a Logitech G... What is this thing? G402. I like that mouse. It's a good one. Ah! I want to CC going on here, guys. Is Necro good now? Yeah, Necro is indeed pretty good. Oh, I'm getting a little bit disrupted here without alacrity. This sucks. World vs. One PvP is fun, not gonna lie. It is, yeah. Is there any World vs. World patch recently about the new World vs. World map? I only enjoy, enjoy World vs. World. Um, I mean, wait. I don't think they're gonna do a new World vs. World map. They, I think they will... Well, will they? I don't know, maybe. I'm not sure if... I don't know. I'm not sure if they'll do another World vs. World map, to be perfectly honest with you. Where do you put your macros? I need, like, four macros for Firebrand. I need, like, three more for Engineer. Wait, what do you mean by macros, exactly? What 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 are we um what are we talking about here? Mouse keys? Oh wait, you mean like what do you use them for? I mean I just have it on my heal skill and elite skill. Those are like the only uh, mouse buttons I use. You really don't need that many. I would one thing that's really important: don't overcomplicate stuff. It's a a big tendency. Um, okay, right. 
Let's let's cut the bullshit. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna cut the bullshit here. Um, right. Listen up. Um, Didi Kota, you are not struggling because of a trick. You are not struggling because um, you're not doing it right. Like you know, you haven't got your setup correct, or you haven't got your keybinds correct, or or anything like that. You are struggling because you are not very good at the game. Uh, and do not worry, do not be alarmed, this is perfectly normal, and everyone has been there. But, it is not a secret ingredient. There is no secret ingredient. You are just bad. Uh, and the way that you fix that is not by messing around with your keybinds, it's not by, you know, doing a trick, or, or, or magic, or, or anything like that. It's practice. It's just practice, nothing else. Um, you just have to keep trying, keep playing, try to think about what you're doing wrong, right? Um, and, uh, improve. That is how you fix it. Um, do not be alarmed, by the way. This is a classic situation. Um, in many, uh, in times like this, people often go, ah, yes, it's because... It's because I've got the wrong keyboard, or I haven't got a good enough gear, or, you know, all this kind of stuff. Very normal response. It uh, happens all the time, actually. Um, but I advise you, cut to the chase. It's nothing to do with any of that. It's just you. Uh, like, you have the power, you are in control, uh, and it is your skill that is determining whether things are going right or going wrong for you um, with that kind of stuff. The Apple keyboard? I do, yes. I do indeed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Good keybinds is definitely a good setup as well. For my utilities, because my hands can't read. Did, um, where are your utilities? Goes? I'm using alt modifiers, so I have alt for utility skills. And uh, I have like F skills. I just use F1 through to F5 for profession skills. And then alt, um, and then numbers for utility skills. Then I have, um, basically the key to the left of one for weapon swap. Yeah. But yeah, getting a good setup is important. But I will always say the really, really big one is always practice and improve, right? Um, Practice, 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 practice. Um, that is how you get good at literally everything. Um, y uh, let me let me find the thing. Um, hang on. This is one of my favorite comics of all time. Uh, it is very good. This, I am, if you truly understand what's going on here, it will change your life. Well, probably not, but it, it's important to learn this. How do you draw so well? Practice. It must be an innate gift, a gift from God. It's practice. I'll never understand how some people are so talented. A mystery. Practice. Um, and, uh, a lot of people are this character. Like, how did you get so good at Guild Wars 2? Or like, wow, these players are so insane. Or, dude, these athletes are insane. They're so good. They're running so fast or lifting this thing and it's so heavy and, and they're jumping so high. How do they do it? Uh, this is always the answer. It's always the answer. There's no secret ingredient. There's no magic trick. There's no shortcut. It's just practice. Nothing else. Yeah. Big. Very nice. Yeah. Actually, genetics. Genetics are gonna be. Genetics are relevant at the absolute top end. Like, um, if you are in the Olympics, then genetics become relevant. You're absolutely right. Uh, but before then, honestly, not really. Um, I used to actually compete against. Uh, a kid, I won't actually say his, I remember his name, but I won't say his name, because that's a bit weird, isn't it? Um, I used to compete against a kid who's a very short guy in swimming. And in swimming, 
you really don't want to be short, right? Because long arms and you can you know, can pull more water, right? Like, so being tall is massively advantageous. Uh, and this kid actually um, swam at national level, despite, I think, being around a foot shorter than most of um, his competitors. So yeah, it can be done. Like, obviously, you have advantages and disadvantages, but if you put in the work, you'll perform. Simple as that. Yeah, that's how it is. How do you find enough discipline to practice is another question. It is, but you've got to have a very, you've, I think that's where honesty is important, right? Like honesty is so important. Like how much do you want this? How much do you want it? How much, how much do you want to actually be good at this game? How much do you want to be good at anything? Right? Um, what, you know, what's the, uh, how much do you want it? Just give you a better starting point after practice, it's almost irrelevant. Um, I mean, well, yeah, we could get bogged down on that, but honestly, it's, it's just a bit navel-gazing, to be honest. When you're just normal, it's hard to imagine the life of someone who's dedicating their, um, their life to mastery of one thing. Um, I guess so. Practice. Yeah, it's a good image, honestly. It's uh, That's a good command there as well. Um... I'm doing quite okay with the content thing. I was just wondering your ergonomic preference and your way to reach keys with your fingers. Uh, I don't think I'm far better as efficient as a Herald anymore. I mean, that is definitely true. It is way less efficient than Herald. Um, not the same, so I was wondering what uh, Engineer stands for. I mean, Engineer is probably... It's similar to Firebrand. Uh... Genetic God-given power to talk to rouse himself. TV networks, which is someone like you. Well, to be honest, that was practice too. Um, like, it, it actually really bothers me when when people. Um, one of the things that I I dislike the most. Um, I had a new mechanic to the second boss in Dawn. Did a twenty. There's a mega fast lines coming out of the portals on the sides. Wait, really? Oh shit! Wait, you are, like um? Are we talking second boss? You have to like dodge lines too. That's pretty cool, actually. I'm glad about that. That boss felt very mediocre to me. Um, yeah, they uh, they didn't like did not like the nerfs there. That's pretty big, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna hop on for M plus in a moment. By the way, Dranit, we can blast some keys, send some fucking keys, bro. Let's go. But um, I really don't like it when people go, oh, but teapot, you can talk to people because. You're confident, right? Look, I, this is one of my favorite stories that I always tell guys. When I was in primary school, and I found this out after I was much older, uh, and this was actually throughout a lot of my school life, um, it turns out that all of the teachers and the staff, they actually had people watching me because I wouldn't talk to anyone the entire time. I would just sit on my own and read an encyclopedia. Right? Um, up until relatively recently, when someone would talk to me, I'd give them a one-word response. That's basically the most you get out of me. And that wasn't really because of lack of confidence, really. It's just that that was the way I communicate. I didn't really see any point in giving an answer that was uh, unnecessarily fluffy, right? I just didn't really... I wasn't very interested in interacting with other people. I never really have been. That's just, hey, that's just the way we are, right? Uh, overall. But I decided that, oh, you know... Maybe I should interact with other people. Maybe I should talk a little bit more. Maybe I should actually express myself a little bit more. So I decided to do it, right? Um, you know, I just did it. And that's the way it is. Yeah. Enjoy. Boom. Yes, I blame the encyclopedia. I mean, it was a good encyclopedia. I the One of the uh, teachers that let me have a copy, I still have it. You have no fear. Yeah. Uh, Monka laugh. Well, you know, it's it's really weird because people were worried about me because I was weird. Um, but to be honest, I was fine. Like, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to pretend that I was, like, uh, lonely or anything. I'm actually not really a person that requires human contact. Like, um, there have been uh, periods of my life where I haven't spoken to a single person in weeks, right? It's, um, I, I don't really have a, an innate need for any kind of human contact. I, I'd be pretty much fine completely on my own. Uh, like, if, if, you know, if for whatever reason that ca it came to it, right? Yeah. That's the way it is. Yeah. Yes. 
uh, the teacher, uh, the encyclopedia. See if I've got it. I can maybe show it. Here we go. Behold. My childhood, guys. The Visual Encyclopedia of Science. What a great book, man. It's really cool. Check this out. Yeah, look at this. Look at that, guys. You got like a... You have a, a little visual explanation of nuclear fission in this thing. Dude, it's fucking cool. Holy shit. Yeah. Incredibly zaced. Yeah, it's got a whole bunch of stuff in here. And it's got pictures as well. It's got pictures. I like pictures. Yes. Yeah. There you go, guys. That was what um, four-year-old me was up to. About ages four through to eight or whatever. I actually read that book ages ago, I guess. I think I've shown it on stream before. I'm not sure that's entirely healthy. Well, I mean, I don't know. I'm doing all right. Yes. But, like, my point with this, my point with this, guys, is um, one of the really big traps that people fall into is that they assume that um, well, you know, I am this way, so I'll always be this way. But you don't have to be. You can you can do whatever you want, right? Like you're you. You're you're the boss of you. You know what you want. Yes. Confidence is important. Do you know why I started streaming, guys? Because I looked at people like. Um, I looked at people like Total Biscuit, and I was like, yeah, I can do that. Um, <laughs> uh, and, you know, I, I, I look at really good athletes, and I go, yeah, I can do that. That's, uh, that's the way it is. You know, I, I always go, yeah, I can do that. I look at really good players in video games, and I go, yeah, I can do that. Um, you know, I, I look at the teams completing the high Mythic Plus or clearing the Mythic Raids, and I go, yeah, I can do that. I can do it. Uh, maybe not now, but I can get there. I'll get there. Yeah. And that is the uh, that's the that's the mental that I've got, guys. Unbreakable mental. Yeah. 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 Yes. Sure. Yeah. I mean, maybe. I mean. Like, you know, maybe I won't get there, but I'm not afraid to try. I'm not afraid to fail either, right? Um, like, it, it's it's not about the mindset of going like, oh yeah, I'm as good as all of these people. It's about the mindset that if I really do my best, I, you know, I'll, we'll have a go. Yes. Can you I will have a try. I'll try anything. How do you crystallize uh, the feeling of I can do anything into this is what I want to do? Uh, probably by trying a bunch of different stuff. And then you find something that you're really into. It's probably the way to go. Particular obsessions? I have math. I like video games. I like making things. Um, 
it, it's, you know, I like, in, in, there's, there's a part of me that's much more interested in the, the code behind the tournament overlays than the tournaments themselves. Um, I like making things. I, I almost have more fun and more enjoyment out of putting the stream together than the stream itself. Um, I like the components. I like looking at things and how they work. Also, what do I have to do for this shit, guys? We have to do this bonus event. Jumpstart. Speak with the Miss Stranger in your homeland and hear their request. Do I have a mail about this? Ah, here we go. Show me. Where are you? Over here? Boom. It's time. Alright, where's the Miss Stranger? Ah, here we go. This is a bit weird. Wait, why is it here? Shouldn't the Miss Stranger be, um, in Plains of Ashford for me? Maybe he's here as well. He probably is, to be fair. Alright, there we go. Uh, welcome, Reaper. This world is in need of heroes of your caliber. Prove yourself. Complete five events in this zone. I will lend you a weapon to help forge your way. I cannot linger here forever. Once the event that spurred me to release these lands ends, I must depart. Uh, perhaps we'll meet again one day. I recommend you take action. Sure. Okay, here we go. I've gained the strength required. You got it. Give me a necromancer weapon. Boom. And take this and may it guide your path. Pick your favorite of the weapons within. Necromancer's Dreambound Chest. Wow. Look at that, guys. And it basically scales up to nearly good stats. Why doesn't it scale up to maximum stats? Look, it's slightly worse, I think. Wait, is it? it maybe it is, actually. I feel like that's slightly worse than an exotic. Well, maybe not, actually. Oh, yeah, maybe that is actually um, a full level 80 exotic. Yeah, it's just that Ascended is better. Oh, yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, okay. Or is it, is it level 78? No, wait, is it? I don't know. Let me see. It looks a bit off, but maybe I'm just crazy. Oh, it looks right, actually. 239. Oh, no, yeah, it is a bit off, isn't it? Yeah, it's slightly off. Yeah, look at that. Oh, unlucky, I guess. Ah, Luar in the chat. In the chat. Well, which one should we pick, guys? I'm going to pick the staff. Boom. There we go. Kind of a gimmick weapon. What's the moat? What is this uh, Boba remote? What are you guys um, spamming the ship for? What's going on here? What is going on? You're out of control. A Boba. Indeed. Yeah. Is that Boba? I don't know. Or is it uh, Boba? I've got no idea. Is it something fun to do? In Guild Wars 2? Dude, I, look, I'm really struggling with what I should be doing in game. I basically have nothing to do. But honestly, I, I fucking blame... I blame other people, guys. I refuse to take responsibility, right? Like, all of my friends don't fucking play this game anymore, dude. I'm on my own. This is, this sucks. Unlucky. But oh well, that's how it goes. You know, you win some, you lose some, guys. You know, you win some, you lose some. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you should be converging. Yes, maybe it is time to converge. I'm rifting, guys. I'm gonna rift. I'm rifting. It's a good mindset. I'm glad you enjoy it, LCA. Yes. But anyway, Esco though with a prime, nice. Basically, guys, the way you got to think about it is maybe you're a weirdo now. But you know what? Maybe that's okay. Uh, you know, enjoy it. 
if you start a convergence speed run, I log in. I mean, I kind of want to do a convergence speed run, guys. But it will be so much effort to force people to actually practice that I'm like, it ain't worth it. Yeah. It just ain't worth it. Yeah. Call up Nemesis? I mean, that would be pretty funny, wouldn't it? All right, I'll convert. Okay, I'm doing a convergence, guys, then it's M plus time. Find those in game friends. Well. This is going to sound like an excuse, but it, it, it's, it, it, it is in some sense. But realistically, it's very difficult for me to find friends in this game because, you know, you kind of need a shared interest, right? And realistically, I just don't have any shared interest with 99.9% .9 of Guild Wars 2's player base. Which makes it very difficult to, like, form a meaningful friendship with, with anyone in this game. Or at least one that involves gameplay. There's plenty of people I could probably hang out on Discord with, but not many people I could actually play the game with uh, in a particularly interesting way. Uh, okay, I'm going to put it here. I'm... Oh, okay. Okay. I'm gonna converge. Ah! Okay, there we go. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going in. It is time. Get in here, guys. Daily convergence. I will open. Let's do it. Um, wing release. Did anything here you guys talk about the future while there? Yeah. If only we knew, huh? I have converged. Yeah, I'm not, I just, I don't know. It's just really hard to captivate the energy, you know? Um, like the energy, like when we killed even Heroic Farak, right? Like the energy when we were raiding Heroic was fucking hype, okay? It was getting a little intense, right? There was definitely a few tense moments, but there was some good fucking energy when that boss went down, right? I kind of want that energy back. I want that energy back in Guild Wars. Yeah. But do, do you know what the really sad thing is, guys? This is the sad, the really fucked up thing. I feel like, I feel like I could literally win the monthly, and it wouldn't be as exciting as heroic Farak. Like that, that's like the depressing thing. It's like, it, it, I, I, I just think there's, there's just too much apathy, right? Like it's, it's drained all of the energy out of it. It's fucking drained. It's all drained. We'll see. Draubed, indeed. Did Nike make it in? I want to make sure Nike has uh, got in. Where is Nike? Where are all the heralds? Yeah. Ah! Luaran has made it in. Chrono Heal. Interesting. Did Nike make it in? I mean, there's actually still a couple of spots, so we're right. Oh, I think, wait, is he in? Okay, he is in. Okay, all right, we're good. We're in. All right, I'm starting. Here we go. Boom. I'm converging. I'm converging, guys. Whoa, what is this character from uh, Loire on here? Has moved away from the blood mouth, I guess. So we have seen some improvements here. Going to for a uh, purple Sylvari here. Kind of sat up here. Loading screens. Yeah. The infusion, yes. I believe it is the Wizard's Vault infusion. Pretty good infusion, actually. I don't like the gloves. And the gloves, they're pretty pretty—they're pretty bulky, aren't they, actually? Little, uh, you know, little bulky gloves there. Yeah. A powerful choice. Of course, Emissy, one of the most powerful Kumas uh, in any video game ever. Dagda, my queen. Emissy, I love you. That's a dangerous, uh, dangerous thing to say to Akuma. Got to be careful. You'll set him off. Suscat. Yeah. 
Emissy is a Desmina simp. I think he would fully admit that. Yeah, that's not going to be uh, much of a roast for him. I'll need to focus on maintaining our tether to Tyria. The nearest waypoint is Let's go. a little out of range, so revising will be a challenge. Luckily, Mabon taught me a few tricks. Can we listen to it? What do we got? Magic. The best source of that here is going to be the essence that Eparch's grunts drop. Bring that essence I'm in the What the fuck is this? I'm a <laughs> We're not listening to this. We're not listening to this actual Kuma song, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Darren's theme song. Okay. Whoa. The music just started. Let's go. Ooh. Ah, Darren's in the chat. When is M plus stream, bro? Darren's M plus dot AVI. Let me check your eye level. I keep losing my concentration. I'm checking his eye level. Let's take a look. Darren's four seven one. Actually not bad. To be fair, not actually bad. Abindo 477. Dude, Nico is actually juiced. Jester 467. He is nothing. Dude, look at these pathetic 460s. That's actually cringe. This is cringe, guys. Actual cringe. Yeah. Look at. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm looking at the eye level here. Look at this shit. Dude, we got a lot of tear pieces here, man. I, mean, I don't have any shoulders on my death knight. Uh, it's your dad's birthday. Okay, fair enough. You're, you know, you're excused. You're excused. Uh, then my 10 M pluses, I'm done. It'll be full best. I'll get the Razan trinket. Dude, yeah, the Razan trinket, you gotta farm that shit. How is Guild Wars these days? So, uh, full of half-baked ideas and missed potential? Dude, what a fucking... Spoken like a true doomer. I uh, know, I'd say the game's good, but... Like, if... if okay. If you thought that before, Grimlock Steve, you're still going to feel that way, yes. If, if that kind of answers it. Like, if you still think... If you felt back then that the game is, like, full of missed potential, then yeah, you, you, you will feel the same. Both tanks, top five? Correct, yes. Yeah. Correct. But that's, do you know why that is? Because the tanks are the top parsers. Therefore, they deserve the loot. You guys are what? Parsing green? Gray? Maybe blue at best? Meanwhile, the tanks? Pink pars. Pink pars, every boss. Domination. Yeah. That's how it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Tank is indeed incredibly zaced. Incredibly zaced. Enjoy that. Tank pauses. Tank pauses are the only relevant pauses, guys. They are the only relevant pauses. <laughs> Look, we have to do DPS while tanking the boss. All of the DPS, they don't do shit. All they do is like, just do their rotation, bro. Yeah. <laughs> They're nothing. Okay, nothing. Let me tell you that. Whoa, dude, I got the uh, five AP. Let's go. Pause. Oh, where everyone's going. Everyone's going around randomly. Let's converge. Yes. Where are the logs? Let's find the logs. 
Boom. It's time for the logs. Farak the Blazing. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about, guys. We need the Shane Gilwalls too, dude. Fuck! No! No, my pars got downgraded to a 98 and a bindo as well. Dude, it's over. It's over. We lose. It's fucking GG, bro. Absolute disaster. This is a catastrophe, guys. Did Abindo had a 100 pars? I had a 99. We've been downgraded. It's over. We have to blast even harder next time. Listen, I'm going to upgrade my Razan trinket. Then it's going to be big. Oh, man. What a disaster. Farmed by Abindo? Listen, okay, he's playing Fury Warrior. He's Zug Zug. He's cheating. We can't instantly uh, destroy the ads. Well, look, I'm gonna take like, uh, well, you kind of need some coordination to do this. But if you guys, if you guys, if you guys actually want to pause, you guys, you know, you know how you want to pause. If I take Gorfreen's grasp, I will sacrifice my DPS for you. How about that? But you have to not do shit. You actually have to do it right. You have to push the ads in, and I can grip them all together in one go. The way we're doing it right now, honestly, it wouldn't be good. But if we actually did it well, then it would be good. Yeah. Uh, and then you guys can, like, unleash on the ads. But you actually have to do proper pushes for that. Because I can't solo it. It, it. I can't do it on my own. It has to be other people, like, comboing it. You should not save your CDs for that. What the fuck? Wait, green pars? Dude, where's Darren's, man? Where's Darren's pars? Darren's 42 pars. Um, dude, Jester, also green pars. Sprudel, 89 pars. Purple pars. Very nice. Honestly, everyone's kind of blasting a little bit. Very, very nice. Bro, listen. Okay, you're comparing my alt monk. Okay, my alt monk to people's mains, and I still pass 96? My monk gameplay is incredibly zaced. What can I say? I think my monk rotation is actually pretty decent. Very nice. Let's take a look at this. Rated 77 pars. Absolute dog mess. Honestly, rated is rat piss. Not even dog piss. Rat piss. Yes. You know what actually sucks? I will never get a good pause again on Farak. Because as, as you guys get better and better gear, my dots won't tick. Because I am a condition. You guys are not conditions. I am a condition. So the more DPS you do, the less I'll do. You're literally going to steal my DPS as time goes on. Fuck you. Unbelievable. This is what I have to deal with, guys. I have to deal with this shit. People stealing my DPS. I'm going to need you guys to let the ads live for 30 seconds so that my blood plague can tick, if you don't mind. Please do, please do. Dude, what the fuck is that? Oh yeah, Jake's blaming the pause? What was Jake's pause? Jake's pause 7. Nice. This girl is very obsessed with pauses. Dude, pauses are the only thing that matter. The only thing that's relevant is your pars. <laughs> Killing the boss is less important than parsing. If we're, if, dude, if I was in worlds, you guys want to hear something zaced? Check this out. Check this out, guys. Okay, I mean, raiding? No, we're not raiding, guys. If we were on world's first Farak mythic, and my pars wasn't good. 
I'd deliberately wipe the group and go again, even if it was worlds first. Simple as that. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Nice. Oh shit, the Demon Knight is here. Sat the ad so I can put my burst on the ads one second before uh, rated. I mean, I can definitely sack that. It's, I can, it's like a 2% DPS loss on single target for me with the Blood Worms and take Gorfin's Grasp. But we need someone to push one in from the side. Because what you want to do, Angels, is someone pushes from the left, someone pushes from the right, I Gorfin's them. Uh, and then they'll all be stacked, basically. But Gorfiend's on its own is not really that great. It needs to be uh, needs to be both. Yeah. Yes. And then we're good to go. If my pause isn't good, I'm placing the line on the seeds. Nice. Have the guilds made any big progress uh, recently, by the way, guys? According to Reddit, um, Teapot is doing a raid. Wait, what it- Dude, this is the most peak cope. Converters has almost felt like some kind of raid. What is this fucking copium, dude? Hmm. This is insane cope. Liquid 62.4. Oh man, just getting past that like first set of- Are they just dying to the first set of ads then, basically? Is that what it is? Is that what that is? Converging is better than raiding. I'm converging! I'm gonna converge! Uh. They get us the first Fraxio, then crumble. Yeah, it seems like the adds are a massive DPS check to get them down. If you go 10 man, but not really. I mean, definitely not. It's like champion. You're just finding like champions that die in two seconds. Oh, killing the big bear world boss feels like raiding. It's when I when I uh, start making like wow YouTube content, I'm actually gonna roast Blizzard for this. I honestly feel like their encounter designers are so exceptionally good that they have no excuse to not have cool open world bosses. But all of their open world content sucks massive dick, and not in the good way either. It's incredibly lame, but it could be incredibly good. They just don't bother. Yeah. Honestly, it's... I'm sorry, guys. It is a goddamn disgrace how bad Super Bloom is and also how bad Seeds are. Seeds could actually be good, but they suck. Super Bloom sucks, but it should be good. Engine restrictions? I don't think so. Um, to be honest, they just, they just, it's just shit. Or, or maybe that's what people like. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not getting it because I'm not the target for, for Super Bloom, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Super Bloom. Yes. Super Bloom is better than Dragon's End. <laughs> The base content is free farm, so the people can do stuff um, and not get farmed and quit. I mean, maybe, yeah. I mean, I guess. Super Bloom. The Demon Knight. It's kind of like the tunnel. It is a little bit like the tunnel, to be honest. The tunnel. Warrior or DK for a new player to tank? Um, 
I think, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, either is gonna be fine. Like, DK is a bit weirder. Warrior is more like a traditional tank, I guess, with the way that it works. DK is different with the way that it operates. So if you're looking for a traditional tanking experience, probably Warrior. If you're looking for something a little bit wacky, then probably DK. We did it. Yes, we have converged. All right, nice converge, guys. A decent blast. 40 minutes, not bad, actually, to be fair. Dude, that was... This is kind of what bothers me, though. Man, we did zero effort, 40-minute convergence. Honestly, it'll be, you could make this go... You could honestly make this so free. You could do, like, sub-10 minutes would be ridiculously easy. Man, I never get the runes of holding, man. Everyone, everyone else always gets the runes of holding. I never get the runes of holding. Look at this. This guy got four of them. Holy shit. That's crazy. Skyscale weapon box. Yeah. What a YouTube short here. What the hell is this? Was a very random clip to share. Yeah. <laughs> what what is this? <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm logging in. It's keys. Boom. Uh, what's this? I'm giving Ed special Ed. I didn't know your name was Ed. Imagine having parents that, that give you such an uncreated name. You get two letters, man. Look at this high effort edited or... content Bro, from this Luaran. Is so fucking. This is taking too long. I'm, I'm Dude, you dying. could just survive. Like, you, you could just not grieve. Look at the thumbnail. And the thumbnail is Zojigar. The new raids. 10 man converts through the veil. Secrets to your Guild Wars 2. Let's see the important thing. <laughs> King Rez as well. Let's take a look. Zojigar. <laughs> we are trash. Look at this, guys. Failure. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Event failed. Get no, I got bald. I'm a ball sack. <laughs> we failed. It's over. We we're sh we're trash. <laughs> we are trash. Mm. Game over. Game over. Every single second, four mythic plus keys are completed. Dude, it, it really puts it, puts it into perspective, man. It, so many people are uh, doing M plus right now. All right, I'm logging on to WoW. Here we go. It's time. You guys will hear it soon. Do you guys hear it? You don't, because I have it muted. Unlucky. You hear nothing. Let's go. You hear nothing because there is nothing. Unlucky. Whoa. Oh. Uh, have levers every second? I mean, probably quite a lot, to be honest. There's going to be a lot of that going on, I would say. <coughs> oh, fuck, I'm dying. All right, let's see some keys. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's go. Yo, I'm actually in. This is based. All right, boom, we got the audio. I gotta change the uh, thing. I gotta change my stream. All right, Dark Art Thicket it is. Let's go, boys. I'm porting in. I think it's Dark Art Thicket anyway. Oh, I'm already getting summoned, nice. Yo! Uh, update titles. Nice. Let's go. Let's feed. We're going into Dark Art Thicket, boys. Get in, say nothing, it's wow. Had a single lever? Um, I encountered this key yesterday, guys.
Nobody left, to be fair. Nobody left to give them credit. But I did encounter that key. Right, I'm in. Yo! We did not time the key. It was Everbloom. It was an instant deplete. It was a hardcore deplete angle, unfortunately. We depleted within milliseconds. Let's consume up and let's go. Dark Art Thicket. And we're probably... Where are we lusting here? It's kind of weird. I feel like you need to figure out the lust timing on some of these. Because it's kind of awkward. You almost want to lust the first boss. But we're probably not going to... Probably lusting like the, the first pull. The second boss and the end boss, I guess. That's probably the way we're going. Yes. First pull tree and end boss. Yeah, that's kind of what makes sense to me. Okay, it's 21 dark art, guys. It's blast. Dude, I, my IO is so bad because I haven't really played Tyrannical that much. So far, so my rating is absolutely putrid. Only 2.4k. Kind of cringe if you think about it, but yeah. I'm going to do weekly 20s. We're going to do 8 20s today. In fact, I might... I, this might be a... I, we might go for a long stream, guys. I might do 8 20s on my DK and then 8 20s on my Demon Hunter as well because I'm gearing my Demon Hunter for Mythic Plus. For full Mythic Plus blast, guys. Because I think Vengeance is going to be good. I've got to get a team together. got to get the boys together. I need to figure out who's playing what. Playing the God Comp. I already changed the game name. It says World of Warcraft. It's right there. How do you operate long streams without food? Actual machine? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of used to it. I'm used to being... You know what? I'm used to being hungry. I think that it, it's because of sport. Like, when, when I was doing a lot of sport, I was hungry all, all day. Like, unironically, um, every day. Uh, constantly. Um, you know, and, and, like, I would just go between meals. I would eat before swimming, I'd eat after swimming, then I'd eat again and eat again and eat again. I was, like, constantly eating, constantly hungry. It was crazy. Yeah. So, like, names? Yeah, there's a lot, there's a big, uh, Russian community in, um, wow, that's for sure. I hope I'm on my M plus build. I'm not on my M plus build. Whoops! Yo! We'll be fine. I have no... A Guys, wouldn't it be so goofy if I had no AoE stop for this key? That would be so wacky, wouldn't it? Holy shit. What a... I'm such a wacky player, guys. Oh my god. So unbelievably goofy. Be so crazy if that was the case. You understand the death and decay here. Here we go. I should probably lust as well. Unnerving Screech has just destroyed us. It's fine, though. Take out this bear. Bear getting eliminated. Yo! Blast. Nice. You know, bursting is actual cancer uh, with no Shadow Priest. Not even joking, man. Seriously. Like, bursting um, is terrible. Absolute pain. Holy shit. Okay. Because you are, I mean, Monk can do it too, because you can do revival, of course. But that's a pretty long cooldown. You can't just go crazy spamming that constantly. That's it's a pretty long one. So the healing requires and you know what's actually weird? Do you know the other thing, guys? Like you do massive pulls on all of the new dungeons, and more importantly that, you know like all the small shitty mobs? Like for example on Waycrest, you guys know the dogs, right? On Waycrest? Um, those dogs all proc bursting. Seriously, every single one procs bursting. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay. I think we can do all of this. Ah! Holy shit! Clean. I'm playing Death Knight. 
The music is kind of good, man. It's really creepy. And they've got the ASMR whispering going on there as well, guys. They've got like the ASMR whispers sometimes too. It's really disturbing. Boom, got him. Right, we need uh, this. Pa oh, oh, yeah. Well, bursting. That guy burst. Guys, I'm gonna burst. I'm bursting. I grab these guys in. I mean, what you're supposed to do with bursting is, I guess, like, you know, kill a bunch of mobs and then wait till bursting wears off and then not kill them all at the same time. But this is one of those affixes that's kind of weird if you think about it because that's just not how M plus is designed. <laughs> like, Mythic Plus, you kill everything really fast. Dude, also, I potted. I'm literally fucking trolling, bro. Uh, okay. I'm getting on the mount. I'm on. Here we go. Wait, I got thrown off. Now I'm on. Boom. Grab us. Yo! Boom. Eat. Look at that, guys. That's insane. Suffer nature's wrath. Defilers. Are any defilers in the chat, guys? Any defilers? He's got quite a lot of health, hasn't he? We just gotta kill these ads. Like, these ads have gotta go. Honestly, they gotta go. The pools will even kill me. Gonna run away. Yeah. There is, I should actually learn the safe. There's kind of a safe spot for the tank mechanic here, but spoiler alert, I don't know it. Should be all right though, to be honest. Just got a blast. Gonna get those ads. Yeah. Gonna kind of reposition the boss. There we go. There's gonna be another knock. We'll bait it this way. We got these ads. Honestly, I'm not a huge tyrannical enjoyer. I feel like the bosses are just so fucking long with uh, tyrannical. They are so long. I'm gonna move after the next primal rampage. We need to give ourselves a bit more room here, I think. Yeah, they they just overstay their welcome. Honestly, a fair bit. Like, uh, it, if it was just more damage, I do think it would be better. Um, but they get really long, honestly. Especially when you get to the higher keys, like, holy shit. Like, when I was pushing higher keys last season, like, we were doing Vortex Pinnacle, and that one was particularly bad, because it has adds. Um, and, like, the adds also scale with Tyrannical. Like, ah, uh, we did 28, 28 Vortex, right? And no joke, it was a fi- it was a five-minute fight. Seriously, guys. Like, a, a dungeon boss? That was the same length as a goddamn raid boss. No joke, dude. Ridiculous. Hang on, we probably gotta deal with one more uh, charge here from the boss. Gotta be careful. I'm gonna try and aim it in this direction here so we don't kill our team. Here it comes. There we and there we go, that should be it. Pretty straightforward boss. As you can see here. And there it is. Clouds my thoughts. Yes. Very oppressive the higher you go. Yeah, when you're when you're doing like 25s, like man, they take long, you know? That was what? Two minutes that was two minutes forty-five, so pretty meaty. And when you start going even higher, it gets crazy how long they end up taking. You know, I feel like we could actually do uh, this pack as well. Let's uh, let's see what we got. Two poisons might be rough, but I feel really. I feel like on uh, tyrannical, we should be going a little bit quicker. To be honest, I think we can. Gotta watch those shrooms. We gotta just focus the keeper here. Let's blast that keeper down. Gonna grip 
the dryads. Okay, no, wait. Okay, never mind. She's like stuck on something. Never mind. I'm not doing shit, apparently. Got mushrooms. Maybe I can get her now. Yeah. Can I get that? Yes, I can. We can do the patrol with these. My eye is annoying me. Yeah, Waycrest Man are the... I mean, honestly, I've actually found that the first boss does a lot of damage. I'm doing a bit of pugging. And uh, first boss has kind of been owning a little bit. The witches. But everything else is very easy, yeah. Especially end boss. You know... Uh, w w were mechanics removed from the end boss guys, or was he always that easy? Gorak Tool. Because, man, I actually really like the aesthetic of that character, and, like, all of it. You know, like, the, uh, the Goliath, too, right? Like, the... I don't even know what... how to describe the art style. It reminds me of New World a little bit. I really like the art style of all of that stuff, but he's pretty lame. Doesn't really do anything. He's a bit of a meme boss. Which sucks, because I actually think it's, um, a very cool visually. Like the, uh, what, I don't know what, don't know what the lore is behind that. I think it's like an otherworldly spiritual invader or some bullshit. You know, the usual. Um. But I like the, the look of it. It looks cool. A BFA in general is really nice. Same with the Taldazar. Like a Taldazar. I like the troll lore, to be honest. Um, in general, I feel like troll lore in this game is pretty, uh. Oh, let's. Can we actually make it? We can. Troll lore is very high tier. I mean, I think I'm actually going to do the next trash kind of slow. If I had my stop, I would... I'd just send it, to be honest. But, um, I don't. I have Abomination Limb. I mean, I mean, we have a lot of stops, actually. We've got Pally, we've got two from Org, at least. And we have a Demon Hunter. So maybe it's, maybe it's fine. Okay. Man, I honestly love how uh, DPS just, uh, how Blood DK pumps and keys. It absolutely blasts. Like with the four set, I want to get the four set of my Demon Hunter for the same reason. You do a lot of damage with the four set. Uh, but holy shit, like DK just blasts. Absolutely blasts. Okay, with Abomination Limb, this is probably going to be fine. Uh, wait, is that, wait, isn't that, oh, there's, dude, what, what is this guy doing? Holy shit. It's big damage. Now, oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, the, I mean, the augmentation can carry us, I think. Yeah, yeah, the org is carrying. We're good. Yeah, and the monk is good too, actually, because the monk has a stun, and you can use the ring as a stop. Yeah, that was fine. I need to wait for the bursting here. This actually is a little bit scary. This, this boss is going to hurt. I need to make sure we save something for this. It should be fine, though. My bark is worse than my bites. It's gonna knock back immune that. That's also a huge thing about DK, man. Like, knock back immune is so fucking fat. I love it. Okay, just need to kill those roots. There we are. There's no ads. I have Vampiric Blood for this one. Yeah, it's free. Oh, it was kind of a lot of damage. Ow. Another knockback immune for that. Nightmare Breath. Just going to heal through this one. I'll pop a big defensive, I think, for next. Yeah, as long as we get a death strike here, we should be fine. Oh, I'm gonna put some. Oh, fucking hell! A tree is fucking farming me. Need to bank some runic power, I think. I have big CDs now. Okay. Oh, I got rooted. The tree got me, guys. I just need to bank some runic power, I think, for that. I'll pop a big one. 
The tree is absolutely destroying me. Do you see the damage that tree is doing? It's crazy. It's over. There's going to be a couple of ads here. We have uh, Vampiric Blood up for the next one. I think we're good. That actually killed me. Oh, no, it didn't. I, yeah, no, it didn't kill me. It didn't prop the cheat death. Almost killed me. Oh, I should have immune that. Whoops. I think the end boss is going to do some fucking damage. Yeah, we're good. Leave me alone, you say. Yes. Dranit's not in the chat. Well, Dranit is playing right now. Dude. You know, isn't Malfurion supposed to be really powerful? Why is he so worthless? Explain that to me, guys. He's been captured by the shade of Xavius, not even real Xavius. That's cringe. You can actually skip the uh, next big guy, too. Whoa. Oh. He just woke up. So he's not fresh. That's what you're telling me. You're telling me he's not fresh. It's going to abomination limb these. Let's drink for the boss. You know, maybe I don't think he deserves full mana. I'm gonna skip this guy. I'm gonna wait till he goes back, then run in. Dran is drinking anyway, so I might as well. Come on then, buddy. What are you doing? Oh. Oh. Get in there. Some uh, whelps here. We've got full mana, we're good. Let's go. I can actually tank this uh, here pretty easily. Because I can just um, knock back immune his movement attack. His breath is sidesteppable. Pretty important uh, fact to be aware of. Honestly, activating the whelps, does it, it doesn't feel very punishing to prop the whelps, to be honest. Is this a lot of raid? Whoa! Yeah. That's what you gotta fucking watch out for. The goddamn raid damage. As you can see there, this guy is no joke. And realistically, people need to be popping a personal for that, I think. That is... Press something at territory. I think we are going to see some nerfs, to be honest. We're going to see some nerfs, I think, um, after uh, after this week. Because a lot of these bosses on Tyrannical, they're probably a little harder than uh, Blizzard wants them. Yes. Plus two to uh, Blackrook with a Pug in the group. Yeah, I mean, Pugs are, like, Pugs are good in this game. You can meet actual blasters. I met some random guy in a Pug who was like, um, six out of nine mythic or some bullshit. Guy was absolutely pumpy. He was playing like rogue or some shit. Guy was doing some crazy DPS on his rogue. Absolutely hard carried the key. It's kind of nice. You can just meet like legitimately great players um, just out in the wild, you know? It's really cool. Uh, are there, like the mega dungeon ones? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. They, I don't know. I'm looking at people and it looks kind of scary to me. Um, but yeah, I haven't healed yet. 
so I can't really say, but yeah, some of this stuff does look pretty fucking spooky. See people's health drop down really low. I think, like, serious, I, it really surprises me that nobody, none of the healers think that this end boss is scary. I feel like this end boss is really scary. Because of the, he just does so much, like, burst single target, but I guess if you, if you know it's coming, it's alright as a healer. So maybe it's not too bad. Let's go. Yes. You know to avoid the damage buff on end boss. I mean, wait, which one? Which buff are we talking about? Let's go. I think we can do all of this in one. I'm gonna AMZ that. Out of the circles, below 50% or he gets permanent damage. Oh, out of the swirlies, huh? Okay, you got it. You got it! Dude, Org is so nice for having the two, uh, like, the, you got, like, the racial uh, stops on the dragon. It's very nice. Boom. Ah, the bats. The bats. I actually don't have um, AMS for this. I should have saved it. I'll have it just in time, I think. Yep. Oh, that's huge, actually. I might, I might be able to avoid the disease now, because uh, AMS immunes it. Let's go. Will I get the disease? I didn't get the disease. Yes. Yes. Favorite time to play? I think it's a Monk. I really like um, Monk's rotation. It's very good. It's very dynamic. Um... I think it's really uh, skill sensitive, like very rewarding if you do play Monk correctly. And I also just like the way it tanks too. I think Stagger is a very good mechanic. It's also highly mobile, which is fun. Uh, its utility is decent as well. You know, you have Ring of Peace and you have the raid buff, so you bring some value to the team uh, while you're playing Brewmaster. I guess it's relatively low utility compared to other tanks, but it has a lot of damage. Like Monk hits very hard. All right, here we go. Let's let him drink and let's blast. We could actually even have a wipe here. This should be a very easy plus plus though, realistically. Okay, he's ready. Let's go. And here we what go. is this? Don't what is this? Me Don't make me laugh. I will fracture your, feeble mind. your feeble mind. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. Look at that fucking DPS. It's crazy. Dude, look at Malfurion. He's captured. Dude, my Razan trinket's popping off. Look at my single target, guys. Let's go. We're actually blasting right now. Oh, how annoying. Big damage. I might actually save Abomination Limb for uh, Lust so we can burst the boss down as hard as possible. I'll save rune weapon as well. We're going to phase pretty soon. I don't need to pop CDs. We'll pop CDs when we're lusting. Because if I use it now, I won't have it. So it's not going to be worth. I really wish uh, Blood DK had a second spender. Because right now, I, I lit guys, I have only one ability that I press to spend resource. No joke. How crazy is that? How goofy is that? I think it's pretty goofy. We can drop an AMZ for the 50% phase as well. You will waste away slowly. It's not very nice, is it? Alright, AMZ. And we lost here. There we are. Oh, good thing we have the fucking AMZ. Holy shit. You will waste away slowly. Just need to move him out of that. Me pump. Pumpa. Let's move away. Oh, that one got him. Unlucky. He was casting, alright? That one doesn't count. 
Oh, shit. He's going to get that one, too. Dude, he has three stacks. It's over. Okay, he's not in that one. Okay, he's out. Remove him again. Well, he's going to be in that one. He has five stacks. We're fucked. It's over. Easy. Boom. Let's see. Will I get anything good? Did it. I got, I got the Nightmare Eggshell. Your melee attacks have a chance to infuse you with Nightmare Winds, granting 278 haste every one second for 20 seconds. Pretty sure that's not good, uh, but, you know, it is what it is. We got the egg, guys. Egg obtained. Dude, look at the 2.9k IO. Need the trinket. Wait, does this guy need that shit? I mean, I don't need it, to be honest. Um, No. Pretty sure it's dog shit. So they can have it. The nightmare eggshell. Would you like? Wait, who does? Who does the, this guy wants it? Enjoy. There you are. Throne twenty one. Yo, let's do throne twenty one, dude. That is free. That's giga free. Omega free. Throne twenty one coming right up. Where's my hearthstone? I keep losing my hearthstone in my own inventory. Also. Uh, this is some sort of pug. Yeah, it's like a pug situation here. We've got, so, got this uh, Russian evoker in here. We've got the boys. Main brewmaster for the next season. Um, I am... Uh, I'm a meta slave. I will play what the guild needs me to play. This... Uh, I mean... I I like all the tanks too much. I don't think there's a tank that I dislike. To be honest. But no, I'll play what's good. I'll play what the guild needs. I am very motivated to play any build or any class that is required uh, to get the job done. Yes. Boom. It is time. All right. Uh, there you go. You can have it. Halls 21. Every single tank spec. Yeah, I feel like you kind of have to be as tank because I feel like the tanks are almost a thing you pick last, right? Like you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna choose your comp and then you pick the tanks that fit in to the current meta. Is it me uh, mega set of Miss Wee videos? Yes, and stream. She's very good. With healers, except Holy Paladin mains. Well, yeah, because you're you're never getting away from Holy Paladin as long as uh, Devo exists. Happy Spanks giving. The fuck, hell is wrong with you guys? All right, it begins. Yeah, that is a weird first mess to open up with. We got a key frenzy though, guys. I got to do my eight weekly keys, and also gamers on Sunday. On Sunday, I'm doing Heroic. F.C. with Pugs. That's what we're doing. F.C. So, we will full clear Heroic. Hopefully, anyway. Bring your non-disgusting alts. And it dies on Sunday. Uh, requirements? Well, you need to be able to actually, you know, not int, right? So, ahead of the curve is going to be required, obviously. Uh, and a decent geared alt. Do you share UI? I don't. I don't have a command, but it's basically dorkies, but I messed around with it a little bit. Uh, but, look... After we're, I will assign some time, I think, pretty soon, to properly um, set up my UI and have some commands for it and stuff. But I don't really, my UI right now is mediocre, uh, but yeah, we'll fix it. Would you advise to boost uh, a character directly? Honestly, I would say just get into it. That's what I did. I just boosted and got...
got into the game, but I think leveling is fine too. But I don't think it actually matters that much. <sighs> yes. All right, let's see who's applying to join this group. Dude, look at all these juices. We got the 2.8K Demon Hunter. What else do we want? I guess we'd want... I mean, I guess Org would be good, but anything is good, realistically. Dude, this guy is... Holy shit. A 6 out of 9 Mythic Evoker. Oh, it's from this guild. Look, it's from Honolulu. Dude, holy shit. Let's go. And wait, their rank in their guild is 17 centimeters. Interesting. This is retail class. This is retail wow. Retail World of Warcraft. I will be playing vanilla next week, though. I'll play, um... I'm gonna play the thing. Season of Discovery. We're in. Dragonflight. SD 30th? It's the 28th. Oh, yeah, it's the 30th. Yeah, it is the 30th, yeah. I thought it was the 28th, but no, that's the Guild Wars 2 patch. Yes. Retail Wow. What class? I actually don't know. Maybe Druid. Maybe I'll play Druid or Warlock. And Tank. Alliance or Horde? Probably Horde. Dude, are you guys ready for Cataclysm Classic? Who's going to play Cataclysm Classic, boys? Let's go. Rescue Aranak Stone Speaker. Yeah, that guy got tentacled. Sins of the Sea Witch. That vile worm has earned a thousand deaths. It won't be easy. She and her minions are firmly entrenched in this place, but she's bound to be exhausted from a fight with Neptulon. Now was the time to strike. Oh, the tanks you find to learn another role you didn't get. We'll see, like, Hilo be next. Yeah, I'll play I'll play all roles. Uh, but right now, I, I don't have enough time. I have to get good at tanking first. We have to first get good at tanking. Yes. Firelands is good in Cata. I think the raids in Cataclysm are good. Uh, and the dungeons, too, actually. Uh, the only... I think the one thing that was kind of sucked about Kata was the end boss. End boss is kind of mediocre. It was also dragon aspect themed, so maybe there's a, there's a coincidence there, I guess. Nice. Let's go. Man, look, I haven't done any tyrannical or tell the czar fall or mega dungeon stuff. Right, let's do this. Turn to a pirate? I kind of like it. Yeah. We're a bunch of MMO boomers. Hell yeah. I'm a big MMO boomer. I like the old school stuff. But I mean, I like uh, retail as well. I think retail is very good. Retail is a good video game. That's a hot take these days, but it shouldn't be. I'm actually really impressed by um, by this particular uh, this particular patch in general. This raid is exceptionally good. I almost feel like I need to make like a simp video talking about it because this is this is not just good; it is exceptionally good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, it is very very good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Snizzle, he is the guy who will leave and deplete your key. 
You think Tindril is good? Absolutely. The only boss that I'm not super a big fan of is Agira. This boss is quite mediocre, I think. Null Root, though, is excellent. Volcross is really good. Council is good. Laradar is good. Nimue is good. Smoldron's really good. Tindril is good. Uh, Farak is really good. Like, every single boss here is good. Agira is the only one that is not that great. All right, pull 10. Dude, wait, no. P fucking pull zero, holy shit. Hang on. All right, we're good. Pull 10. Yes. Five, it's time. Four, three, two. One. Boom. Yo, 21 Throne Boys. Throne Boys. All right, here we go. We're doing a zaced pull here. Oh, I kind of need to pull there, don't I? I should have gripped that one. I'm going to grip it now. Kicking it. Ah! Okay. Dude, they all water bolted me. I should have pressed something there, to be fair. It's fine. I pressed my cheat death. Nice. Blasted. The fight is giga free. Yeah, I, I think um, honestly, when we were on it, we were just very, very tired. We bit, we we just uh, we got onto Mythic Agira after a fucking long day. Most people have been playing for like six hours of M plus and then four hours of raiding. We had some difficulty with Agira, but I think a big part of that was um, honestly people were absolutely drained by the time we got there. Got Gnarl Root down and then just called it pretty much. Yeah, Purgatory on pull. Listen. Vivi, at least I don't pull the entire dungeon and then say, oh yeah, bro, I'm experimenting for the MDI. Seriously, I was watching this guy's stream last night, and he was like, oh yeah, bro, wouldn't it be so goofy if I just literally pulled half the entire fucking dungeon uh, in Waycrest and just wipe the- immediately wipe the entire group. And then, do you know, do you know what the best part is, guys? Do you know what happened? Vivi was like, oh man, check out this crazy zany pull. And they wipe and die instantly, right? And then he was like, I'm going to do the exact same pull again. And he did the exact same pull again and just wipe the group again immediately. Like, that is unhinged. Absolutely lunatic behavior. Seriously, I don't, I don't even understand what that was. Like, that was, it was psychotic, to be honest, guys. It was absolutely psychotic. Honestly, let's go fucking Zaste pull. We're doing a Zaste pull here. Let's go. I'm doing an I'm gonna fucking die pull. Holy shit. I got stunned. Shit. That's not good. My DPS is now severely compromised. And it feels pretty bad, to be honest. Okay. We're good. Boom. Nice. Pull the patrol with that. Yeah. Right, let's uh, grab these. We kind of honestly could do bigger here, I think, but I don't really feel a particular need to. Because timer is not going to be a problem. On Tyrannical, you're not really going to get gated by the timer that much. It's always going to be about, can you actually kill the bosses? But our DPS appears to be very respectable, so I'm not actually anticipating too many issues with that. Let's just uh, pull these out again. We do have these dogs. Can grip. Get the kick. I can get a stop as well in a moment. I'm going to stop. What is this dog doing? Okay. 
Boom. Dude, the bleed. Holy shit. Alright. Um, it's not the awkward timing. I'll just do the dogs separately, I guess. Here come the dogs. And I have dwarf racial, so this actually shouldn't be too much of a problem. The dogs. Okay, and dwarf racial that. Yeah. Good. And we can just do this one solo, honestly. We're really not in a rush. We're four minutes onto the key and we're like nearly 50% done with trash. So this is giga free. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Dude, Splurt, he, the fucking Dranit wants to go, man. He's just like ready to blast. I was gonna go chill. I'm just here like enjoying my weekly keys, weekly no lever keys. Splurt's like, oh bro, we got a plus plus, man. Oh, if we don't plus plus, then I, 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 it's over. Not Splurt, Dranit. They're the same person, honestly. Weekly no lever 21. Look, got 58. Oh shit. Are they, is that the best pull world? Is Liquid um, confirmed ahead? So I presume that was they got past the first set of ads, correct? Because they have to do two sets of ads just like on Heroic. So that's going to be. Um, if they can actually get that consistent, that's huge, if that's the case. So they're really getting there now, then, in that case. Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then they just got to get that consistent, get the second set of ads. And we should be in business. Yeah, it's very close, actually. It's very close. Because Echo is... I, I think they're not that far behind, are they, whatsoever. They're pretty close. Okay, let's go. Boom. Are normal raid bosses drop loot once a week? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, they drop uh, once a week per difficulty. So you can go back and, like, farm the other difficulties, too. Well, let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. I actually really like DK on this boss because you can just aggro the melee add uh, and then just grip the other two in. It's pretty good. Gonna dodge the shit. I think these bosses are going to be scary. Like, the third boss is going to be scary on tank, that's for sure. Need to be quite careful with the defensives. I'm actually going to save my CDs for the intermission. I think the intermission is honestly a little bit more scary than... Uh... I like that breath right as we go into the intermission. Uh, one of them got... Uh... Got this one. Got this one in. Yeah. I mean, we're really not going to want to let these casts go off, are we? Those are going to hurt. If they go off on me, it's probably fine. It's a frontal on this guy. Yeah, it doesn't feel too bad, actually. Demon Hunter got a bit of a slap. But that's all good. Is Lorgot still playing in Method? I believe so, yeah. Oh, Method 3P1 is our dude. Method! Holy shit, respect. I love this. This is so cool. I love it being a three-horse race. I'm not going to lie. You know, obviously I'm a huge uh, simp for Echo and Liquid, no question about that. But it would be really cool if Method could somehow pull off a miracle and actually manage to get Worlds first. I think certainly not exactly likely, obviously. that you know I think the Liquid and Echo are definitely ahead in the running. But I mean, who doesn't love an underdog story, right guys? What an epic steal. Imagine if they actually stole that. That would be insane. It would be so sick if they managed to somehow steal it. Okay, and we can get this one in. Dude, I'm so fast. Oh shit, that guy's dead. I can uh, CR that though. Yeah. Get that player back up. Okay. It's blast. Alright. 
second boss, this next boss honestly might be kind of spooky. It's going to take a long time. We're going to want full CDs for it. We will have lust. Nine minutes though on a 21. Pretty good, I think. Big. Method to say they're doing some off-stream pulls to put the fear in it. That would be funny, wouldn't it, if they did that? Yeah, that'd be kind of crazy. So Roy is going to be lusting about a minute into this, which is, actually is going to line up with my CDs. <laughs> All right, we can just pull it over here, I guess, can't we? Holy shit. This guy does hit pretty hard on tanks. With his crab claw. Yeah, I need to get some, well, we do need to stack, but I also need to get myself some stacks too, goddamn. A little bit low on the old uh, blood blood shield or bone shield stacks here. Uh, just ignore the knockback here. I right, Monk is going to solo this very easily, of course. Okay, we've got Lust coming up. I just potted by accident. That's good. Okay, it's a bit annoying, but we just got to move. There's the Lust. I could have immune that as well. I kind of don't want to, though, just yet. There's the Crushing Claw. I'm going to move boss a little bit. Well, that was kind of pain, actually. Holy shit. That's maybe not the brightest idea. Here comes the ooze. Oh, that is a bit wonky, isn't it? It's fine, honestly. Need to be careful not to pull the trash. Hmm, where are we going to go next? That's actually a good question. So, you know... It's a little casual, 100% uh, physical damage mod. Okay, we're going middle. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. The ooze is being awakened. Well, I have no stacks. This is actually very scary. Need to get them. We got him. Easy. Dude, the gauntlet is so depressing on DK because you're an actual slug. I'm a snail. Whoa. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. With AoE. Yeah, if you have AoE, you can just push them away. Like, anything that has, like, some kind of good cleave is doing very big DPS to get rid of those, uh... Those things. Get rid of the oozes. Monk is really good for it because it can do the spinning crane kick, right? And there's like lots of little hits that just completely destroys the oozes. Yes. Throne is fine after all nerfs. I mean, yeah, Throne doesn't feel too bad. I think we can, we can go pretty big here. I don't think we want to go too big though. Like these packs get like really aids if you pull too many because they do that they do that grip thing, right? And that ends up being a real pain to be honest. So you don't want to go massive. That's where things get a little bit bad. Cuz this guy's going to do his next as well and that's just it's just going to be annoying. And time's fine. Like, this is probably going to... This is looking like a plus-plus, realistically. Or it should be more than doable to plus-plus this. End boss might be a bit spooky. It really depends if people are going to do a good job. I kind of don't want to do three casters. Normally, you, you want to pull that previous big guy with this one. But that didn't really happen this time, did it? Hello, streamer. Give me one critique of keys. Um, I 
Let me think of an actual good one. Because there are a lot of things that you could say, but I want to come up with like an actual good one to give you like a good answer. What do I not like about Mythic Plus? Ow. Um. Ow. Can we grip this guy in? Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, I'm a little busy right now, so I, I might have to get back to you on that. I actually don't want to use my rune weapon here. I'm just going to stick it out. Need to get stacks back. Marrow rend. I should live. Yeah, that's fine. We're good. We're good. Uh, I will think about that, and I'll tell you after this dungeon. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. I actually don't have any big major defensives here uh, for the first one. I actually, I'm still in CDs. Let's pop the rune there. The rune tab. Yeah, it's fine. Honestly, DK is pretty good against this. Because the boss does physical... Well, he actually does nature damage. Like, when he does his wind fury attack, it's a nature damage. I'm just going to use my trinket for the next one. Trinket and then that tombstone will give me a bit of a buffer as well. So we'll just trinket this. There we are. I have a rune weapon back up too, actually. Holy shit, that thing got deleted. That was uh, Dranit's trinket, I think, actually. Okay. I have Vampiric for this one. That should be fine. Yeah, we're good. We're good. And then I have Lichborn for next. I might have a rune weapon up by then as well. I'm a little bit low now, actually. Ah, uh, we got phase two. Four, three, Run. Two, one. Yeah. This guy actually hits pretty hard too, funnily enough. He's useless, the fucking Dranum. We rescued him from the squid, he's not even going to help us. Unbelievable. Four, three, two, one. Archie, save abomination limb. Need it on the trash. Boom, we got him. Let's go. Is Dr. Anus a rank one monk? Ah, oh, not anymore. On end boss, just go left. That is a good call to be honest. As long as you go one direction, you're all right. You gotta, cl you gotta clear the pools that the ads drop. That's the big one too. Like, if you don't clear the pools that the ads drop, it's not good. It is not good at all. All 24, aside from 23. Uh, yeah, that it will be someone... The the top monk will be probably someone called Toxic, basically. That's a mega set. Okay, here we go. They made this trash a lot less bad, didn't they? Or a lot less... They made it a lot easier to deal with. But we're actually so good on time that we can... We can afford to be a little relaxed, to be honest. We don't have to go super crazy. I actually just want to pull, because we probably have a revival available, so we can just go ahead and do this. Yeah, there's the swell. I'm going to AMZ. Oh, we actually have a darkness as well. Yeah, that's very easy. 
Very easy to survive that. I want to. I want to get the next sentry here as well, just immediately. Let's grab him. I think this should be all right. We might have a couple of stacks, so as long as we just press some personals, we actually have Zephyr available here. This is probably a Zephyr moment, I want to say. Actually, no, we got the. We got no stacks. We're fine. Huge, dude. We're actually just destroyed here. Look at this trash. Right, and now we want to move. We want to get all of these with the goblins. And we need to stop them. If you don't stop those there as tank, by the way, you instantly die. So watch out for that. You kind of need to desynchronize their casts. If their casts don't desync, then it's, it's bad news for you. Let's put it like that. So just like kicking a couple of them is really good. Woo! Couple of those going off. I'm actually going to wait for the stacks. Yeah, we're actually good. We're good. I think we're good anyway. Yep, we're good. No stacks. Are any of them aggroed on us? They are not. What a nice run. Okay. Nice. I think, okay, here's what I don't like about Mythic Plus. I don't like that you lose gold for doing it. And I also, I think the loot can be really frustrating to deal with sometimes. But that's kind of the nature of the way loot works in, in any kind of like vertical prog game where you get drops. Those are two things that I find annoying as hell. Like, um, like I was trying to get a weapon, didn't fucking drop one. Did 60 keys last week, guys, not a single weapon. Like, fuck you. Um, like, and also I got the trinket basically on my second Atalazar, right? Uh, all right, here we go. So, it's, uh, that's it. We should be lusting here. That's the lust. And there's going to be a frontal. Let's face that away from the team. There we are. They got a clear. Honestly, DK is actually kind of nice in the, um current dungeon set because I can just do this can grab that guy the only thing that's a bit annoying about DK is that your pull threat can be wonky although that's mostly fixed by your DPS is having a brain and they need to clear this they need to clear in the middle next this is very important gonna AMS that and they need to clear the one here. Okay, yeah, oh, the guy knows. That's huge. He knows. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna grab that guy. And we got them all in. And that's basically it. We did it. Ow. Here comes the frontal. I'm just going to use a minor defensive for this, I think. Just the Lichborn. He's a rune tap as well. I mean, that kind of hurt, didn't it? Could have AMS as well, I think, just barely in time. I'm just going to run in and do this. Okay, grips. That's going to be a little awkward, to be honest, with where those died, but it should be okay. Gonna pop a big one and go to the other side because there's gonna be the frontal here. So we need a clear coming up. Yeah. That might be pain. Yeah, it was a little bit pain. Okay, need some runes here. We just need to blast, to be honest. Blast the boss. Yo! Fucking free boys. Look at that. Retail WoW was literal dog shit. Worst game ever made. Fact. Okay, good. 
Boom, easy. These rankings are so relevant, bro. What we got here? Uh, what is this? Your rank 162 world, you're blue. You're literally nothing. Okay, nice. We did it. Okay, here we go. C star. Your spells have a chance to invigorate the star, increasing your intellect by 2,000. Ah, that, dude, that's the old school trinket design, right? Oh. Oh. Unlucky. I already got that. My trinkets are rat shit. Okay, boom. Another 21 locked in. Very, very nice. Yeah, but honestly, in terms in terms of the gameplay, um, I actually like Mythic Plus. I don't think there's anything about the gameplay that I don't like. I think there's like specific mechanics that I don't like, but about the system in general, I think Mythic Plus is extremely good. I think you could really have an interesting conversation regarding affixes, because um, here's my analysis on affixes. Affixes exist, so you aren't done with the season early. Because if affixes didn't exist, you could basically increase your rating way faster, um, and then be done way quicker. Now, let's actually think about that. What does that mean? That means that they've added something that makes the game less fun to play to make it last longer. So, the qu and, and this is actually a very open question. The question is, can you achieve the same result that affixes do in a way that's actually fun? That's the question. Um, and I think some people would say it was like the seasonal affixes. Those things were, um, I think people like them. I think going in that direction, I think people in WoW call it, what is it? It's like, what do they call it? It's like where you have, um, you know, it's either good or bad, right? It's like trick or treat almost, right? Like, you know, you have to... Um, you know, you, you can play around it a little bit more, right? Or is it like Kiss Curse or something like that? Yeah, that's what people call it. That is a lot better, I think, um, than the current system. Because right now, the current system just fucks you, right? Um, or it does nothing. Like, you either have something like Entangling, which is basically a non-affix, or you have something like Sangun, which is like... I want to uninstall the game right now. Um, and, it, like, affixes exist for a good reason. They exist so that the season lasts longer, so that players don't run out of content, basically. So that is why they exist. Make no mistake, guys. That's why they exist. Um, however, the question is, could you achieve that result in a better way? That's why you have Tyrannical and Fortified. It's so that you have, basically, double the content, in a sense. Because you've got to give, you have to give Tyrannical and Fortified credit. The way that you play them is very different. Um, you know, you might do different routes, different lust timings, um, you know, things are going to be Think different things are going to kill you, you're going to use your cooldowns differently. Like, Tyrannical and Fortified play very differently. Um, affixes, less so, to be honest. I don't really think... And this is kind of the problem, right? You don't really play um, affixes, really. You... They're kind of... They don't really change how you play, if that makes any sense. Even when you have bolstering... Um, even with bolstering, you basically do the same pulls. It's like... I hope you don't die, tank. Good luck, bro. Um, and that's the issue. Um, because a lot of affixes cannot change M+. I think this is kind of arguably a problem with bursting. Like, bursting is a weird affix. Because what does this say? Basically, this wants you to do smaller pulls. Or it wants you to kind of kill the pull slower. But the thing is, that is such an anti-M plus design. You're never going to do that, right? You, you, no matter how bad bursting is you're always going to do big pulls because that's just how you clear Mythic Plus. That's how you get through these dungeons quickly. Um, and, and this is kind of the the, the affix issue. Ah, yeah, here you go. Yeah. Enjoy. What are we doing? We're doing fucking Dark Art or some bullshit? Uh, what is it? Dark Art Thicket. Okay, wait. What, what key does... What key we got? Um, oh, I've got a 22 Galacrons event if we want that, by the way. Uh, we can do that as well if we if anyone needs that shit. I guess I need that. I mean, I need the. I want the tank trinket from that one. But I don't really mind what we do, to be honest. Mythic plus tank god on YouTube. I will definitely try um, to do some WoW content after I feel like my skill level uh, is appropriate where I would make content like that. Yes. Because the thing is, dude, you gotta be. You gotta get it right. Do you guys see this with um Andy from Echo? Dude, Andy. Andy made a Blood Death Knight guide, okay? And I think there was a mistake in it. There was something incorrect about Marrow Rend skill usage. 
and he got flamed really fucking hard for it. He took the video down. Okay. I can't make any mistakes, guys. Like, that will end up being me, right? I'm not even in Echo. I'm gonna get fucking destroyed. Yeah. Yes. It's over. Some weeks will be easier than others. Yeah, but that's already the case with affixes, right? Like, that's- If you have anything being different, it's always gonna be that way. Like, for example, this week is free as fuck compared to Incorporeal Sanguine. It's just so much easier. Like, um, and, and stuff like bolstering, right? Like, bolstering is just- so much harder to deal with than something like entangling or bursting even. Yeah. But the thing is, if I want to make a guide, guys, I want to be actually at high level of gameplay, right? Um, I don't want to be giving people bad advice. Because the way I see it, right, is if I'm going to make a guide, I need to be bringing something to the table that essentially is competing with people like um, Dorky or Andy, right? Because these are actual good players, I'm not as good as them, so I need to have something in my guide that is good in such a way that it would be interesting to, that it will be useful and actually add something to the conversation that can't already be covered by, you know, someone of the skill level of Dorky, essentially. And that's obviously a very high standard to meet because he's really fucking good. Um, and explains things pretty well, actually. So there you go. So you gotta, you gotta put the work in first. Whoa, I've got, whoa. Two and a half K rep, yo, dude. Should I take this two and a half K rep? That's crazy. I'm doing it. Boom. Three K, dude. I'm around round eleven. Boom. We're getting there, guys. If I just do the super bloom every week, I'll get to the uh, augment room pretty soon. Ah, yes. Yo. Devastation tier set from Abra so she has a dot called Obsidian Shards. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Not getting the Thanksgiving bonus before consuming, noob. Bro, I'm not messing around with this rep shit, man. I consume immediately. I instantly consume. Uh, Galacron, right, I'm porting. I consume every day of my life. I'm gonna consume. Guys, I'm consuming! Let's do this. I'm in. Vivaloof, aka Dogaloof. Honestly, anyone in my group has no idea how lucky they are. I have seen Vivi's M plus tanking. It's not a wonder to me they were like depleting plus 13 keys week one. Not a surprise. I'm not shocked by that. Some people might be shocked by that. I'm not shocked by that. Is everyone in, by the way? I think everyone's in. I'm going in. All right, let's go. Nice. Yo. This is not Guild Wars 2. This is World of Warcraft. An incredibly zaced game. Here we are in the Mega Dungeon. Chromie. Nosdormu. Boom. Look at him. There he is. He's the time dragon. Yes. I did 20 black room my 447 holy powder with Vivi tank. It was awesome. Did it deplete, Dranet? Was it a deplete situation? What do I actually need on this guy? Um, I need the tank trinket. Oh, I need... Oh, dude. I should go with upgrade, actually. I need to go upgrade my Razan trinket. I think I should actually upgrade both of my trinkets, no? I'm pretty sure that's going to be higher value than anything else. At least in terms of output. Because the Farak trinket also blasts. So I've got to do... Um, Razan's Gleaming Eye. And then I think the, the Rage Heart as well. Do I have enough to do both? I need... Ooh, wait, am I going to get cucked? Just barely? I'm going to have four. Yeah, I think I can do both. Yeah, because I need I need a total of 45 aspect crests. So I think I can have both of my trinkets maxed out. At least on uh, hero anyway. Dude, I can't believe Vivi got the um, myth. He got the myth heart though, bro. That's ridiculous. I'm going to get that shit. I am going to get the myth heart on my demon hunter. Do you, how, do you guys know how many weeks it takes uh, to get max upgrades, by the way? 
I guess it's probably a good chunk of time, because I guess you can get, what? You get 90 Aspect Crests a week, and that's two and a half items to max. I guess it also slows down because you're going to want to craft a piece as well. Mm. You didn't go for Spins Gambit? No, um, although it wasn't really a Gambit. I was... Hey, yo, thanks for the Prime, Sadius. Oh, it's your birthday. Yo, Sadius, Phil's birthday, man. Give me a Phil's birthday man in the chat. Yeah, um, I wanted to have, like, the maximum power level uh, as possible for Heroic Farak, because Heroic Farak I knew was going to be a bit of a hurdle for us to try and climb over. Um, so, yeah. I wanted to make sure that we had that going for us. Also, yo, happy birthday, Sadius. If you kill the later mythic bosses because they're loot from high up, oh, that's true, actually, so you save some crests. That is true. Did I have champion legs? That's fucking disgusting. I do have hero legs, I think, but yeah, I need to catalyst them. Yeah. Next week is the Farak Axe. You get nothing. You're literally negative prior. You're also ZDPS. I'm ready. Boom. Is it my key? I'm pretty sure it's my key, right, isn't it? Um... Wait, are we, are we doing the DH's key or my key? I don't fucking know. Hor this guy's name is Horny. Are we serious, bro? Man's a Kuma as well, obviously. All right. Let's do pull 10. My key, here we go. It's time. Five, four, key. Three, two, one. Boom. Yo. First will second boss. There's no fucking way we'll have it for second boss. Yeah, female Kumal demon hunter. It's time. I'm ready to go in. Dude, the Mega Dungeon, one of the most zaced pieces of content in, in uh, this entire game, by the way. Get in here, you little shit. I'm 500k DPS, boys. I'm blasting. I'm gonna blast! Look at that DK burst, man. Just fucking look at it. That's what I'm talking about. Deep tank. Right, also, this is completely unrelated, guys. Um, if you guys think... Uh, Tindra will break the guild and it's a full disband moment. Please go ahead and put DDX tree in the chat. Let's see what people think. Boom. I think Tindra will be a guild breaker. I think a lot of people are going to be disbanding over Tindra. Frosty, you better be ready for Season of Discovery, bro. We're going hard. I am fully abandoning Retail WoW for an actual good version of WoW. Alright, let's go. We hold the line. I'm dead. I have zero CDs going into this, and it feels fucking bad. I have nothing. Soka! I am fully abandoning retail for an actual good version of the game, also known as Vanilla WoW. Vanilla is the only good version of World of Warcraft. That's a fact and we all know it. Retail is bad. You will not get past me. Boom. Vanilla. And not just vanilla as well. Frosty knows what I'm talking about here, but pure PvP in vanilla. Pure PvP. 
cure. Then can I go over here, I guess? You will not get past me. Imagine playing Dragonfly, dude. Seriously, imagine playing a game about dragons. That'd be so goofy. Some of the most goofy shit I've ever heard of. I like how Drana externals me there, man. He's actually afraid. That's heels in a nutshell, to be honest. Living in constant fear. You will not get past me. Oh, oh boy, I oh, I am healing. Ooh. <laughs> I hope I don't get flamed for my heels. Ha <laughs> ha. Boom. Whoa! Holy shit! I think I moved in too soon there. I got hit by the leap. You will not get past me. Your life man is nice, we're done. Let's go. What's the add-on? This is a weak aura. What is it called? It's called... Uh, it's called Mouse Cursor. There you go. Boom. Let's do it. Waking up with launch, watch the servers crash them over a couple hours into a 24-hour blast. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to play on launch, to be honest, Frosty, because, yeah, it's going to be fucking unplayable. Holy shit. Like, actually unplayable. I'm not really sure I want to get involved in that. Honestly, let's go for the Zace pull. This is something that Vivi would do. Uh, let's see if it works. I think it's working. Yeah, it's fine. Boom. Dude, maybe Vivi's actually based. You guys thought about that? Maybe I was the cringe one this entire time. The dog is gonna come about in a moment. Here comes the untwist. This is gonna hurt. I have no fucking runic power. Oh boy, we've got no stacks. I have a rune weapon very soon though. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. We're good. Got these leeches. The leeches are under control though. It feels good. Ah, yeah. Ah, oh, that's another thing I can roast about Mythic Plus. Actually, this is not just Mythic Plus, this is the entire game. Dude, am I just dead to this dot? I'll tell you what sucks. The fucking camera. The camera in this game gets stuck on everything. And I mean everything. And I hate it. They need to fix it. See, you see what I'm talking about? What the fuck? It's ridiculous. Can you pull the dog? Oh, shit. No! This is bad. I need to get an attack off. We're good. We're good! I was out of melee range there. Fortunately, I never die, so it's not actually a problem. I'm fucking dead. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we pulled every leech, so we're pretty over count, but fuck it. We're padding the meters. It's time to pad the meters. Get that stop. Ah, the AMS here. It'll be huge. Boom. So apparently this boss is a new mechanic now. So let's see what's going on with that. Okay, just full skip the uh, run. Nah, not with 62. You need 60%. So we're still going to do the regular skip. Alright, here we go. I'm just going to wait for mana on healer here. And then we can basically get in there. Oh, I should have um, just gone there to keep my blood stacks up. But fuck it, that's fine. The timeways shall be protected. This boss is dog shit. They ruined this boss. Give the frontal back. 
This boss was, uh, you know, this is a really funny moment, guys. Um, I will say this. Also, I just stood in the thing. When I saw this boss, and I saw, wait, this is a dungeon boss? I thought, oh yeah, this, this game is absolutely sick. Um, this is an exceptionally good boss for a dungeon, actually. And it was even better in the Mega Dungeon, because it had an extra mechanic. They actually removed a mechanic here. I guess they thought it was going to be too difficult with the frontal in as well. Which, I mean, I guess, fair enough. If they, if that's what they thought, then I don't know, I'm sure they had a good reason for it. But yeah, no, seriously. Like, it was actually the Mega Dungeon. I think this Mega Dungeon actually is one of the really big things that convinced me to commit to World of Warcraft. Because, um... This is not just good, it is extremely good. Uh, this, this entire thing- oh for fuck's sake, Jesus Christ, we just fucking griefed. Alright, I'm gonna go for a CR in a moment once we stabilize. I'll probably wait for the orbs, actually. Jesus Christ. Okay. Alright. We should- okay, there's a CR there, but you shouldn't take it. Oh, what the- Okay, people are legit fucking trolling. Okay. Anyway, I keep getting interrupted by us fucking this up. Uh, anyway, this- this dot- all the Mega Dungeons are really good. That's all I'm gonna- look, that's it. We'll leave it at that. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay. Standing in the cone is too difficult. Cone. Dude, my trinket is putting in work. Do you guys see my trinket just destroying right now? It's not even fully upgraded, dude. How much damage did that trinket do? Dude, it was- it did 1.5 million damage. Look at that, it's 11% DPS, guys. Cone. Very nice. Mr. Timeways, yeah, Timeways boss. Frontal cone. Here we go. How to what it what is and what isn't happening? It's called fucking mechanics. Two, one. You know, th this to me, people saying there's too much going on. Listen, guys, I know that everyone's played Guild Wars two and you get one mechanic every fifteen seconds, but here in the the World of Warcraft video game, things actually happen during the boss fights. It's not just stand and do DPS rotation until it's dead. I know that's kind of crazy, but it is what it is. Yeah. Boom. I have the it's time. To a place, a where Get I in there. Tread. Two or four cones. Well, it's, it depends on the way you look at it, if you think about it. It's a good philosophical question. You know Alright, here we go. I'm in. Boom. Zaste pull. It's Galacrond. Dude, they killed it too fast. I didn't have time to ramp. My dots. My dots were worthless. Oh! I think this boss is actually surprisingly scary on Tyrannical. This one. I've actually already done a- I did a 21 on this on Tyrannical. Didn't actually feel that bad on end boss. It was on my Demon Hunter as well. I was actually a little bit worried about the Demon Hunter because, um, you know... Uh, Demon Hunter's a bit squishier than Blood DK against, like, tyrannical stuff, but, yeah. We'll do a single here, I guess. Uh, I mean, maybe we could do a, a double again, actually. I think they, they nerfed this really hard. Let's do both. Yeah. Yeah, they nerfed these guys. Wasn't quite sure how hard they nerfed it, but it looks like it's pretty hard. Yeah, it's fine. It's way less damage now on these. Way less damage. 
They nerfed the tick rate. Um, oh, that guy's dead. I think he got hit by a swirly, though. I think that was nothing to do with anything else. Yeah, you can just respawn, though. He was too busy typing noob to himself to respawn. M boss is fine as long as his mechanics. Yeah, he just did not get hit by shit. I think the DPS check can become relevant, but we how I think we have pretty decent damage in this group. So I'm not really foreseeing too many issues. Let's blast. Double dragon is literally free. Dude, Vivi's like, oh yeah, it's free, man. It's free, it's free. Meanwhile, do you want to talk about um Soulbound Goliath, Vivi? Do you want to talk about that? 10 seconds, yeah, okay. Do we want to talk about that, bro? What was, uh, you know, how that one was going? That, uh, that key. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, that was uh, a little, a uh, little spicy. Here we go. Feed me. Vivi died to level zero soulbound Goliath. In fact, his entire key died to it. Gimme, gimme. It was a tank issue. Vivi was noob, he died instantly. He died within milliseconds. He died to a tree. The tanks have wild strategies. I think people just uh, rush a little bit too much. Oh, I need to actually feed this back. So I'm going to go to Splurt. Splurt knows the timing. There we go. Enjoy. I kind of want to. I kind of wanted to drop um, an AMZ here, but it's really awkward because of the pushback at the same time. I'm gonna drop a defensive there. The cone will suck the defilement out of you. Yeah, it does. Dude, you know what's annoying? Bursting, forcing me to... Oh. Dude, he gave it... Why would you do that? He gave it to me instantly. People have no fucking clue, man. They don't know how the timings work. Oh, that guy knows, I think. Because that's correct. I'm honestly not sure if I should even run Rune Tap. I don't find it that useful. Maybe on some Tyrannical bosses. Actually, it's going to be really good for the next boss. Alright, here we go. I think we're probably going to Lust here, actually. I think this is actually the correct boss to Lust on. Because you, you kind of have loads of haste anyway on the, um, on the last boss, right? So like, you get way less value out of your Lust. This is honestly a, kind of a scary boss. This one, I, I think on a really high key, is actually scary as fuck, to be honest. Quite dangerous. We're absolutely blasting though, holy shit. Yeah, we are pumping right now. Wait, do we have two corrosions? Oh, no we don't. That was Necrofrost. Don't really want to feed it to someone else. I'm just going to take it back immediately. We can just blast here. We got it. Alright, so we're going to invis skip here. I, dude, I potted. I'm actually griefing. Dude, I, I potted. It's fine. They, I just have to run in and they res me. It's fine. I won't have a cheat death though. That's unfortunate. I wasn't paying attention. Dude, I know what I'm doing. I'm I'm actually trolling. Kill first pack. I mean, nah. I'll just run in and die. These guys skip. I'll just die. Go 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 go. Go 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 go. Go 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 go. Do they not have invis? Oh wait, do these guys not have it? Oh, I don't think they have it, do they? Uh, invis skip. I potted because I'm trolling. But I guess it's just a death skip for the most of us. Right, I'm in range here. 
I just need to die here. Yep, there we are. Uh, Spur wants to resurrect you. Here we go. All right. I'm going to wait for this guy. Wait, did that guy release? or did, Wait, he... Okay, now we're good. Okay, right. And here we go. Need to kill this pack. Good. Not the end of the world. No cheat death is a little spooky, but... Really not too much of a problem. We actually have even the potential to wipe here and we'd still be fine. This is going to be a very easy plus plus. We could have, if we'd played more aggressively, we could even have plus three this. This is a very easy key. Would have said if I potted uh, before uh, an invis skip. Yeah, but the thing is, that was a massive grief, to be honest. that That's the thing. It was a massive grief. There we go. I'm just used to playing Druid, man. Then I can just Invis. <sighs> Daily reminder, Snizzle died to Corrupting Rage. There we go. All right, three, two, one, here we go. All right, let's do this. Iridacron. All right, we need a big fucking fat defensive for this. I can just pop both here. DK just doesn't give a fuck, too. Just don't move. I think I popped my rune tap too soon, but that's fine. Woohoohoo! Holy shit! Honestly, I think everyone has to personal there as well. That's where you hit that personal button big time. Because honestly, the rest of the damage is not that high. Like, there's some pulsing damage here, but it's not that bad. But that shit? Like the Stonecracker Barrage? You gotta press some buttons there. No cheat death, it's fine. I'm just gonna parry, bro. It's fine. It's all good. I'm gonna parry! 31 seconds. That's not horrible. Boom. Gonna go this way. Wait. Thought they said... Thought we were gonna go left there, but I guess not. Put this guy in. Where's the other one? Get over here. Alright, so we have... For the next one, we have Rune Tap and Lichborn. Need to pull a little bit of our runic power here as well. Kind of need to use a death strike there. Probably another one. Okay. Boom. Yeah. Keep the pressure up. Thanks, Chromie. I don't know how they do this, but Chromie is basically the timey of this game, but she isn't that annoying because the game is just, the game is not trying to make you take it seriously. I think that actually really helps. I feel like the writers in WoW can get away with loads of stupid shit because they always have the, bro, our game is a meme, bro. Don't take it too serious, bro. Excuse. Kind of works out pretty well for them, I think. Let me give you a boost! Like we both went different ways again. Okay, get in here. This guy. At this point, I'm just gonna save shit for the final burn. Don't really need to use anything else. I actually don't think we're going to have that much difficulty with the DPS check, though, whatsoever. Damage has been pretty good. Can actually just uh, recharge the uh, shield here. Or rather, the runic weapon. It should just skip. I think he'll just skip this mechanic. Yep, there we go. And here we go. Now we just press some buttons.
Guys, are we gonna make it? Snails? Snails? Are we gonna make the DPS check, guys? It's over! Yeah, it's fine. We did it. Boom. Whoa. Dragonflight Season 3 Hero. Oh, is that for 2.5k? I guess so. Yeah, there we go. Oh! Oh, shit! That's actually really good! Um, Crit Haste. Which is... Well, I mean, it's a 2 out of 6. I think that's actually slightly better than what I have. Yeah, I think it has more haste on it. And I, I actually need more haste. My build, my build is quite putrid right now. I have only 16% haste. I need to get that to about... 25%, I think, or even 30%. I have too much, um, I have too much mastery and too much verse. I need more haste. Yes. Also, 15 crests. Big. Can trade? Oh, shit. Oh, I don't need those, though, actually, because I have crafted. I have the crafted wrists. Do you want to do something else? Let's see, what key did I get? I have a 24 Dark Heart Thicket. But we actually have um, some pretty decent keys here, actually. 23 Black Rook Hold. 22 Everbloom. We have a variety of good keys uh, that we can do. Very nice, very nice indeed. Okay, let's go get some upgrades. Because I think I'm nearly capped on crests now. Yeah, I'm one crest off cap. Very nice. Oh, wait, dude, I'm actually completely owned. I don't have enough worm crests to upgrade um, anything, basically. It's over. Yeah. Imagine how far behind you'd be being hard-fed gear by a su uh, suck-up guild leader. That is true, actually, yeah. If Angels wasn't feeding me, that was then, then I'd be nowhere. You know, the really kind of scuffed thing is that day, day one of Mythic Plus for us, that was rough. Seriously, we got nothing. Like, the loot was not cooperating at all on day one. It was brutal. Right, there we go. And get that upgraded. Oh, I actually have exactly 15, but yeah, that's the, the best I can do. I need 30 worm crests. And I can't really get that. I have to wait until next week to upgrade anything else. How sad is that, guys? But now I have this uh, girdle. I can upgrade that. I might, yeah, I think the, I think the belt that I just dropped is ever so slightly better. Because it has more haste. And it has crit. And verse is good. I might have to check that. I'll, I'll just leave it for now. I'm not going to mess around with it, but that's pretty good. I think I'll upgrade the uh, rage heart as well. That's probably the single best thing I can do in terms of upgrades. Is there anything else that I can drop? Yeah, I'm pretty much done now. I'm 470 on everything. Um, yeah. There we go. That's not bad, is it? Would it actually be better to upgrade... I wonder if it's better to upgrade my myth chest with leech. Look at that, guys, guys. Check this out. Is WoW the only game ever where scaling crit isn't the best way to, um, scale damage? Well, it depends on your, uh, class. In general, crit is going to be good, yeah. Um, crit is going to be good for damage output, but there's other considerations that you might have and things, you know... Classes operate differently, especially with haste. Yeah, look at this chest, guys. Myth chest, crit mastery with leech. Oh my god, I love it. It's a shame it's not avoidance, because obviously leech is probably not... Not... I mean... How much of my healing is leech? It's 5%, so it's not really that good, honestly, on DK, because I'm just self-healing myself with the shield pretty much the entire time, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It would have been nice to have avoidance, but, you know, you can't win them all, can you? Got the Leech Myth Chest. First vault, by the way, guys. As long as we have a range kick for Everbloom, it's actually totally fine. Ah. Oh. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Myth Weapon with Speed? I mean, yeah, Myth Weapon with Speed is pretty cool. I, I mean, look. Do you know what's going to happen, guys? The boys are going to kill Mythic Farak. I am Pryo on the legendary. Yo! It's time. It is time. Oh, that's another thing that I'm going to roast about the game. Tertiaries are stupid. Um, okay. So, um, last season, guys, 
Uh, I bought a full set of avoidance gear for everyone in my Mythic Plus team. So everyone in the team was running around with like an extra like 6 to 7% avoidance. Um, the fact that tertiaries are non-deterministic is stupid. Um, it is so bad. Because they're supposed to be like a nice little bonus, but they're not a nice little bonus. They're insane. Like having like 5% lifesteal on a DPS class or a healer is wild. That's so unbelievably powerful. Or having everyone taking 5% less damage just permanently because of avoidance. That's insane. Tertiary should either be removed or they should be deterministic. That is just the way it is. Uh, there should be a way to guarantee you get them. So in other words, you should be able to, like, get them from the vault. You should be able to, like, you know how you can buy a socket? You should be able to buy a tertiary and, like, stick it onto your gear. Um, because the fact that you can't do that makes it terrible. Anyway, just, yeah, but a, a lot of the time, that uh, fr from a DPS player perspective, that basically is 5% less damage. Right? Because, like, a lot of the shit that's going to hit you in a raid is, is going to be, like, untargeted damage. Um, it's different for the tank, obviously. Because the tank is, you know, going to get walloped by the boss directly. But most of the damage you're taking as a DPS is is non-targeted damage a lot of the time. Titanforge? Yeah, I mean, I, I've, I know about the system, like, peripherally. It, it, not good, to be honest. Second boss is a bit uh, bondage tree on Tyrannical. No, it will be fine, bro. It's free. Yeah. It is time. It's going to be all good. We're going to be blasting. How much damage did my Razan drink? Dude, Razan's Fury, 8, look, 5.7% DPS. All right, uh, what are we doing? Uh, where's the other guy? Is the other, where's the mage? Where is he? He's on his way. Yeah. Yes. Uh, is the world's first race going on? Yeah, they're on the last boss. They're on end boss. Farak the Blazing, level 2 dragon. We have a fat pull, actually. Uh, a fat pull is happening right now from Liquid. They're going into intermission. All right, here we go. Ray check. Augment rune activated. Echo method are done. I guess it's getting pretty late. So it's just Liquid blasting then. Just Liquid pure sending. I love to see it. All right, pull 10. Here we go. Yeah, we'd be able to pull here. And the mage boss. Oh, shit. Whose key is this? Is this mine? Dude, I didn't precast. Wait, did I just barely get it? Oh, I did. Nice. Huge. I wasn't sure whose key it was. I think I have... I have Dark Heart. Oh, yeah. Okay. Boom. You know, I think uh, Dranit is going to get mad here. Because um, the this on bursting here is kind of fucked up. Uh, I'm not sure I feel about this. Because one of the things that is very unusual is that essentially every single one of these petals is going to proc bursting. Every single one. Look at that shit, guys. Yep. Have fun with that in terms of the healing per second. Enjoy it. Yeah, a bit wacky. Big. Where well, are you going right first? Well, we are. We're just doing this pull. We're doing this shit, then we're going over here. I think you're only really one. Oh! This fucking feels DK, man, right there, dude. I need my, uh, I wish I had Divine Toll or, you know, Avenger Shield. Get yeah, that instant pull threat. Okay, we're good. Oh. The petals are completely owning me. I would never die to level one petal. Boom. Eight bursting stacks. Holy shit. Take this one a little bit slower, I think. Don't really want two of those uh, flyers at the same time. The stingers are pretty pain. Can do one of those at a time. Oh, 
Oh, well. The music here I actually find, I almost find like the music quite confusing here. Because it's doing this, it's like very chill right now, it's almost like quite somber, right? The music is somber currently, guys. But wait until it fucking ramps up. The music here gets insanely intense, insanely quickly. You guys have better be ready for this. It gets fucking wild. Ow. Let's pull, uh, let's pull Gnarl Root, guys. I don't think we actually need that stinger. Splurt's dead. Okay, let's go. Boom. Let's go. I guess it's gonna die quickly. Whoa! Onwards. Whoa. We'll do one set of these at a time, I think. I'm in. Huge. Dread Petals. Actually, real quick, someone in the chat, someone who played Warlords, uh, give me a quick recap on the lore of this dungeon. W who are these tree people? I didn't play this shit, so I've got no idea. Let's go. They're the bad guys. Yeah, but what, what's their deal? What's going on here? What is this? We don't. What do you mean we don't know? This is never explained. Seven bursting. That's good. I'm fucked. I'm alive. Yeah, I mean we're killing the Covenant, but I mean, what is what's what's our end game here? Are we are we the bad guys or what? That's what I'm trying to establish here. Is like, are we evil? Oh shit. They're healing. I'm gonna abomination limb the next pack and pull them all in. Like they're all casting on me. I'm pretty sure I can live this without a defensive. And I can. I did it! Alright, I'm gonna wait for the bursting here, I think. Okay, we got the revival actually. Yo! How are you guys doing? Abomination limb. Dude, what a good skill. Need to get this guy. Come on. Do I pull the flowers onto the boss? Yeah, probably not now. But we can do, yeah. Kick that. What? See, now, now the music's getting intense, guys. You guys hear it? Uh, can do, yeah. Okay, he's gonna go at the flowers. I should have stopped that, but fuck it. Who cares? All right, so he's pulling the flowers. I'm gonna wait until the flowers are moving in. Is he getting all of them? Yeah, he is. Okay, hang on. Let me just get threat on him. Okay, yep, there we are. This is actually going to be big tank damage here, I think. We've got to be a bit careful. Because they're going to apply the pollen. Yep, like that. we got AM, uh, AMS up there, so it should be fine. And Splurk can just freedom me. Uh, ASAP, pretty much. Oh, I guess I can just run out. That's fine, too. Dude, the tree just absolutely just destroyed me. I got devastated by the tree. Ah, uh, this boss I don't like, to be honest. I really don't like this one. I really don't. I find it extremely lame. Look at him, he's doing nothing. What is this shit? Okay. He's treeing? I mean, he is treeing, but not in the good way. 
All the other bosses are actually very good. End boss is, well, I guess end boss is actually pretty mediocre. But I mean, um, the, I like the second and third bosses here. I think the council is good, and I think the um, the mage is very good. It's a high tier boss. We're gonna get another burn phase, that's for sure. He's bringing in the water, guys. Holy shit. Look at this insane gaming. Let's go. AMS that. But AMS is a very good skill. High value skill. I like the end boss. I mean, the end boss is alright. I feel like it's missing something, though. He's like uh, an extra mechanic. Ah! Oh no! Dude, I got. The, the affix got me. Holy shit. I mismanaged my uh, bone shield there. Unlucky. Dying to Witherbark? Dude, listen. You really flame me for dying to Witherbark, bro? You died to like one mob on Waycrest. Seriously. Like, back me up, guys. Oh my god. Do Blizzard devs design encounters with add ons in mind? Uh, I mean, it depends what, what do you mean by that? Like, they're put- not- honestly, in the way that you mean it, no. Um, they- they are every- especially this raid tier, actually. Every single raid tier, uh, every single boss here is free. I actually don't even have a weak aura pack. I beat a heroic Ferrat guys with no weak aura pack whatsoever, and I currently do not have a weak aura pack in any way for any of these dungeons. Uh, like, what you see here is basically what you get. I'm not running at any weak auras. Currently. I probably will eventually um, when I'm playing higher keys, but I'm currently not running uh, any uh, packs. Let's go. Yeah, Archmage Soul is very high tier. It's going to be a blaster though, holy shit. I uh, hope these guys are going to press personals. Having the mage is good for the barrier, uh, but it's going to be a big output check for us, that's for sure. Time looks good though, nine minutes. Okay, we want these. Okay. That should have been a heart strike. We're fine. Have the lich born. We're good. I am a lich. Boom. I had a permadead uh, hunter in Everbloom. Listen. Maybe you should have tanked the mobs, bro. Maybe he was dying to aggro or something. Probably was. Oh, dude, that dot. Am I doing all this? I nearly have Abomination limb. It'd be kind of nice to have that. But whatever. Oh, oh, beat that strike. Oh, I cheated. I was too slow. I was too slow, bro. Yeah, I didn't set that pull up particularly well. Okay. The petals, man. They're a pain. Tank, bro. I got meleeed, bro. I mean, yeah, that can happen. The one thing in pugs, especially when you're trying to do bigger pulls, uh, in pugs, I found, is that um, pugs attack immediately. So, what will happen is you're trying to set up a big pull, and what you're supposed to do in that situation is that you wait, right? You basically don't do anything while the tank is setting up the pull. But in pugs, I always find that people just run in immediately, right, and like start doing damage, and it, it makes um. It actually is a huge time loss because it ends up slowing down the tanking a lot. Like, you end up in this situation where you're forced to do smaller pulls because the DPS are just trolling you pretty much uh, the entire time. It's really not ideal. Um, do you guys watch the game? Watch all the atom bars and skill bars? Uh, it's honestly both. 
Like, you're obviously looking at your interface, see what's going on. Like, WoW definitely is a more UI-heavy game than um, some of the more modern MMOs, like Guild Wars 2. Like, it, it, it just is a lot of UI. Even if you don't use add-ons, there's a lot of UI going on, like your frames and so on. Uh, and, like, your action bars, there's a lot of skills you've got to keep track of, right? Um, so, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but in general, yeah, you need to be looking at the game. You must be looking at the game. Kick healer, kill the right one, sure thing, gotcha. Move out with the ground shit. Yeah, that's honestly the true test here. Alright, okay, so the mage is kicking the healer. Let's do it. Okay. You will be purged. And I'm gonna kill this guy. Three, two, one. Yeah, this 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 fight is not well telegraphed, right? I'm just gonna let you know. Let's get that out of the way, here, guys. This is uh, how can I say it? Oh yeah, dog shit. Who thought this was a fucking smart idea? Like, oh, wouldn't it be so fucking goofy? Wouldn't it be just the most zany thing ever, guys? Like, um, if it was uh, an actual green on green AOE. Ooh, I bet they had fun with that one over at Blizz, yeah. One. What a zany decision. I'm gonna kick that. And we have Vampiric here, so we're totally fine. I need to just death strike immediately after. Good. And this guy's gonna die, I'm just gonna commit. There's going to be a charge. We AMS this one. Three, it's two, always like the three. magic damage, right? The magic damage is always a scary shit as a tank. You're getting like bolted and stuff. A kick. Obviously, once you get one of them down, though, you're all right. Two, well, this is actually a bit spooky, one. isn't it? Oh, boy. Yeah, I actually died there. That was bad by me. There should be a CR, though. Yeah, there is. Yeah, uh, that was uh, not good. Three, two, I didn't have a rune tap. Needed a rune tap there. I didn't have runic power. I should have banked some runic power there. That's fine. We're good now, though. Three, two, okay. one. See, I told you guys the music's intense. Okay, let's go. Yeah, the charge is a lot of damage. And it's magic as well. So that's hard for a lot of tanks to deal with. But to be fair, I only died there because um, of bad gameplay. It's actually not really. It's perfectly magic if you do it right. For example, like I'm not going to die here. Because I have a runic power for a death strike immediately. Like the reason I died there wasn't even the damage. It was I didn't have any runic power. Oh, a little too greedy with my uh, death strikes. Okay. Oh yeah, full melee, it's unplayable. Give up. If you have um, no range, it's over. You need if you don't have a range kick there, it you it it's fucked. It's absolutely fucked. It is disgusting, putrid. Oh, I we ooh. Okay. Um, okay. Didn't really want to pull that. Oh boy. Oh, kick him. Ah! Yeah, two. This is bad. Two of those is not what we want, to be honest. We deal with it. I kind of want to save my AMZ for the fight. So see if we can get away without it. That's going to be the key thing here, is if we can save it. I'm going to get the next kick on this guy. Ah, yeah, we kind of just brute forced that. We had some big DPS. Looks like the mage is going to do the baiting, which is nice. There we go. Got a death strike off there, so I can have some stacks going into this. Man, I'm actually going to drink before this pack. This pack is brutal. These three, they are fucked up. Okay. I 
I think we're good on this. Next pack. I'm gonna kick the arcane man. I could have uh, AMS there actually, couldn't I? Oh, I got cubed. Nice. I'm fucking trash. Gonna get the next arcane guy. So many things in this game are just sold by doing damage. Pompa! Enjoy that arcane blast. Never was a fan of WoW, gives us much more dynamic gameplay. Metagame of Sons are boring a skill bar spam. Yeah, honestly true. You should stay in Guild Wars 2 and never come to this game. I'd honestly be really happy if you did that. Kill the ads here, I want space. Sure. Don't pull that one, then. Fungal Fist. Fungus. I believe the law here is that all of these humans have been taken over by, um, taken over by fungus, essentially. Alright, here we go. We're about to fucking end. This boss is actually hard. Alright, here we go. The vines control us all, guys! Oh my god! I somehow didn't click Tombstone. It's over. Right. Goodbye. Okay. Now here's where shit gets fucked up. Yeah. Alright, so it's going over there. I mean, I can just ignore this. People are going to get pulled over towards the mage. Dude, it actually hits hard on the tank. Fucking hell. It's a lot of damage. It's going to AMS that. I'm going to AMZ here. We're going to get pulled. We've got a couple more sets of mechanics to go, then we're in business. Uh, I should have maybe saved uh, AMZ for that. It's a big damage overlap. Need to pull the boss back to the middle here a little bit. We're handling this pretty well, though, I think. So we've got Ice and Arcane next. Okay. Oh, no! Stunbreak. It's fine. Oh, AMS works on it, too, actually. Oops. Whoops! Ow. Fire will burn away the contagion! I'm just going to immune this. I think we did it, guys. I'm pumping! 100k single target, boys. That's what I'm talking about. Mechanically dense. What's the uh, culture of the first time? Is training heavy or do you learn on the job? Training is not a thing in this game. And honestly, it feels so fucking good. Um, getting into this game is a billion squillion times better than Guild Wars 2. You, there's no, like, wait around for someone to hold your hand. You get the fuck in and you blast. There is a blast culture in this game. But honestly, people teach you, right? Like, um, uh, I, I think a really thing you can do, a really good thing you do, is play DPS. Because tanks are always, like, the leaders, right? So, do do the dungeons on tank, uh, on DPS, then you can start tanking on them afterwards if you want to go in the tank position. Because, uh, basically, if you're a tank, you're going to kind of be expected to know what you're doing, right? Um, and you'll, you'll essentially be expected to, um, you know, know the dungeons, basically, a little bit more. So, yeah. 
Oh, this is a very... I'm going to move the boss. This is weird. There we are. Yes. But yeah, in WoW, there's blast culture. It's, uh, it's all about get in and blast, and I fucking love it. It's one of my favorite things about the game here, is that people aren't like, Oh, I can't do it. Oh, God. Please. Oh, I, I need help. People are like, I'm going in. I'm tanking this mob. Okay. I'm going in deep. And it feels damn good. Gamers, we must stop Yalnu. If we do not defeat Yalnu, he will eat Stormwind or something. Or everyone's going to turn to a plant here. Do you accept noobs in the guild? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, like, we're always looking for people who are, uh, you know, basically want to get into the game and improve and go as far as you want. Like, we're going to be, we're running, like, heroic rosters and mythic rosters. So, you won't necessarily be on the mythic roster, but you can absolutely get on the heroic roster no problem. Let's take out this tree. Listen to the music, guys. Let's do it. Here we go. I will never make us LFR. Yeah, LFR is too hard. Okay, here we go. Boom. Let's get these flowers. This boss could take, what, 15 years. It's got a lot of health. How do I sign up? Just uh, give angels a poke on Discord. I think we actually have a page on Raider.io as well that you can uh, go through. But yeah, just give, uh, give angels a poke. We'll get you set up. Yeah, I, I do think, you know, all memes aside, I think it really sucks in Guild Wars 2, the way that um, the, the training culture in that game is lame as fuck, right? You do not need someone to teach you how to do fucking Veil vale Guardian, dude. Holy shit, you do not need that. Um, but for whatever reason, the Guild Wars 2 community has, like, fucking tricked it. I'm gonna AMZ that. And they've, like, tricked themselves into thinking that the content is, like, so difficult that you need someone who's done it a thousand times before to teach you how to do it. Like, I, I, to be honest, I do kind of blame Guild Wars 2's structure a little bit for this. There's a lot of learned helplessness, right? Like, the game is so... The game massively revolves around commanders. Like, commanders basically hard carry the game. Like, for example, imagine, guys, what would happen in open world if they removed the commander tag tomorrow. People would be incapable of even functioning. Like, even, like, very basic meta events would fail without commanders basically hard carrying it. So people are, like, naturally very, very lost when they essentially get into uh, instance content and there's nobody there basically to hard carry them the entire time. So I don't know why it is that way, but... Yeah, it really sucks. The culture in Guild Wars 2 is terrible when it comes to instance content. In WoW, it's very good. Right, it's very good in WoW. It's just full blast culture. You get in, you join the groups, like you send, right? Uh, and then you then you get your rating up and you get and you join better groups, right? That's how it is. It's very much like do more DPS, kill harder bosses, get in better groups, blast. Uh, which is honestly, I think, a really healthy way for the game to be. It's not perfect. Okay, and to be clear, there's definitely a lot of issues with the way rating works in Mythic Plus and the pug culture. It is a little bit weird sometimes, especially if the meta is very defined. Uh, but honestly, it's it, it works pretty well. It works. Here we go. Boom. We did it. 22 Everbloom plus plus. Not bad at all, actually. Here we go. Uh, I'm looting. I got nothing. Feels bad. It's over. Uh, what crest did I get? It probably- wait. I got one aspect crest. And then it's- wait, Welpling? I'm capped on everything except Welpling, bro. Are you serious? That's actually unreal. Okay. Uh, oh, I have a friend request. Dude! Who is this? Who's this guy? Bang Bang. I don't I know who this is. Zottle, 97. Oh, it's this guy. Dude, the mage is friending me. Yo! I, f I accept. Yeah. Nice. And you know what, guys? Um, I actually really want to praise WoW for this as well. I love that people actually talk in this game. I didn't know I could miss this. Um, but people talk. Like, people will friend you. Dude, this- check this guy out. Hang on a minute. 
Um, I don't know if he's online right now. This guy. This guy just randomly hits me up. He's like, yo, bro, you want to do a couple of keys, bro? Like, randomly. It feels really good. Yes. I make a WoW account. Which server is the play? Um, I mean, I don't know. Whichever one you want. Wait, someone else is... Did oh, yo. I'm getting friended. This guy also friended me. Who's this guy? I don't know who Miems is, but okay, fuck it, I'll accept. Here we go. 20 rise. Hell yeah, let's do it. Okay. My game is lagging now because of Battle.net. Okay, uh, rise. Porting in. I'm Miems. I like that. I see that it's the same day. That's good. Consistency. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, no, seriously. I, like, just the other day, guys, I was running keys. I got randomly invited to this Discord, and we just blasted, you know? It's good. Everyone's fronting me now. Boom. I accept. What? Okay. Didn't work. Okay, there we go. Uh, is Angels online? Uh, yeah. You can... Just give them a ping on Discord, guys. Like, just join any of my Discord servers. You're able to find Angels, no problem. Right, I'm going in. Yes. I'm Heal Scourge, but I build doesn't do any boons. Oh, oh, we didn't reset. That's fine, though. There's a font here as well. Man, tw this... Dude, first boss is actually kind of scary. I'm tempted to run cheat death here. Although, I think we want the single target damage. We probably want a lost first boss here, actually. Not the trash. And just get through the trash as quick as possible. Because, uh, Tyr is not a fucking joke. Uh, here, actually. He is not a meme. You need to actually blast to get through this guy. Last boss? Last boss is a little scary, but I feel not that scary. And the frontal is gonna hit hard, yeah. Chrono Lord Deus. Boom. Uh, Morchi is no longer a run stopper. I mean, I think, yeah, they nerfed Morchi very hard, to be fair. They definitely did. They did. Battlefield is way harder than Morchi. Yeah, this one's actually a bit spooky. I wonder if you actually go Battlefield. Is there any universe where you go Battlefield first? Otherwise, your, your lust timing is kind of weird. Um, if you do... Well, actually... If you lusted... Uh, if you lust on Battlefield, you won't really have it for the end boss. Well, maybe... Uh, uh, I don't see any angel in my... He's, he's called Angels. He's got two E's. It's like Angels. Morchi might be a bit shit if we bloodlust uh, Battlefield. I mean, I don't think it matters that much. We'll we'll do it. We'll get it done. We will get it done. All right, how many more keys have I got on this guy? So I need... Oh, I need another four twenties on this guy. Then I need another eight on my Demon Hunter, I think. All right, let's do a raid check here. Uh, I need my food, actually. And augment rune. Team started Mythic? Uh, yeah, we got the first boss. Our proper first Mythic grind is tomorrow. Where we're hoping to... I think goal for tomorrow is going to be... Um, uh, it's going to be get first three down. Nice. Let's go. Three hours of a gear on tank. Yeah, gear not the most fun tank boss, but honestly, that one's going to get smashed. We have way better gear now. Um, it's going to get free farmed. Dude, look at my DPS, man. 190k overall. I'm juiced. All right, uh, let's go. Yo, let's do it. This actually is fucking hard. This one is gonna, we're gonna get farmed, dude. Yes. We are gonna destroy Agira. Agira is gonna get absolutely annihilated, guys. And then Volcaros. 
AKA the giant worm. AKA the big snake. Okay. And we're gonna stop there. We can fix this, guys. We can fix it. Yes, we can. Ass we can, guys. Let's give me a cast. I need to remove those bleeds. It's going to be a case of getting through this trash as quick as possible. First boss, I think, is actually scary, though. It's going to be a lot of damage. I don't actually want to pull too much with uh, this mini boss as well. This one fucking sucks. Rip that. Maybe after these guys die, we can pull a little bit more. Don't want to do much more, though. Even on uh, Tyrannical, this is no joke. Oh, dude, the orb. I moved too slow, though. Let's get these. Any kickers? Problem is with this one is that she never moves. Wait, did I just walk back into the orb? Brutal. I'm gonna grip to kick that one and then that one too. There's an orb going out in front. There we are. It's gonna come back. Look, look how immobile that boss is. Even though like uh, it's not like I was standing right next to her, she just ran up anyway. Orb. Orba. Nice for blasting. Did five dark I think it's in a row. Didn't finish a single one. Wait, where did things go wrong? What boss did you die on? Honestly, one thing that we need to actually improve a lot in the guild, we need more M pluses. I know Gromnak wouldn't like that, but in my opinion, you need to have fat M pluses in your guild. I'm sorry, guys. It's just a fact. You need it. Um, oh, shit. I actually lost aggro on the snake. If you don't have big M pluses, then honestly, the start of the season is just so painful for everyone. Like, imagine how much... Guys, just imagine how much better uh, our season start would have been if we actually had, like, six massive juicer M plus teams. Meanwhile, like, half the guild was struggling to time 17's day one. Like, Darren's, I think, did over 50 keys before he timed a single 17. Seriously, guys. That's actual reality. That's not good. You gotta give respect to Darren's though for being incredibly zace and just pumping anyway, no matter what. He pumps 100%. No questions asked, full blast. Boom. Nice. Time of 70s week one of the uh, season is pretty good. Well, I mean. Yeah. But I mean, you need to have like the good gear, right? You need to be timing. I mean, we, me and the boys, we did a full round of 20s week one. And honestly, we could have done more. I think we did like uh, 21 even. And honestly, you could have easily done like 23. But yeah, this guy is going to blast. Uh, oh my god, 85 million health. Holy shit. All right, here we go. Okay. How hard does that hit? That's not too bad. Holy shit! Okay, I'll actually just go ahead and drop that. See what he's gonna do here. It's infinite annihilation. Behold 
It's gonna be the Oath Zone. And if any of these get in, we are absolutely fucked. Right, I'm gonna stay near the boss. Don't know why I pressed that, but okay. Feel the horrors yet to, Feel the horrors yet to pass. That's a good bait. It's going to be the tank front till next, I think. I, I mean, I really hope. Hang on. Look. Okay, now it's going to be the tank thing. I'm trying to just put all the yellow as close together as possible. That's fine. Now we now we want to move a little bit. Apart, you are weak. Okay. And that should basically be it. It should be Siphon Oathstone. There we are. Okay, and I'll get the shit that's in the yellow. This is the way you kinda of wanna do it. We're all right, I think. Very terrible use of vampiric blood there, but it is what it is. I'm going to try and actually just get uh, knocked back the other direction even. And optimize the space here. Because it should be the frontal. Oh, no, it's that. Yep. Uh, now it will be the tank thing. I'll try and face it backwards. We, we have Lichborn. Ignore the knockback. There we go. Behold your annihilation. We're going to get one more oath stone here by the looks of that. He actually had, yeah, the, the demon hunter is going to have meta for the next burst, so we should have a lot of damage in the next phase. Should be good. This guy is honestly one of the bosses. I can actually see the nerfing a bit. I mean, look at the amount of health this guy has. It's crazy. I'm going to AMZ that. Boom. Look at that, guys. Boom. Easy. Nice. 8.03. Three minutes and 31 fight, though. Dude, imagine that on, like, a 28. It's going to be, like, a seven-minute encounter. It's going to be ridiculous. Here we go. Also, Mice in the chat. Mice Krispies in the chat, boys. Uh, so you're telling me the only reason Bobby has your money is because of Unhinged. That means Bobby owes me. Ooh, our vision shall come to pass, guys. Let's go. Boom. And that's it. Infinite Fury. As much of a single mythic Farak ad? Probably not, actually. Boom, we're through. I'm going in. Let's go. Yo. Dude! Someone griefed me instantly. <coughs> Fuck, I have to cough. Oh my god. Dude, this goes, it, go, it gets so bad if everyone kind of goes at the same time. The interesting thing is, is that you're going to have to have a good strat for what happens when everyone goes. Because if you're going to time a really high key, you need a strat that works. Like my pathway, I, I usually just do this, right? I just keep running around like this. And what you do here is you go here, then you go back, then through the middle. And that path works every time. But if someone gets in ahead of me, then it's so fucking bad. Yeah, so I, I have a way that I can do it guaranteed every time, but the problem is, is that if someone goes, like, slightly ahead of me, it fucks it immediately. Yeah. I'm going in. Yeah, maybe I should have just gone to the right. If I'd gone to the right, I guess it would have been, uh, would have been fine, huh? The time waits for hours. 
I needed to Mara Ren first there. Whoops. Now, I've got a big question, guys. Vivi, when are you streaming high keys, bro? I'm not talking about Discord stream, because, you know, he's been... Guys, Vivi's been chickening out. I'm actually going to expose him. Vivi's been like, oh, yeah, I'm Discord... I'm... I'm Discord streaming. Ah! But when are we doing real streaming? Real streaming high keys. Here we go. Boom, we got it. You know what I want? I want every single member of Unhinged Streaming. I fucking love that they do that shit. Uh, in, uh, you know, like the, um, you know, the goddamn meme, right? The Race to Worlds first. It's so good, because you know what you can do, guys? You just go stream snipe people, and you can just see what they're doing. It's insane. Like, I can see all of Mirrors' gameplay. I don't know if Scott is streaming from Liquid, actually, but, like, Mirrors is. I just stream snipe that guy. It's no problem. Ah! Dude, the fucking affix is griefing me here so hard. I'm turning the frontal here. Okay, we're good. Ugh. Boom. Yeah, Mice knows what I'm talking about. He's seen Vivi's like absolutely lunatic tanking. Oh, I need this guy. Ow. This part is honestly a little bit annoying on Blood DK. Need to go across now. I'm gonna grab those two so we can get some speed going on. Oh, did I? I, look, I, I missed all of them. Are you fucking serious, bro? Let's go. Ah, abomination limb. And the rift mage here. So, uh, interesting enough, to get to the next stage, you actually don't have to kill all the rift mages. You have to open a pathway, right? That's the uh, kind of thing that I learned. You end up probably killing the rift mages a lot of the time, but it's actually just have to you just have to open it. I kicked absolutely nothing. What an insane kick. One infinite burn is going to go off. We also pulled every remaining thing, I guess. Are we doing this one first? If we, if we should bloodlust the left boss, we should do left first. But this does mean we have to do some weird fucking goofy trash. Maybe we can skip it, actually. Can we skip them? Maybe we can. Uh, watch the feed. Ensure M plus hours. I do like that. That's a good call. Yes. I guess we have to do these things. Pendul. Feels Pendul, man. Could be any point in time, guys. What's that thing doing? The fuck was that? It's dead. Let's go. Blizzard needs to release more mega dungeons. Seriously, man. No joke. Where are the mega dungeons? Release them. And I can grip both the ads every time, I think. Abomination Limb is going to pop off here. Let's go. Boom. Alliance Destroyer. Very nice.
Look at this blast. Oh, those, those are actually going to spawn too. Or at least some of them will. That sucks. We have the ring though, so it's fine. Yeah, I need to get rid of those. Oh boy. We're good. We are good. Oh no, we're not good. Okay. We're the opposite of good. Nice. Now we're good. Right, I will kick orange. Never mind. Paladin of the Silver Hand. He got his heal off. Unlucky. Everyone kicked. Nice. And now it's time for Bloodlust. Here we go. Alliance archers. Fuck them. For the Alliance guys. I'll actually, uh, I think I'll have my Abomination limit for the first set. Should just get them immediately. There we go. And get the Conjurer as well. I love bleeds. Do you guys love bleeds? I know I do. Woo! Dude, fucking getting destroyed. Ow! This boss is actually kind of scary on DK because he stops the healing. Uh, also, yeah, the, I think there is one thing that we are not doing particularly well here. And it's that basically when you pull the boss through the mobs like that, he kills them, ends up doing a lot more damage. So now the boss is absolutely fucking slapping me. He has a lot of stacks. think we're okay though. Feel my blade. It is fine. It worked out. Here's 13 stacks. I'm in terrible pain. Okay, double conjurer. That one's in prison. That's kind of nice. I'm going to stop that one. Boom. Yo. Oh, now we're skipping these penduli. Pendules. Go. I'm going for it. If I pull, I pull. Simple as that. I didn't pull. We can just go this way to Morchi, no? Or am I insane? Boom. I'm going. Speed. Yes. Five frontals into the uh, allies. Well, I think they, they're just random, no? Like, he just, like, goes crazy with those frontals. He's going psycho on them. But who knows? Maybe not. I'm going in. Maybe it does, yeah. Clear your ad fast. I'm in. Level 20. We have 15 minutes, so time is good. The big one is just going to be not feeding. It's Morchi. I'm just going to CC. Send a stop there. Get the kick. There's the frontal on the thingy. Yo, dude, Dranit's fucking free farm to that frontal, dude. 
Okay, everyone. Oh, oh, and then someone died to the bombing run as well. This timeline has no need for heroes. I'm a death knight. I'm not a hero. Alright, looks like we're good. Boom. No idea what this pack does. He has no clue. Morchi Gar. Honestly, I feel like some people would like that. Alright, this is gonna be a shit show. Let's do it. Are you sure about that? Oh! Okay. It is square. Three, two, one. Zillion, I understand that you're blasting hard, by the way, dude. I like that. Very nice. Zillion is timing hard keys. He's timing fat keys as well, actually. Very fat keys. Uh-oh. Okay. What keys are you timing, uh, Zillion? What's going on, dude? Give me the juice. It's blue. It's blue again. It's weird. Five, four, three... Two, one. What good are you all, indeed? Boom. How much do you like uh, Mythic Plus compared to Fractals? I think uh, Mythic Plus is kind of what Fractals should have been. It's uh, a lot better, I'd say. Significantly better. I'm gonna get mine immediately. There we go. I'm watching the frontal here. On that going out away from the team. No. Need a little defensive for that. Fucking entangled. Wait, it's blue. Wait, what the? It's blue again. What are the odds? Two, one. That's crazy. CC. Well, I mean, yeah, we don't need to. Get it together. I'll just tank this, honestly. There we go. We actually could skip, couldn't we? Yeah, we can. We can do this. Worms. I mean, we get count at the end. Uh, we get count at the end. You know, because we have like the mega dragons. How many morchies can there be? Um, stand in the border and it's hilarious. Dude, it's it's a, you know, you got to watch out for that. It's dangerous stuff. Ten minutes to go. We have lust on final boss. Yeah, seems pretty fine. I have my cheat death available. Feeling pretty good about it. End boss is scary to be fair. Those orbs are going to be pain even without the um, the meme. Oh, all right. Ooh. Everyone's trolling there. That's good. Look at my mount speed. Catching up. Look at that, guys. I'm actually faster than Dranit. I'm in. I'm in deep as well. And it feels good. Yo. Speed. What do you guys think? Can we beat this end boss? 22 Morazon's Rise? That's going to be a lot of IO, actually. 100 rating, I think, from this. I'm nearly at 3k. Man, it took me ages to get 3k last season, so I was still learning the game. Look at this now. We're already going to be 3k insta. 4k IO this season is coming. Alright. Here we go. Had my abomination limb up for that. I'm actually going to send CDs. This is going to be a relatively slow pack, to be honest. It will take a while. 
I should have everything back by the boss. Actually, maybe not. It's not fortified, is it? It'll be alright. I don't really need everything at the start anyway. Alright. I think I can just tank that without anything. Yep. Boom. Come on. Boom. Oh hey, yeah, we have a bit of roleplay, don't we? Wait, yep, I'll have everything. Aspects, I mean, ah, yes. The proto aspects. We face yeah, ignore that. Like, my weak aura is a bit bugged on Murazon's Rise. For some reason, it shows, like, the wrong bosses. But don't worry, it's perfectly... Accurate. I need to get the updated version of this weak aura. Yes. Alright, here we go. We have eight minutes on the clock. Just got to one-shot this. Who's on orb duty? It's probably the mage, actually. Uh, we should probably tell him. Oh, yeah, actually, no, no, the mage already knows. We did tell him. Alright, here we go. Yo! Pullin', let's do it. Ah, oh, oh, this is fine. The infinite shall dawn. Just a cool uh, 800 million health, no big deal. Now the key here is obviously going to be using uh, AMS here. And blasting these ads as hard as we can. And just saving vampiric blood. That was actually why I died on Everbloom, was uh, not using vampiric blood correctly, to be honest. I'm gonna taunt this. Because you can actually taunt these. And if you taunt those things, it will actually let you... Um, Holy shit. I actually cheated. That's really bad. I'm gonna wait for the breath here. A portal! I wanna taunt this one as well. There we I think the really scary overlap though was actually them both casting on me at the same time. There was like an ad casting on me and the boss was frontling. It's kind of brutal. I'm just going to save the tank trinket as well. No cheat death, but we should be alright. We're in darkness here. We're going to have to move a little bit, then. Watching the swirlies. Just going to use the shield there. Let's uh, play it really safe. And there's Lust. Honestly, Lust will really help with the survivability, because you just get that rune generation, right? He has 100 mil health. God damn. Gonna get the AMS rolling here. There's the orb. I think next I'm just gonna send the uh, fortitudes. Gonna move the boss. We have Vampiric Blood and a Tombstone for next. Okay. I think I'm actually gonna, gonna AMS that. It will not come to pass. We protect Azeroth. 
I'm just gonna drop an AMZ on him. Do the frontal here. Tank drink at that and Lichborn. Actually, he's slightly running out of room. But boss is dead, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yo! Fat key! That was a fat key! Boom. 107 IO. 22. Job done. Fat key. We love to see it. Oh, the infinite hand, the roleplay mace. And the mage got some legs. Exciting. 22 plus 1. You're goddamn right, Plenix. Plen my gar. That's a pretty hard key, actually. That one is uh, honestly one of the harder ones. Wait, are you rank one? Uh, uh, wait, does that make you rank one on Raider IO, uh, Drana? Let's see what we got. Uh, Ball Basher. Let's see if he's rank one again. I wish. I'm not in rank one server. Realm two. Rank 22 world, realm 2 overall. Murazon's Rise. That's a, That was a good key, though. Uh, it's actually world 48th best Murazon's Rise. Exciting. Very big blast. Huge keys. Very, very nice. Oh, man, dude. This mage is 3 out of 9 mythic. Uh, I guess this guy hasn't raided as much. He's 6 out of 9 heroic. But very good DPS on that... Um, uh, Demon Hunter, actually. Look at this guy. He's blasting. What's a key? A dungeon. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Well, there you have it. Did I have a 24 Dark Heart Thicket? That's actually highly unhinged. Whoa. Very, very unhinged. It, Abindo has already done 21 keys this uh, week. Vivi has done 16 keys. I want to see Plunix push keys hard, dude. Alright, so those guys are out. I think what I'll probably do... Okay, I need three more to finish the weekly on this guy. I might do three more on this guy. Go to bed. And then tomorrow... Uh, tomorrow we'll finish the job and I'll do the Demon Hunter. Alright, there you go. What are we doing next? What keys? Oh, okay, splurts out. Okay, we can just chill out then. Um, I mean, we need to do 20s, realistically. They want to do 20s. Save crests. You'd have to probably downgrade my dark heart, I guess. You only got a 19. So I I'm going to see the dark heart on a 20, though, right? Um, is probably what we can do. Yes. Or we can uh, add one of the one of the boys. Who could we add? Who could be a potential victim? Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. They have, my rating is absolutely rancid. Not even 3k, dude. Why is Dranit's kid 19? Because he is a leech and he leeches off other people's key. Fact. What I did? I've never done a Waycrest tyrannical on my demon hunter on my DK rather. Man, my rating is so disgustingly bad. I can get 3k for free, right? This season? Or this week? If I just do everything everything on like a 21 on Tyrannical, that should basically give me a very comfortable 3k rating, which would be quite nice, wouldn't it? Use my 20 instead of Splurts 21, so we had to remake. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, so that's what it downgraded instantly. Nice excuse, bro. They probably depleted it. They probably depleted the 20, uh, the 20 or something. Waycrest 22? And I guess we could do Waycross 22 with Guru, yeah. He's on Org. Could get that in there. Um, not that guy. Oh, shit. Dude, it's this paladin I met randomly. Uh, he was... He honestly, the guy is kind of a peepo. But, you know, that's that's good. Could do that uh, Waycrest. Oh, wait. Oh, Splurt needs that shit. Okay, we'll get Guru in here. Let's do it. Let's get Guru in here and blast. 
Uh, oh, yeah, I mean, it's a bit awkward, to be honest, on Waycrest, but we'll deal with it. Uh, who else are we getting? I guess we're just getting a pug. Because Emacy's ult is kind of a bit rancid. We need a big blaster. Pro well, I mean, we did Demon Hunter, really, don't we? It is Demon Hunter time. Let's go. DH Pug Blast. Yeah, where's Rated at, man? We need Rated to be logged into the game a bit more. That's what we really need. Bears. Waycrest Manor. What's scary? I think the only thing that can beat us is actually the second boss. We should actually lust the second boss. We're probably lusting... The first pull, I guess. Or honestly, I think you actually want to lust the first boss. I actually saw... Uh, it's free as fuck. I mean, are you sure, bro? Like, it hits very hard. Like, it, um, whenever you clear, it does a lot of damage. You want to lust the pig? Healers heal? Listen, I was doing it with pugs, and the healers were not healing. That's all I'll say, right? They were not healing. But you know what? If you think you can do it, then... Okay, 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 okay. All right, if you, if you think you've got the healing per second, you can vivify everyone, you know, you can, you know. Sure, let's do it. Go straight to the tree boss. Yeah, I guess you could do that, couldn't you? Yeah, go immediately over there. Like, clear and then come back for the witches afterwards. I saw, um, Dorky go upstairs. What they did was they, um, stealthed went up, they went up here, and then just went to the first boss immediately and lusted. They just stealth down. Upstairs is cursed as fuck. Well, no, you skip the mobs, they stealth. You don't actually fight these, you just, um, you skip them all. What do these even do? Spellbind. Runic Bolt. And there's a guard. This guy drops the candles down and does, like, a tank buster. Nice. Oh my, oh yeah, well you like this? You like the, you like this character, X? The, uh, Booba? The Runic Disciple? My Queen? You got birds too. Dreadwing Raven. Bird. Glare at a target with a sickly gaze. Disorientating the target for three seconds. Peck. Pecks the target, inflicting damage. Wait, how do the birds put candles? What the fuck? I'm not sure if that's correct. I feel like birds dropping candles makes no sense. Yeah. That's insane. Go to the other side. I am playing World of Warcraft. The only good current MMO in existence. All other MMOs are nothing but rancid dog piss. Yeah. There it is. I said it. Someone had to say it. And that someone was me. Boom. Yes. Did Guild Wars 2 hurt you? No. That was what we like to call in the business a joke. Guild Wars 2 is fine. It's not for me anymore, and it never will be, unfortunately. My time in Guild Wars 2 is over, guys. I, uh... I'm done, unfortunately. It's sad, but it is what it is. There is nothing for me in that game. No game mode, nothing. There's nothing there. But oh well. All good things come to an end. It is what it is. Valdraken. You got jokes? Yes, we have got the jokes. I have got that going for us. If it drowned it to re-list. Yes. Oh. Sarah CM will save everything? It won't, to be honest. It, uh, it won't. I'm not even expecting it to be hard at this point. 
We need, like, the weekly quest where you get the uh, free heroic piece. That's got to come back. Compare the flying mount experience. Um, it's like a slightly scuffed griffin, to be honest. That's how I would uh, describe it. Slightly scuffed griffin. In two weeks is the free uh, heroic piece. Oh man, that's alt time then. Well, I guess I might as well just relog while I wait. Look at my DH guys. Next is time walking with a normal piece. Oh, that's also pretty good. Normal piece of loot is not bad at all. Dude, look at the DH set, man. DH looks pretty good. My DH is a little bit putrid, but it's getting there, to be honest. Take a look at this. Are you Horde or Alliance? I have Horde characters and Alliance characters, but we're, our guild is Horde, I guess, or whatever. Team and Hunter? Yeah, exactly. See, that's good, isn't it? Ah, look at my DH. I mean, it's looking pretty good. I have 464.6 item level. And look, guys. Look what I got. Look what I got, guys. Oh, that's right. I got the best in slot weapon. Uh, very easily. It was basically second try. I got the second key. Got it. No problem. Divergent Mythic Plus. Double time. Boom. I actually have two set as well. I have two set and I have... Well, I mean, I need to... My gear sucks. Right? I have 428. Look at these. Look at this, guys. 428 shoulders. 424 ring. And I still have essence as well. Holy shit. Not mythic track. Shit weapon. Yeah, you gotta get it from the vault, right? To get the myth track. Be pretty good. And then you need the mythic weapon from the raid too. You know, like the claw. What would you say WoW does extremely well that Guild Wars 2 couldn't even come close to? Uh, amount of content the game releases, difficulty of the content, uh, and also, um, to be honest, encounter design. The encounter design is much better in this game than it is in Guild Wars 2. Um, and finally, community as well. And that's that, that to me has been the deal breaker. The deal breaker for me um, with Guild Wars 2 that is making me really not enjoy the game is that... I just, I don't feel a part of the community anymore, you know? Like, there's too much apathy, and I hate apathy. Um, everyone in that game just, just doesn't give a shit, right? Um, like, people just, like, log into the game like it's, like, I don't even know what it is. It's, like, it's not even a job. It's worse than a job. It's, it's just, like, a routine. Like, people just play the game because they play the game. There's no other reason. Um, I, I uh, log in. Okay, fucking finally. Okay, holy shit. All right, here we go. Yeah, that's how it is. Projection? Nah, bullshit. Bullshit. Who the fuck actually wants to put some goddamn energy uh, into the game, Nike? Nobody. Who? Who am I gonna play with? Who am I gonna play with? Yeah. Nice. Here we go. Um, sorry to tell you. Well, I mean. I don't think there are that many people um, who feel that way. Yeah. Um, who, who, who can I play with, Nike? Seriously, name one player, right, um, who, who I can play with. Even one! Uh, this is my problem. None. Here we go. All right, here we go. Where are we going? Waycrest, I'm teleporting in. Let's do it. Boom. Yes. Combat has man the most. I mean, the combat in WoW is good. You know, it's not perfect. Nothing ever is. But it's pretty good. Yeah. Alright, I'm in. Let's go. I like to dodge. I mean, you kind of dodge in this game in a different way. Like, you can... You, like... Interrupt enemies and use defensive abilities to counter the attacks of the opponent. But yeah, the thing is, Nike, it's like... Uh, uh, my playstyle is not enabled in WoW in Guild Wars 2 whatsoever, right? I don't have anyone to play with. I, there's no one who wants to play competitively. Uh, and that's not good enough for me. It's too apathetic. People are too just like, oh yeah, I want to log in and press some buttons. 
That's boring to me. It's not interesting. Let's go. Let's go. I want to go and try and win the monthly AT, right? I want to go and compete. I'm bored. I am bored of just... Of just existing, right? Like, of just treading water. And, uh, Guild Wars 2 doesn't offer... Doesn't offer me that. Yes. Here we go. Wait, I'm in combat. Wait, what? Okay, here we go. Wait, what is this? Heroes, your strength is needed. All right, here we go. Boom. Uh, to play or to like the game? Yeah, but I, I mean, what, what are you trying to say here then? Look, I all I'm saying is there aren't people who want to play the game that I the way I want to play it, right? I'm not saying that people don't enjoy the game. I'm saying that everyone who's kind of like who who I'd want to play with is incredibly apathetic, right? Um, like the 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 type of gameplay that I want doesn't exist. Oh uh, wait, this guy's away. Designed to support um, your view. Well, I, am I wrong? Am I wrong, Nike? I, d I don't think you disagree with this. Um, just routine? I play the game for fun and competitively. With the same brush? Yeah, but I'm not doing that. I'm saying that um, the... the And if I was, I was maybe too imprecise. Um, do you disagree with what I'm saying? That like the high-end scene is like really apathetic and just doesn't give a shit? Uh, I, d I don't think you would. Yeah. Um, yeah. Five. I don't think you. Do, I don't four, think you disagree with three, saying that the game is just two, not very competitive. One. Uh, it we have here we go. Okay. You can actually pull pretty big here, to be honest. Should be a witch behind us as well. Here it comes. Some of those did go off, but honestly, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, I don't think anyone would disagree with what I said there, to be honest. Uh, that's so uh, incredibly condescending. Well, I mean, that that's how a lot of the people that uh, I think kind of play the game. And that's not good enough for me. And am I being an asshole there? You're not wrong. I am being an asshole. Um, but... I don't think I'm wrong. Uh, that isn't good enough for me. Like, whatever, whatever's happening there, it's not good enough for me. You can call it what you like. It's still not good enough. Regardless of um, how, how it's phrased. Okay. The witches are coming. Yeah, we're probably lusting this in. Is Guild 2 not releasing content enough? Honestly, it's not that. Um, it's not that people... It's not the lack of content, really. It's, again, it's just... I just don't feel like I have anyone to play with. Dude, my trinket, dude, my trinket keeps going on the wrong target. That's just fucking tragic. What a disaster.
We can actually jump it, don't we? Yeah, this is a retail well, yeah. Were they lucky enough to have uh, die-hard fans? Well, I mean... I mean, they just make a lot of content, to be honest. We're getting... we're getting bolted. We are being bolted. When your main one is in drought right before expansion. Well, I mean, Nike's not wrong here that every MMO is basically like that at this point, but I kind of hate that. I don't like that. I don't really want a side MMO. And that's definitely why I'm playing Guild Wars 2 less, because Guild Wars 2 just, it just offers me nothing really, um, in terms of like what to main. Brain slug indeed. That wasn't too bad, was it? But yeah, I don't think I could ever main Guild Wars 2. Not anymore, anyway. Let's go. But it's weird, you know, like, um... Uh, and hate it, that shit is depressing. I don't know, hate Guild Wars 2, it's just... That's the annoying thing. I have no feelings towards Guild Wars 2. Like, I, I am very... apathetic towards it. That's the problem. I'm actually gonna do these, and then there's gonna be bursting. And just go on to the next stuff after that. Okay, here we go. Yeah, no, I'm just... Is WoW exciting? I think so, yeah. Really hope that doesn't pull the boss. It'd be a bit awkward, wouldn't it? Ow. Infected Thorn. Nice. Uh, the thing is, not enjoy, enjoy the community. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The, 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 yes, yeah, you do understand. Yeah, 100%. But this, 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 why do we argue about this? Okay, so I was being a dickhead. I, I'll 100% own that. But broadly speaking, you agree with me, no, Nike? You agree with me? I, I'm happy to say that I was being a massive asshole with the way I expressed that. I'll, uh, I'll take that criticism. But, you know, that's because I am a massive asshole. <laughs> Hope I pulled... Did I get enough there? What the fuck? Come on. Okay. I think we could have pulled more there. Uh. Favorite class in WoW so far? I think it's Monk. Like uh, Brewmaster a lot. Paladin was fun though. Like, um... They're all good in different ways. 
Paladin self-healing is a bit annoying, though. Like, uh, I, I don't... I, it's a bit... Mm, like the word of glory spam is like, eh, you know, whatever. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Maybe we should just pull all these out. There's gonna be a lot of maggots here. Oh boy. This this might have been somewhat unwise to be honest. I think the spits are gonna be a bit rough here. Ah, uh, that's a big stun, though, actually. Incredibly zaced stun. I think we can actually clear, basically, all of the trash in the dungeon. And then we just... I mean, we, do we... I mean... We could honestly just do the mini boss. I think we can just do this boss without lust. We can lust the pig or something. Maybe we don't... How much health does he have? 78 million? Yeah, I guess we can just do the pig and then come back, right? That should get those. Whoa! Nice. I don't care about pursuing patch for boss records. Many of the high-end guilds do. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know. That's pretty interesting, I guess, but I mean, yeah, like the content is just so old. And it's also kind of easy, too. I like stuff like Race to Worlds first um, and stuff like that. And you're not wrong that it's narrow, but yeah, I mean, like, I don't think that really changes anything I'm really saying. It's like, yeah, I have a pretty, I have pretty narrow interest in the game, like what I view as good. Um, but it doesn't, you know, I still can't find it. it doesn't matter if it's rare or not. It, it doesn't exist. Oh, are you fucking serious, bro? Let's go, go in here and do this. Ah! Get the maggots. Kind of blasting this key though, actually. Holy shit. Right. Fucking dinner bell, man. The kitchen. Should have aided ended raids totally. I mean, honestly, I think they should, um, because it, it's not not a good investment for them. It's just not. All right, let us face the pig. Here we go. We actually don't really need to lust here. We'll lust the second guy. Oh, I really hope Abomination doesn't grief here. No, it shouldn't. The ads are not going to be coming for a while. So we got these ads coming in. I can slow one of them. We're gonna slow that one. Now we have got to hope that the DPS can actually just blast her a little bit. We have the immobilize. We have the immobilize from the evoker, which is good. Looks like that one's going down as well. Looks like the spit hit the uh, demon hunter. Didn't die though.
If the ads get in, you get a really nasty dot. That's really annoying. They look all this bullshit. Wait, what? What? There's a there's a trash mob casting something. What is this? And then we pulled something through the walls. This is bad. What's happening? Yeah, wait. What the fuck? Hmm. Okay. Oh, I need to reset this. Does this boss even reset, actually? I'm not sure if he does. I'm just gonna die, I guess. Well, don't worry, guys. There are bugs in this game as well. Hmm. Well, that's less than ideal. Oh, I think that might have been uh, Rhett Paladin. Yeah, that's probably the Rhett Paladin pulling through the terrain there. A little bit unfortunate. Well, that's not ideal. And you come back with a new patch. That's not true, though. That's what the community is for, right? Um, uh, like... <sighs> This is very strange to me. Like, of course you can. Also, we should lust this. Lust. I can actually take a whole bunch of stacks here, I think. The thorns. Okay. Ow. Yeah, I can do another one. Need to set him on fire now. That was definitely a little bit of an unfortunate bug there. I think we're still fine at time the dungeon. But where are the thorns? I actually have no cheat death, so I do need to be very careful here. Holy shit. Paladin here is really good, actually. I think I can just survive until the end now. It's gonna blast. No need to take any more damage. Having said that. You know, maybe I'll just parry, guys. I'll just parry, right? Ow. Easy damage reduction. Dude, the pause is absolutely destroying me. Please kill it. It killed me. Yeah. Uh, do we have a CR? We actually don't. Touch of death? Pog? Should have it, I think. Oh my god. Oh my god. 100k wipe. That's unfortunate. 
Well, that's not ideal. I thought we could get away with it. I thought we could do it. Yeah. Wait, he left! Well, that's an unfortunate situation. 21 it is. Unlucky. I'm too tired. You hate to see it. Yeah. I honestly believed in the DPS. I believed. But the tree killed me, guys. The tree punched me to death. When you do that, listen, bro, okay? That was, uh, it was a, it was a good idea. It just didn't quite work out. A little bit pain. Yeah, that was a little bit unfortunate with that Rawls as well, you know? The Rawls. Had a lot of stacks at the end, to be fair. Had a, did 0.2% wipe. Bit unfortunate. Uh, it's in the end game right now. The thing is, you're totally wrong. Like, um, you, you're, you're completely fine. Um, you're, you're completely wrong. Guild Wars 2 is going to be going on for like 10 to 20 years. Like, um, strike missions... I mean, strike missions aren't even really a failure. Like, because what Nike says it, like, they don't really cost that much money. Like, are they particularly good? Um, it, it depends what you mean, right? Like, it, what, what do you mean by good? Exactly. Yeah. Good for someone like me? Realistically, no. Um, good for the majority of the player base? Probably, yeah. I don't see why not. Um, realistically. But that's the deal. The tree destroyed me. Yes. Big. Tanking 60 tree stacks. I mean, it's a lot of tree stacks. But a bop himself. I mean, yeah, you gotta you gotta do the bop taunt. My judgment. Yeah, I think it was a judge. I don't know. I didn't know you could pull from inside the pig room though. I haven't seen that one before. That was a bit rough. You know that. Uh, not ideal. I think. It, wait, is that like the the fucking rat paladin set? I think it is. Right. The set bonus. Hmm. Yeah, not ideal. Like a random, uh, a random little judgment grabbing it. Bit unfortunate. Yeah. Yes. Small indie company? It is indeed a small indie company. But yeah, I, I don't think any of this really matters. Um, I can't do what I want in Guild Wars 2. And realistically, I never will be able to. And I don't think anyone disagrees with that. That's the only relevant claim here uh, when it comes to Guild Wars 2. So I'm going to do it in WoW instead. Because I can do it here. That's the important thing. Not a failure. Well, I mean, you got to know what they're got. If you want to, if you want to determine what a success or a failure is, you have to look at what the goal is. I think the goal is to have like a little bit of instance content. It's not supposed to be like the, the hardest content in the world or even the you know the highest frequency. It's just like to have it there sometimes. Yeah, these things happen. You gonna play Season of Discovery? Yeah, I'm gonna play Season of Discovery. Yeah. I mean, until I fully transition to WoW, there'll still be Guild Wars 2 in my schedule, but long-term goal is to essentially remove Guild Wars 2 from my schedule, or, you know, entirely. It'll take me a while, but we'll get there. Oh, I have just the thing. Wonder yes. Ah... 
Here's the summon. Well, I, I think we're kind of talking past each other here, right? Like, I think, let, let's be honest. Um, like, Nico is saying that he doesn't view strikes as successful, right? In his eyes. They fail to interest him, right? Like, I, I don't think that, I don't think that, I don't think that, I don't think that anyone is really saying, like, oh, yeah, um, you know, objectively, strike missions are a failure, right? Like, in, in every possible sense. Uh, I think my criticism of strikes would very, very much be like, what even are these? Like, what are these for? Right? Like, what is the purpose of them? Right? I, because I don't really know. I'll admit it. I'm not totally sure what strike missions are for. I'm not really sure exactly what's going on there. Ah, all right, here we go. Well, we should let, let let's not fight, guys. Okay, it's Twitch chat. Let's not get too out of hand here. Right, let's do this. Let's go. All right, the witch. All right, here we go. It's Five, time. Four, three, two, one. Oh, where we go? No fighting. Yes, everyone has to be very well behaved and very relaxed. That's all we need. This guy's two out of nine mythic. That's crazy. That's insane. Get over there to this witch. Some of the 50% DRs are going off. And the candles. Candles here. We need to kick that. Fight, fight, fight. Indeed. And a big part of it, I mean, the part of the, uh, the thing is, the acceptance phase is no good for me. I actually despise the idea of the acceptance phase. Uh, wait. What the fuck? Did I think some judgment shit has happened again. Jesus. I do not like the idea of the acceptance phase. I would rather uninstall a game than live in the acceptance phase. Because to me, the acceptance phase is worse than despising a game. I would rather hate Guild Wars 2 than feel apathy towards Guild Wars 2. Or anything, really. Apathy is horrific. Okay. I think a pal in here is, uh, it's good content. Making the pulls a little exciting. Very exciting content. Alright, here we go. Ow. Look at that burst. The organ music is going crazy, guys. Destruction is 
destroy the witch. Let's go send some random kicks. Tangle, kind of annoying here, actually. One night off. I would definitely, I think you deserve yourself to give yourself a little bit of a break, for sure. Also play WoW since TBC. Ah, very good. We love to see it. Here we go. I mean, I am in a like, kind of like a weird crossroads because on the one hand, I kind of want to, I kind of want to keep my YouTube alive, you know? And like make Guild Wars 2 content. But to be honest, I feel like I should just like stop entirely. And just do WoW instead. And it's like, come back for expansions. Because like referral link stuff. Boom, we got him. The witch has been destroyed. Is that thousands of hours of research? Nah, that's not true. It's all right. Yeah, there's a bit of a learning curve, but that's just every video game, to be honest. There's always going to be a learning curve when you got something like Guild Wars 2. It's just got a lot of inherent complexity to it, so it's just going to take a while. You will be all right. It's got its own problems. Yeah, it's not about that, though. Like, it, the problems that this game has, I care about way less. This game is fucking dog shit. And so is Guild Wars 2 and ESO and like every other MMO. They're all shit. Don't worry, I'm very much aware. Nice. Okay. Zero to 0.1% series is a huge miss. Yeah, maybe I should have done that. I mean, I still could. I have it all recorded. Undercover and uh, Pug Keystone Hero. What's that? That's like, is that 2.5k or what? Is Guild Wars 2 not good to invest long term? I mean, it depends on what type of player you are. For me, no. For other people, probably, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, like, pugging uh, 2.5k is. It's not that bad. What if we did an incredibly massive pull here? What if that just happened? We got the stun. The maggots are dead. We're in business. Nice. The dog rule arc would be insane. And it would be pretty good, yeah. Nice, here we go. Dude, where do these pigs come from? There's actually a lot of trash here when I think about it. Okay. 
Rockmora and start the 25 episodes of Dark Rule. Yeah, I mean, there'll be a lot of that going on, that's for sure. Uh, they still they won. No, I'm not going to lie. I don't think you're actually right here. Guild Wars 2. Guild Wars 2 is not that complicated. If we would like to pretend that it's like mega, mega, omega complicated. And there's definitely a lot going on. But I mean, it, it, you know, you, you'll be all right. Like, you just got to not overthink it and play the fucking video game, to be honest. Like, that, that's always the key. Don't overthink it. Play the fucking video game. You'll be all right. The way you learn is by playing. So get in there and play. Play the game. Okay. I don't know, POE? I mean, POE? I mean, I guess there's a lot going on with that one. The dinner bell, uh, yeah, I mean, the dinner bell is a bit scuffed, yeah. Some builds you can randomly pull the pig man? Yeah. It's a bit weird. You gotta be really careful not to pull the boss. It's totally unusual setup here. Well, let's do that. Oh shit. The DH blasted. I would never have Avenger Shield bounce onto the pig. Nice. Range Strat Raal. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. You had 90% chance to hit him. It's unlucky, I guess. I lace up their shoes and start running. Yeah, I mean, that's always the best advice. The best advice is always just fucking do it, right? You know, what are you waiting for? Just get in there. Get in there. All right, here we go. You do not need to do anything crazy. Okay, good. Get looking without uh, using Sneb or some shit. Honestly, no, it's extremely easy. Um, all you do is make your own group and talk to people. Oh, Abomination Limb is maybe not the, the best to have there. Get the ads. Blast them. Nice. Yes. Nobody joins. I mean, I don't know, maybe on an NA, but on EU you'll be alright, to be honest. I think even on an A you'll probably be alright. Like, so for, for example, okay, here's the thing. Like, this is the question you've got to ask yourself. It, you, do you think that if I made an anonymous account, nobody would join my groups? And I wouldn't... Do, do you really think that if I made, like, an anonymous account, I wouldn't be able to get into groups on, like, a completely fresh account? Because I don't think you believe that. I don't think so, anyway. Here we go. Oh, that AOE actually kind of hurts. Kill the pig. We got him. I might as well just get these maggots while we're here. 
Okay. Oh, it's a fucking witch. Boom. You already did that? I remember joining a power up back in 2019? Yeah. Wanna anyone join my strike pugs? <laughs> no squad leader? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that'll help. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. And yeah, I think you can complain about that. I think uh, having the having the tag kind of um, part of the, the game would be important for sure. That's, a, I think, a very legitimate criticism that you could have. Flee, there is no hope, guys. The thorns. Okay. Okay, go. That's guy. That's guy's got like the mastery trinket. Holy shit! He nearly died. Get in here. Wait, are you serious? Touch the fucking fire. Yeah. The thorns. Yeah? I know it's not fun. 40 stacks. I mean, yeah, this is uh, definitely one of those bosses that... Bit of a meme. Randomly one-shots the tank. It can happen. Watch out for that. Ow. It's probably thorns first, eh? I don't have a rune weapon right now. This is not good. I'll just parry, bro. It's all good. I need to set him on fire real quick. You gonna make this? Yeah, we're good. Boom, easy interrupt. Oh, shit. Dude, he did the thorns anyway. That's crazy. Kill the tree. Oh, there we are. 16 minutes. Plenty of time. Yo, Lich King Heroic, Eddie. Good shit, man. Yeah, getting just stunned all the time, I guess that is a little annoying. I definitely know what you're saying there. Alright, so we need the mini boss in. Dude, maybe we're just doing the Giga Pool. Maybe it's the Giga Pool. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do the Giga Pool. We can't do this, we're bad. I'm bringing that witch in. It feels a lot better without Sanguine, you know? Not having Sanguine here, pretty good. I'm just gonna stay on the captain here, make sure we get that kick. That yeah, worked. Here we go. We did it. I wonder if we actually have count here. How much is the last uh, thing? Oh, yeah, we do actually. We do. Because we have these. 
Delete Sanguine from the game. I mean, I love Sanguine. Who doesn't? Now, what you want to do to keep it really exciting is to pull that witch. Okay, pull that witch during the boss. Really keeping things spicy, you know? You got to make that happen. Okay, Kashima's out of the candles. It was fun. Yeah, it definitely can be. Need a kick on her so she moves. Hmm. The music stopped. And it feels bad. Alright, here we go. Let's go. I guess we'll have lost for the last boss. Look at those water gloves. He's got to get those water gloves to increase his stat. That's a pretty kind of fun trinket, to be honest. Yeah, these swirlies are very odd. Got to be careful not to pull that witch as well, so you can't go too far back. You have to do some good dodging here. Okay, here we go. Faster. Indeed. Whoa! Whoops. Slight scuff dodge there. I would never die to this boss. You deal 10% more damage to a moving target. That would be kind of interesting, yeah. So you have to like keep kiting them around all the time. I think something like that is definitely a little bit more... It's a little more fun to deal with than like, oh yeah. All the mobs are going to full heal now. How about fuck you? We can actually... Yeah, this is going to be a plus plus pretty easily. Oh. Well, that guy's dead. Oh, he, oh boy! That is not the time to pull the fucking witch. Okay. Not exactly what we want. Alright. Oh, you know, a little extra witch, guys. Nothing wrong with that. A combo witch. Get that in there. Bursting stack here. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, to be honest. It's the candles that are a pain. That is where the pain is. Oh, they all die at the same time. How convenient. I've applied the disease to them. They have the disease. Is the demon? Uh, I think the demon hunter is here, actually. Yeah, we can just go boss, At I think. Long last, the nightmare is over. Death consumes all. Here we go. Whoa! Don't mind me, just getting absolutely destroyed. There we go. Easy abomination limb. Now we're good. Oh, that might be a bit spicy, actually, with bursting. Oh, we're good. I kind of wish this boss was harder. This boss is a bit of a meme, to be honest. Not really doing much. Orn comes and goes as you pull the witch. I mean, listen. Sometimes the witch wins. And that was one of those times. 
can grip that guy to interrupt him. The death lens. Easy plus plus 21 worry quest, guys. Very easy. Easy plus plus. We have less than 30. The boss is basically going to be dead at that point, though. The rune weapon is enabled. And we're ready to blast. Okay. Sorry for the run. Hey, no worries. We like that kind of thing here. We love complaining about stuff. So I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, we can actually lust now. Will the evoker lust? It's a good question. Yes, he will. Because it's Guru. He's probably on the stream. Use my AMZ1 global too late. Unlucky. You want to see hate to see that? We did it. Oh, yeah, decent run there. 93 rating. Oh, thought. Dude, no. Ah! God damn it. That's a nice ring. I kind of want that. Over the. Yeah, dude. I want that over this ring. Fuck. Fucking hell. Oh, dude. I got the same belt I already have. Ah! Well. I mean, I guess that's unfortunate. You want to see hate to see it. You hate... Wait, what is this? Wait, it begs you? Oh, wait, he wants this? Oh, okay, yeah, you can have that. There you go. He begs me how pathetic. Enjoy. There you are. Nice. You are not a loot. Unfortunately, in this particular case, I am indeed not... Well, I am a loot, but... Not a particularly good one. Oh, 23 Throne of Tides. Wow. That's quite something. Is it not, my friends? Wow. Insane. Right, I think that's going to do it for me. I'll probably finish off these keys. Um, but I need some food first. And that means the stream is over. The stream is done. That is something. Where is Liquid on Worlds first? And yeah, Throne is not even that bad. I'm 900 keys deep and I know nothing. Yo, Rocker in the chat. Yeah, only a seven hour stream today. Tomorrow, there'll be more content. More content to come. We have a wide variety of exciting things. Yeah, that'll do it. I am done. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I am back. Be sure to follow and subscribe and all that kind of good stuff. It is officially over. I'm out of it, guys. Take it easy. See you next time.